All right, guys, hope you're all doing well. Excited, gonna be Dune today. Gonna be using our beloved Harkonnens here in the first game. And then game two, we'll switch it up, see what you guys want to uh, see in action. But um, probably gonna be some Fremen in game two. Massive rework, so there was a big old patch. The Landsrad system, so the voting system, is completely reworked, and I really like what they did with it. There's a bunch of new events to vote on. Um, there's a new way to influence which charters you're gonna be coming forward. And on top of that, uh, it pauses the entire game, which is really nice. So in the heat of action, you know, it's very easy to miss the Landsrad. But now it actually pauses the game, takes everybody into like a council mode where you all vote and do everything. It's it's great. You're going to be seeing it here in, in just a minute. Um, but yeah, let's get it, man. Let us get it. Gulping water like the Byzantines? I know, I know. Playing a lot of Age of Empires and playing Byzantine certainly is fun, but, uh, you know, <laughs> it's a lot of suffering as well. Yeah, it's going to be good. All right. Let's have some fun. So, oh, our agent's going to be uh, Robin, and um, he gives you 50 Solari per uh, Rebel killed. Also, extra Militia slots. And then Peter. Peter is really good because every time you sacrifice an agent to do a mission, that mission then becomes permanently cheaper. So, in long games, you can get your really essential missions, like your Administrative Burden and your Toxic Vapors, down to, like, nothing. It's great. They also reworked Water, too. Um, all these Smugglers. Smugglers got nerfed really heavily, which is good because they were just stupid OP before. Um, but yeah, they reworked the whole water system. So now, uh, there's no wind trap. Like nobody can get wind traps except the Fremen. So everyone except the Fremen has like an inferior water technology, but you don't need to research for it. And it's still decent. You know, it's better than the dew collectors were, but you'll see it all as we go. Yeah. Politics stops everything. Yes, exactly. Uh, I haven't tried ECAS. We're going to be doing two games today. So I'm just, you know, I wanted to try it. This is my first game of the patch. I, uh, it came out yesterday, and I was doing a big Age of Empires stream, so my old man hands were kind of destroyed. So I was like, all right, let's just, let's just get at it tomorrow and have some fun. Uh, Pwn, I believe, is at work still. Uh, he'll probably be able to make it for the second game, so I'll make sure to get him in for the second match, and uh, we'll do a little something-something. All right. Yeah, you also get money from the sacrifice, too. Correct. All right, so where are we on the map? We're in the top right. Okay. Uh, we got four players here. Uh, good. We just want to pause when we first load in to make sure that everybody's there. So myself, Seething, and yeah, so we got uh, Hadris on the Fremen, the Seething uh, on the old Carino here, and then Ekaz is going to be Nani Yori. Very scary. We're just waiting for Ekaz to load in, and then we're uh, good to go. One sec, guys. Oh, hold on. My mouse is flying off the screen. There we go. <laughs> All right, we're back in business. There's Carthag, our uh, glorious stronghold. Bone <laughs> needs that long toilet break, yeah. Yeah, it's fun. We have a really... Dude, we have a super active Dune community in our Discord. If you guys are looking to play this game, public games can be really rough. Um, so we're all set. All set. All right. So let's do this. Let's Fly over here. And obviously, you want to get your spice fields first. So we're going to grab this. And they also reworked the UI a little bit, so I'll show you that as we do go forward here. <clears throat> Yeah, the military advisor is good. He's he's pretty good for the Harkonnens. The traits have been moved down here now. So military production and uh, yeah, so pretty terrible traits on our first village, but it's all good. It ain't no problem. So then from here, we're going to go scouting. I always recommend getting like three or four ornithopters. I think that's usually the, the thing. You know, it, it just gives you so much information and data on the map and, you know, what everybody's up to and where the good resources are at. You know how that goes. All right. So no good traits yet. This looks like it could be a special region. I think it might be one of the, the mount ones. So yeah, the new Landsrat events definitely have uh, have changed quite a bit. So we're gonna get a refinery up, and we are gonna go for the uh, go for the Instill Fear. It's still, I think, the best route for Harkonnen. Instill Fear gives you uh, pillaging of villages without any penalty to annexing them later. So you can like farm all the villages near you, and usually do pretty well for yourself. So all right, so our first spice field is gonna be popping off here. We have a second Ornithopter. Also, um, Spice Harvesters have been reworked. You can now put them on Greed Mode or Safe Mode. Safe Mode, they get less resources, but they don't get eaten by worms as often. So Data Setter and Manpower if it has one building of each type, so nothing too crazy here. And we just need our Ornithopters to scout a little bit before we decide what uh, second region we want to go for. So that's why I usually get a bunch. Also want to get a couple troopers, so you can uh, start pillaging the villages as soon as that finishes. So local dialect studies will give us cheaper annexing, so we can wait for that. It will save 15% of our current authority, which isn't bad. Arrakis's Butchers. Um, Arrakis's Butchers has... Oh, did they change it? Oh, they changed it! Oh, I didn't know they changed that much. Okay, hold up. So 10 water, 15% damage against militia and rebels. Gain 5 pen... Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Okay, that's going to change our build order hardcore. We're going to actually go for Arrakis's Butchers. They reworked that. Oh, man. Okay. 
that's a little something something. So we got fuel cells here, we got plascrete, so we're gonna go for the plascrete obviously because plascrete is very, very good in the early game. Okay, so a rework, and that's what that's why we're here today. Arrakis's Butchers, that's really good for uh, spamming pillage, wow. So you can see greed mode and safe mode. You can only use safe mode if you have a ornithopter attached to it. So we did finish that, great. So now we're gonna be annexing this one 15% cheaper. It will save us some authority so we can rapidly grab a third village. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a party, man. It's gonna be a party. Yeah, so we're gonna try that opening. We're gonna go instill fear with Arrakis's Butchers. That gives you not only water, but also lets you just goon down militia and rebels. And dude, that's so good for attacking enemy players too. You'll kill their militia super quickly uh, in their bases. Talk about like useful against the Atreides and some of these you know factions that have really, really good militia. All right, so let's get our Ornithopters out. They have a little bit, I think they're six gold upkeep, so it's not too bad. And let's get our Plascrete going here and uh, get some more militia in both these regions. So here we can throw down a manpower building because with Harkonnens, it's very important. We'll throw down you and we will also get a couple of you in here. Perfect. Yeah, that, that's a nice change. All right, so let's go ahead and look around. We want to see where we want to go next. Um, once Instill Fear is ready, we can start pillaging. Um, fuel cells are obviously very good for us. They added new main base buildings too. So the main base buildings, uh, one of them gives you fuel cells. So if you get really unlucky in your spawn, you're not going to be in a position where like, well, shit, now I'm just not going to get any of my big ships. And now you can get the, um, you're pretty much guaranteed to get fuel, fuel cells from your main base if you want to. All right, so waiting for Instill Fear. Um, we do not know what these special regions are. With Harkonnens, you want to grab Spice Fields. I'm going to be going Chom mostly and going Big Eco Harkonnens. And we're about to get our first agent. This region gives us agent recruit speed on that side, which is nice. Obviously, Iraq is first, and we can start grabbing these free resources around us. Good, good. And um, what do we have nearby? All right, so the Ornithopters are scouting, so let's have you fly down here. And Instill Fear is going to be done in a second, so we can start on this one. And we will wait till, um, yeah, pull him back to the base. Fight here. Should be ready in time. Yeah, should be ready in time. So Blast Creep and Manpower, important resources for us Harkonnens. We're going to start selling a little bit of Spice, because the exchange rate's decent at two. And we need to wait for this to finish so we don't suffer the penalty for Instill Fear. And it looks like we've gotten it. All right. So we're going to pillage that. Now we're just going to go rampaging through the lands and basically tearing through every territory we can. All right, let's get another. Ooh, they increased the cost of heavy militia. All right, that's interesting. Let's look at the water of our regions. Um, we have pretty terrible water, and we have a spice field down here, but we need to get a water region soon-ish, probably. Um, this has four. This special region is processing plant. Ooh, that's big. All right, we got to go grab that. Um, processing plants and any you know financial stuff you can find for the Harkonnens is just crazy strong. All right, so this is going to be fun. Arax's Butchers, yeah, five manpower as well. That will help us uh, get our villagers going. Sean, thanks for becoming a channel member. Greatly appreciate it. All right, so it looks like there's a little raider nearby. Thanks, Sean. And uh, all is good in the realm. And still, fear does stack. So every time you take down a village, it becomes 10% cheaper. So like, if you're just like beating up a village over and over, um, it is going to eventually get you where you want to be. And once we get Arax's Butchers, yeah, we should be in good shape. So we're going to annex his territory. Got to make sure we don't lose anybody. I don't think we're going to. Seems fine. Troopers are doing well. <laughs> you're, you're here just in time. We're just starting. We we talked about quite a few of the changes. Tech trees have been reworked. And um, yeah, there's there's a lot of changes overall. So what do we want to get here? Probably just another... I could get a intel building. But I think just spamming out manpower early for Harkonnens is going to be good. Especially once we get the martial economy going and we are able to start oppressing regions. So we'll grab this and then we'll do a little bit of pillaging. And then after that, we need to get our spice fields um, online. So there's another spice field down here. Oh, and one up here too. That's great. This is way more defensible. So we're definitely going to grab that. All right. Awesome. So um, let's go ahead and get the processing plant. That is going to give us a lot of dough. In that region, we can oppress the hell out of it. And we'll get a heavy militia there. Harkonnens, you obviously want militia in all your villages. Right now, I can only afford a couple, so... But yeah, this spice field is 84 to annex. So see, the lands rad will start in 0.7 days. So do we have instill fear? We don't have Arax's butchers, but I don't feel we can wait for that. So we're going to push up. Is anyone having problems with the Age of Empires 4 servers? Uh, I don't know. I haven't tried playing today. So yeah, uh, there could be something going on with them. But let's go get that money. All right, so we've investigated this. And the game pauses, puts you into land rad, lands rad. So obviously the votes are going. I believe... Yeah, there's nothing to vote on here. Is this interesting? Isn't it? Are we supposed to be able to? Oh, are we just reviewing the Landsrad right now? 
Um, but you can also support different things by spending influence, which puts them further up on the charter. So if you're like trying to win one, you can vote it. Um, the Lanzarote session is okay. They're leveraging their business here. Oh, I think we're waiting for maybe someone to do like their pre Lanzarote events and then we get to vote. We'll find out in a second. All right, so remaining time. So that I believe was for ECAS to do their political stuff. And then the main Lanzarote should be coming in now. Or is, oh wait, everyone votes individually? Is that how this goes? It like goes through each person? Yeah, okay. So maybe it's like one player at a time. Um, at the start of the next council, gave five Plascrete per Chome share. See, the Chome subsidy, uh, yeah, subsidies is new. Okay, so it goes through each person, and each person gets 30 seconds. The elected faction gains 20 water. Um, that ain't bad. I kind of want to, like, save. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for the water. I feel like everybody's going to vote on that one. Um, ECAS will probably blast me in terms of votes, but we're going to try and get the 20 water. The North Pole costs no authority to capture. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's crazy. Okay, so we could just, like, rush to the North Pole. Um, the elected faction gets it. Okay, Carino's going to try and win this one. So I'm putting my votes in. And, um, oh, Carino beat me by three votes. Oh, this, the minor houses voted them in. Oh, son of a gun, dude. So the minor houses were able to upset that there. All right, interesting. Let's go tag him. Yeah, I like the new Landsrad system. If it were all simultaneous, it'd be a little bit probably better, but um, I, I think it's I think it's a, an improvement from what we had before because it gets very chaotic in the late game. All right, let's do this, and we can go ahead and investigate that. It should get us our first line tech work ethics. Yeah, probably should get that next. And we're going to go for martial economy after that, and then we'll just go into that tree. Arax's butcher should be ready soon. Good, good. And we have a decent amount of Plascrete. We want to head over here and grab this. 84, but yeah, so we'll do a little bit more pillaging here. So let's get another trooper to make the uh, raids uh, more efficient. And what do we want to build? Currently, can we do the main base building? We can, so yeah. New buildings, by the way. So these are all the Chome ones. Yeah, you have the recycling bad. So it gives you one water per dew collector. So you can see there's a new water base building. Um, we have the fusion plant, which gives you fuel cells, and then we have the Landsrad headquarters, which maximizes your, um, your uh, it gives you more influence overall, which is pretty powerful. All right, so we're going to go hard in the paint and eco, so we're going to do the administrative hall. We haven't had to build any water buildings yet, which is kind of neat. And um, let's see here, let's pop you, throw you into spacing guild. Eh, probably we want to start getting that. And uh, do we have any militia spaces? We do not. All right, so how much is this to annex down here? Do we have enough to go over there and just straight annex this? 84? No. So we will go hit this one. This is the Moondew Valley. The Baron must have pissed him off. Yeah, he's probably not the, you know, most uh, most friendly with uh, all the uh, Landsrad folks. Lab Thopter? What the hell is this thing? can be attached to a Harvester. Okay, so let's just attach this to a Harvester. That will augment it and make it less likely to get eaten by a worm. We can also go safe mode on that Harvester now. So safe mode is, let's see, but this one gives you 150% more when sandworms roam nearby. Okay, so let's do safe mode there so it doesn't get eaten. I'm gonna give it a try. I haven't really messed with it yet. We got 23 water and we need some militia up here. So heavy militia in just a second. And now we have Arax's Butcher. So when we hit these militia and these these rebels and stuff, we're gonna be we're gonna be giving them the dirty pretty hard here. All right, so probably another Plascrete building would be warranted here. And let's head down, do a little bit of raiding. A lab thopter is what it said, I think. It's your quest event? Oh, okay, got it. Um, let's see what our quest event is. Hold on, I gotta I gotta like read all this here. This is this is all these things are all new and fun. So plus three knowledge permanently. Visit the special region with a lab thopter. Oh, okay. That's cool. So I, I just need to visit the special regions. Oh wow. And witness a sandworm with a lab thopter. So gain three knowledge permanently. That's uh pretty cool. Alright, so we're gonna pillage this. So we'll go there, go there, um, and then we can go here, and then we need to go to the middle here. And do we need to like visit it, or does that just count as one? So we're here, we've gotten one special region. Okay, that's that's actually a really fun thing. It's like it, it kind of encourages you to explore a little bit. Go for the free military tech, and then we'll take this one, get some more eco tech here. Yeah, that's actually really cool. I like that a lot. So let's get some heavy militia because we're going to be oppressing that region and we should have enough now. Chome shares are up. Uh, we could buy, but I'm just going to buy later on. Oh, that's fun. This is really cool. Yes. Good, Anakin. Good. So next up, we go get the spice field because it's secret and it's safe. Um, looking at village traits here. 
Yeah, that's per military building, so not amazing. This one is going, and um, we need to get that spice field. Yeah, it's like mini games. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. It gives you it gives you a little something something to do. The lab thopter is uh, following my my cues here. Water, not so much a problem after the changes. Um, obviously, it could become a problem later on, but for now, it's it's pretty good. Yeah, and the fact that we get um, get manpower for beating up rebels is pretty pretty huge, and militia too. So like these rebels and these militia, we do 50% more damage to them, which is pretty massive. All right, so the lab thopter has done it. Um, it has visited a whole bunch of special regions, but we need to keep flying down here to complete that because that three knowledge is going to be quite massive, actually. And good. So we got that region. We're going to annex it. Let's keep looking for special regions here, and let's take this. Very good. We see the ECAS. It's like this, the, man, everybody's like kind of like tied into the middle here, it looks like. All right, so we have another main base building, so let's get this, and we can get the uh, Mason's Guild, yes. That is going to be pretty sweet. So Harkonnen economy is, is going. We don't have the martial economy quite yet, but we're on our way there. And I would like to get a knowledge building here now. So we want to get our spice regions uh, fully geared out with heavy militia, because we're going to be oppressing them. So that's pretty big. Um, I don't know where the other special regions are. Yeah, that's right, because they haven't all been like kind of explored yet. So Spice Harvester, we can go ahead and get some Plascrete here, because we're going to need that. Usually you want to be like around 100 Plascrete or so. So we've explored a, a handful of special regions. Our uh, Thopter has looked, I believe, how many have we seen? We've seen five. Um, yeah, got to keep finding them. Maybe if we just like randomly fly. Okay, there's one up there that we just discovered. Ooh, a rare Spice Field. Okay, that's where we're going next. Yeah, there's, there's no, there's no uh, argument there. So we've hit that. This is ready to be pillaged again. So let's go do that and get some money. And um, yeah, probably time to get some knowledge buildings. Probably time for that. So let's start getting some of the knowledge, the research hubs. And obviously we need to get like lay of the land and stuff too. So we'll do that soon. Okay, there's another uh, special region here. So we're going to go here and go here. And our mini game continues. We're trying our best to finish it. Let's get a heavy militia in there. Get some manpower by taking down these dudes here. Should be good. <laughs> it's piloted certainly by a very brave pilot. You know, Rackus is uh, unforgiving, so I'm sure he is uh, He is a very savvy pilot. Okay, I believe we have uh, we do have research hub limit here too. That's actually nice. So do we want to cancel the Plascrete here and maybe get the research hubs going? I think we need the Plascrete. All right, so Landsrad will start in nine days. We're about to get the Landsrad jump scare. Hopefully you guys are ready for it. We got the fuel cells on standby. Let's make sure to grab this. Second region is going. Somebody is doing a scouting. The Fremen are scouting me. Is he planning on worming in, maybe? That'd be interesting. If he is, um, I think we'll be adequately ready. Uh, he's moving towards the worm nest. Um, okay, so now it's it's Landsrad in time. So I don't have that many votes, so I'm just going to vote on um, minus 50% manpower and mechanical unit regeneration. Interesting. All factions lose 20 lands, Rad. Gains 100 until the start of the next council. Okay. So that's actually pretty troll. If this one passes, it, it screws me. So I'm just going to decline that with all my votes and hopefully it goes somewhere. Because someone's going to vote for Imperial Missionaries, like regardless. So I don't really need to handle that. Yeah. Everybody's tough until the sandworm jumps up and eats you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it would be nice if this was simultaneous. It definitely is a little bit slower, um, but I do like the system better. But I think if it was simultaneous and we all just got like one minute or something like that, it would be more efficient. All right, so we're just going to decline this. Um, let's go ahead and decline it, oppose, and we're just going to put all our votes into that. Uh, my attention is needed. Can I like end my phase early? Yeah, okay. See, I can end my phase early and then it will, um, it will speed to the next person. Yeah, which is nice. All right, so that got rejected and Ekaz won the other ones. Look at Ekaz just cackling it up, dude. Yes, they're supremely evil. Let's get our spice going here, and let's get some more heavy militia in that region, and let's pillage this. So that is an observatory station, not super useful for us. We're going to go do a little pillaging run and see if we can grab this. This is going to be a hard one to get the Harkonnens. Um, the Fremen look like they're going to want that, I suspect. All right. So Lab Thopter, how many have we done? Seven special regions. Uh, we already did the worm's nest, I think, and then we need to do that, and I think there might be, like, some down here, so we'll just, like, fly there and see if we can... I wonder if I need to have discovered it, or if I can just, like, fly in and basically do it. <laughs> do it. Part of me wants to expand away from the Fremen. I think I'm gonna let the Fremen have that worm's nest over there, because I don't want them raiding my borders. 
Um, Fremen raids are very annoying when they have the, you know, very lore, lore accurate as well, right? But when they're flying over and, um, yeah, and then we get the, uh, we can get the knowledge building here. And the martial economy should be finishing soon. And then after martial economy, we can get Lay of the Land, which will give us knowledge. And we can start augmenting knowledge and then go full in on Eco. All right. So let's choose this. And, uh, man, that one is really far away. It's kind of close to Fremen Lands, too, to be honest. And it's close to the middle of the map. Uh, I guess I go for the Worm Nest. Yeah, we're just going to have to endure the Fremen Raids and hope we can survive it. It's going to be tough. All right, so that is done. Good. Let's get the Militia all maxed out there. Let's deploy you. All right. Outstanding. And we have the Intel now. What Intel missions do we have? Nothing terribly useful. You guys just keep your raiding going. And have we finished the event yet? Man, we need to find one more special region. This is tricky, dude. We're going to run out of time on this mission here. Okay. Come on, find a special region. Yeah, we might have to have discovered it, which is which is tough. Oh, God, please. Please, Shai Hulud, no. Shai Hulud's coming to eat me. All right, so that's going. Let's go ahead and throw down a manpower building here because uh, we're going to need them for the uh, oppression. Get on the range units. Get on the range units. Although maybe we don't need to spam manpower as much now. Oh, oh, we found a special region. Hell yeah. Okay. Yes. All right, so we gained three knowledge permanently. That's really good. Now we're up to eight. That's like the equivalent of having three research centers, right? That's huge. That's really good. All right, so let's pillage this. Keep heading over. Um, Hadrius is going to take that, so we are just going to go to the other spice field, I guess. Yeah, that's a really good region for Fremen, right? If they want to play like Chom and stuff. And I don't want to make like early enemies with him. Because Fremen can be very aggressive. Granted, our militia can fight him off in the bases very easily. But um, it's still not. I'd rather focus on Carino, right? Like, Carino is going to be a big problem. Okay, let's do this. Let's slap a, some manpower in there for additional spice and additional spice. And now we have the martial economy. So basically, we need to start oppressing every region that is, like, generating good money. So we're going to oppress this. Let's get some militia in there. And you. Perfect. And then we need to get the martial economy building in here as well. And that's going to start just pumping the jams. Yeah, it is a very juicy spice region, but, like, Harkonnen early military is decent, but I don't want to be, you know, stuck in mortal combat. I want to be just, you know, rolling in the money, basically. So we're going to keep pillaging here, and uh, we need to get the spice building here. We can't get the third tier at this point. Okay, so perfect. Could buy some shares. Ekaz going bananas on buying shares early. How are they that rich? Jeez. Uh, I guess they're probably just spending the money as they get it. Personally, I like to hoard and then just like bu like just buy it in a huge burst. Is um, Do we want to take this region? It's 59. It is a good water region. You know what? We're going to take that for now. And let's go ahead and start oppressing here. So get the Office of the Order. And we're going to start making a ton of money once that gets going. Yes. Yeah. I don't want to get eaten by Shai Hulud, that's for sure. So um, down in the south, Ekaz expanding. Ekaz and Carino are really, really getting ready to fight. Um, hopefully the Fremen will expand the other way, but it looks like they're kind of expanding towards me, which is a little scary. Uh, I mean, Harkonnen armies are good, but I'm not, like, teching that way super hard. I mean, I guess I could fight him. I think I could. Who knows? I'd rather not. All right, so let's go ahead and get the water building here. So the new Dew Collector, it works differently now. The Dew it. And let's grab you guys. And now we're getting 114 here, and we're going to start getting a ton here. And then we need to get the martial economy going down there. And let's head down to the south and grab the spice field. At least three spice fields is like, I think, the minimum of what we want. So he's just pillaging. Um, we are maxed out on militia here and here. So those regions would be incredibly hard to uh, take down. And do we have enough here? We do. Good. Tech is going. Great. So we got lay of the land. So let's start getting some of this. Although, we, sh oh, man, we probably should get intelligence network and spying logistics so we can get agents. I'm just getting, like, all of the essentially core abilities, if, it, if you were. Um, the ones that are really, really important. We're a little bit tight on supply, but I think this should finish in time. How many... Oh, there are three. Shit, we're going we're gonna to lose this army. Yeah, we got to run back to our base. And we got to hope they make it home. That would be really Bronzodi if I lost them. I mean, I could replenish them, but it would take, uh, it would take a little bit of time. So, yeah, you got to be careful. Oh, God, we're going to lose these guys to supply, dude. Yeah, because my water just dropped because of buildings. Uh, this is, I thought this would finish in time. Come on, boys. Make it back. It's like, it's like they, it's like when you make it into the oasis and you see like the, the edge of the water. Oh! Oh! Oh, that was close. That was really close. Hot damn. That was a, that was a scary one there. All right. 
So over here, we're looking good. Um, Office of the Orders in full effect. Dude, that was really shady there. That was really, really shady. We almost didn't make it. All right, so we need to move these guys away so we can replenish our manpower. Baron's big boned. Yeah, he's, he's just, you know, big boned. That's all it is. All right, so we're going to start smashing some rebels and our main base building. We can get some goodies here. So, yeah, there's so many new buildings, man. Like, we're obviously going to go military down here. Um, as far as this goes, we can get knowledge and hegemony gains. So let's slap that down here. Good, good. Yeah, that was like a movie scene where they're, like, all running and there's, like, you know... <laughs> That was that was a close call. All right, let's fill that out on militia here. Um, they're gonna keep healing up, and we have uh, we have these supply drops. So our water's up to thirteen, and here we can go ahead and get fuel cells. They'll be useful at some point or other, and we have supply drops, so we should be okay. All right, it's lands in time, so our influence isn't great. We're not playing polit politics too much. Um, we basically just have to. Oh God, I hope I don't get controlled markets. Um. Controlled markets is like the biggest punishment for us. That will that will set us back a bit. And I don't really have much influence, so I'm kind of just screwed. I could try and get some non-aggression with Hadries, but I don't know if like... Yeah, I'm going to send it to him. Sent non-aggro so we can focus OP uh, civs. See, I'm, I'm doing a little bit of uh, politicking here with Hadries. I sent him a non-aggression so we can focus the stronger. Because Ekaz and Carino are considered to be like top two right now. So um, let's go ahead and do this. Vote Carino for that. Voted core for Spice. Spice is like a censored word apparently. Okay. Did he take the non-aggression pact? Uh, he did. Alright. So Hadri's uh, the Fremen and... Uh, all yours. He says, "Don't touch the worm nest." Perfect, perfect. See, the heart, the Baron, the Baron knows. He's pragmatic. <laughs> you know, we know that the Fremen are mighty, and we don't want to mess with them. So, um, yeah, that's pretty funny. So we take down rebels super quickly. Now, man, we get manpower when we hit rebels too. That's really nice for these guys. All right. So let's raid this village, and uh, then we'll move down and capture that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let. Hey, I'm not even gonna contest the spice. Uh, did we get the exchange rate on us? We didn't. Oh, thankfully. I, th I believe it went to uh, Carino. Yeah. It looks like Carino got it. He said the word spice, I know. I don't know what's going on with that. That's some funny business here. All right, so raiders are coming, but we should be able to deal with them. We're going to pillage this region again. Get some money. Um, buying Chome shares is going to be very difficult with ECAS, like, dipping into that. But I'm developing my main base pretty well here. Spying logistics is on the way. We have 10 knowledge. Which ain't bad. And uh, let's head down here. Get the spice field. I'm just going to extend my Harkonnen uh, talons out onto the map a little bit. We're about to get the uh, research center. And then we can get the... Uh, yeah, we don't really care about the embassy too much. Spying logistics. And then we need to go like full on into the chome. Alright, so free tech here. I know, spice is, spice is serious. It is. So let's go ahead and uh, supply drop here to make sure we don't die. Gotta always have that one handy on the back pocket. So that's being uh, that's being oppressed. That's being oppressed. Good. So everything is going fine. Uh, we could start buying shares yet, but I don't think it's time. All right. So we're grabbing this region. We do a lot of extra damage against militia, and this is what this is a. Oh, that's not a bad one. That's a decent little hedge site. So we could grab this one next. We'll definitely pillage it again. But it looks like we have enough to just grab these two territories because we haven't been grabbing like any. Anything at all, but three spice fields is enough. I don't need to greet it. I mean, I could go get this one near Carino, but I suspect that will drag us into a war. Yes. You know, the Baron. The Baron knows when when to attack and when not to attack. Right? He's uh, he's not looking to just get wrecked. Although he does get wrecked in the books for sure. All right. So this one gives us water and salary per production building, which is a good trait. Granted, um, let's get some heavy militia here. Let's go ahead and get the spice harvester, and uh, let's pull back. All right, so we've retreated into the shadows. Let's grab the supplies here. Um, we can go take this now, and we can have our two little regions uh, hanging out near one another. Manpower is really rough right now. The offices of the order like eat so much of your manpower. It's pretty nuts. But thankfully, the new uh, tech tree lets us get a bunch by just taking down militia and things like that. So we need to get more manpower buildings in pretty much every region we don't already have them in. So let's uh, slap one down here. And um, yeah, we're going to need more manpower buildings. 
All right, so we'll take that. This one's pretty good. It's a very, very high water region. We can get a demo militia here. And uh, yeah, everything's going well. Just Harkonnen and chill, man. Yeah. It's all set. We're all set. The spice is flowing. Our economy isn't amazing at the moment, largely due to the fact that there's a giant storm flying over our lands, but that's fine. And uh, we're finally going down the economic tree. We've gotten like all of what I perceive as the core abilities, uh, which is like uh, Araxas Butchers and Still Fear, Lay of the Land, and the two intelligence ones to get the agents flowing. And aside from that, I think we're good. All right, so let's get another manpower building, then we'll get some water in that region. We'll just kind of chill here for now. The dudes are healing up, but let's move them over to these cliffs so they don't absorb all the resources there. We're about to finish this. We'll get another manpower building here. You can see how quickly you go through it with the old Harkonnens. It's, uh, you go through it really quick. All right, so how's everybody looking? Um, we see the Carino, the Padishah Emperor. He's on one base still. So, holy shit, look at this village. Oh my god, there's four <laughs> there's four research hubs in there? What the hell is that? Oh, there's the one that increases the limit. Oh my god. Carino is just so brutal, dude. Um, I gotta worry about being assassinated, too. The Baron, Baron is always very suspicious. All right, so we got manpower coming here. Let's go do some raiding so we can raid this region again. Yes. We've investigated the site, so free technology. I'll take it. And can we investigate this? We'll take the intel. Why not? And, all right. All's calm in the lands. Main base building soon. We'd like to get the Chome Exchange Branch. Uh, we don't quite have that. Uh, do I want to sell more? I think we're okay. Yeah, we're going to have a nice stockpile of spice for sure. Missile turret here is going to be necessary as well. And here we're going to get water. This is a very good water region. All right, let's get a heavy militia there. Let's pillage this. Now the manpower is about to finish. And main base building. We could get the harvester works, which is um, it's an okay one to slap down here. Although I think just getting something here would be smarter. So we're going to get the intelligence agency because that will immediately give us in influence and in intel production, which is quite good. So, All right, so we pillage that region. And Chome is up. We're not playing Chome yet. I'm going to get there eventually. We're going to be Chome and hard in the paint. Okay, a couple raiders in the back, but we are well secured there. And Office of the Order soon, but I think a missile turret here would be more prudent. Yeah, something like this. Just to, you know, this is a very, very vulnerable position, right? So we don't want to just get karate chopped here. Let's get a dew collector to get some water going. And um, I know the new water tech, insulated controlled villages and regions with two wind strength uh, will give you more water. Yeah, and buildings require our cheaper upkeep. That's pretty good. We'll definitely get that after we get the crew training program. And we're going to do mass chome buying once we get the chome support too. So that's, uh, that's kind of the direction we're going to go here. All right, so we got knowledge. Uh, these regions have been raided. We can go raid this region. It's kind of far away, but we're going to hustle up there and hope it works out. Manpower production is back online. Yeah, Harkonnens are really good at You can deal with assassinations pretty well with Harkonnens because you can just sacrifice agents to get these cell searches immediately, so you don't have to wait. Um, so yeah, Harkonnens can counter like counter that somewhat effectively, but still, you, you just don't even want it to get to that point, right? Okay, um, we also need to get enhanced questioning. Oppressed villages generate intel. That's a really important one. So let's actually get that and then insulated valley and then the chome shares because then we should be pretty rich and we can start buying. Okay, Landsrad is about to go down. So let's have you guys just go help out of this village. We're about to get the Landsrad jump scare. And let's get you and you. Perfect. So that village is going to be pretty jacked and hard to take down. We'll definitely oppress it. And this region, let's see, I know we have the... Um, yeah, all right. Here's Landsrad. So let's see. Uh, elected faction gets upkeep production. I mean, our influence sucks. We are not really playing that way. So I'm just going to vote on military um, investigations. This is really good because it makes it so anybody who's hard teching military for early aggression will have a harder time pushing against you. We're going to chome it eventually. Yeah. Though turn has some meta advisors. Yeah. Well, you know what's cool? really cool about Harkonnens? Every single, every single advisor is, um, is good. Like, they're all good. Like, you know, Robin is really good because he gives you 5% production in all your villages and extra militia and also gives you money for killing the rebels that pop up. So what are you all planning? Yeah, everyone's like chatting right here. It's funny. On top of that, Peter's great because he gives you money. Sacrificing agent gives 60 per current agent. Oh, interesting. So they changed, they changed Peter too. It's not a flat 500 anymore. It's now 60 per uh, current agent. Okay. I don't think that was in the patch notes. Um, Nephew is good. He lets you rapid build armies in the late game and, and really you can spam armies out. And then also, um, Fade isn't bad either. He's good for playing pol politics. You get more influence production and, uh, yeah, it's good. 
It is good. So now it's my time. Uh, so we're going to support this. Oh, did I just totally space out on that? I was like reading chat and talking with you guys. Hey, it ended up passing anyways. Oh, cool. I didn't even need to use my votes. Outstanding. I'll take it. All right. So let's get these supplies back. Um, looking good over here on Plascrete. We have this main building. Our main base is definitely building out nicely. And here, what do we want to get? Let's throw down another militia. And we'll just keep it pressing. Getting 116 to pop here is great. And we have a spot to do this. This is yeah, just that. So we need to wait wait till we have like an excess of Plascrete before we spend a ton there. Yeah, that's fine. I was just I was just reading chat with you guys. So we're just gonna go raid this region to make a little bit of dough. Nobody's taking the middle. And um, do we have anything we want to grab around here? Yes, free military tech. Yeah, fade is the campaign corruption thing is fun. You can definitely troll people pretty hard with that. Like if you put corruption on something and then vote somebody for something and then um, tank their lands rad standing, it feels pretty strong. All right, so this is agent recruit speed and militia slot. All right, it's cute. And um, built here, built here. So definitely need to do a little something, something. We have the dew collector back here. We could get the, yeah. So do we have the, the chome branch yet? We do, all right. Chome branch is what I was looking for. That's the one that gets you like insane money. Like absolutely insane. So the exchange rates are pretty good right now, actually. We could we could definitely sell a little bit more. I think there's like a storm. Yeah, the storm is screwing up my eco right now. No problem. Let's take these militia down. Fade uh, being 60 salary per agent was in the patch notes. Well, that's not Fade, but yeah. It was in the patch notes? Okay, maybe I just missed it. Yeah, I got to like rethink my base layouts now. It's very, very different stuff. What does this village do? Manpower if it has uh, one building of each type. So definitely just get like a uh, knowledge hub there. Cool. Let's run back this way, and we'll get some knowledge. Outstanding. So that's going to help us tech up. We don't want to be the potato in technology. And let's get an office of the order here so we can start oppressing this and getting that sweet, sweet money. And hey, we're, we're in the green economy-wise. Military investigations are up. Currently, we, we actually already have some military techs. So we're not, like, helpless there, which is cool. And Plascrete is a little bit low. Definitely throw down a Plascrete region here. Let's get this one fully jacked out. And um, yes, it's a frontier base, so certainly want to spend the manpower to get it nice and defensible. And we can raid these villages again. Um, what does this special region do? Yeah, no buildings consume no water. What does this do? Slurry per statecraft building? Does it have any unique stuff? All right. So water's tight. Um, probably going to need to get some dew drop facilities. Uh, obviously, insulated valleys is going to help us. It's going to lower building upkeep. And oh yeah, that's right, maintenance centers. Goddamn, I was like totally spacing out. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I feel like I'm doing something colossally wrong. Like I don't have maintenance centers yet. Um, so yeah, we need to get maintenance centers. That's going to just really get our economy going. I was so obsessed with all the new technology that I, I totally blanked on it. That's going to be really big up here though. So that this will hit like everything. This this one base is going to maintenance center all of our territories. So it will, uh, you know. It'll, it'll get there. Just pretend it was like planned that way, right? So maintenance center going down here. Um, special regions, we could go get this one. This one here, definitely we're just gonna go pillage that. Could we get attacked here? Um, let's save up some Plascrete so we can get more main base buildings and get the military ones. And enhanced questioning is really good. Then we go Chome support and when Chome supports up, that's when we start buying shares because they'll be 15% cheaper. So it's gonna be uh, very cost effective for us. All right, so let's hire them to spread propaganda. Yes, we'll take that. It's a really, really good one. And you and you looking solid here. And we have five wind strength in this region. Is there anything we want to oppress here? Um, probably just Plascrete is fine. If we have one building of each type, yeah. So we want to get a um, we want to get a research hub here. And let's go down and take this down. I planned it. You know, I waited till I could get one uh, maintenance center to hit my entire nation, and then I went for it. That was the game plan here. I'm sure some of you guys who are experienced were just like pulling your hair out, like, get a maintenance center. Do it. All right, combat drug, sleeper agent. I think we're fine. A scavenger teams is always a pretty good one to have on call. You can pop it when you see enemies fighting and stuff. We are we are a peaceful Harkonnens, by the way. Um, we can take this region. It's a Plasker region. It's not bad. Let's get some on counter intel right now. And it um, looks like the rebellions are being squashed. We're going to take this. This will give us a border with Homeboy here, with the Emperor. Uh, who we don't have any sort of allegiances with at the moment. Then we get a maintenance center right here. That should be nice. Master. And we're all set. Yeah, the lands rad pause. Correct. So executioner at no cost. All right, hell yeah. Let's get this bad boy. Nice. We have a good military unit now. 
All right, so this region's going to be ours. Um, we'll immediately stock it out with militia, so it's hard to take down. Let's do this. And we're going to build a listening post because we're in conflict with the Emperor. So if it's near the border with them, we're going to get some free uh, free resources. So Then we get a maintenance center right here, and it'll reduce the cost of all these. Yeah, look at our income just shoot up there. Wow. With the, um, with the goods. So we got a brainwashed agent, so I'm going to sacrifice them for combat drugs to permanently make it cheaper. Combat drugs are a really good one if you get dragged into fighting, although I don't like this. Carino's coming over with a Death Star of units. I don't think I can fight them. Um, if the Militia get up in time, maybe. But otherwise, it's going to be a hard fight. Yeah, let's get some Executioners and see if we want to... I'm not, like, looking to attack him, but... Okay, the Militia are going to get up. That's good. And then we'll build a Missile Turret there. He maybe thinks I'm going to get aggressive with him, which, you know, it could happen at some point, but it's certainly not in my uh, repertoire right now. I'm not looking to get too crazy. All right, so that's finished. We got Insulated Valley, which will give us um, water. And then Chome support here. Cool. Up top. How are we looking? Um, everything's looking fine so far. This base could be developed a little bit more, but I'm going to save up. I really have no intentions of attacking him. Not until he becomes more of a threat. Um, let's see. Are they doing... With Carino, you always want to be checking to see if they have any uh, hedge buildings. Because they can pop off on hedge super hard. Um, Hadri's... And Fre Fremen usually have like the highest, some of the highest early hedge in the game just because they get the most authority, so they can like rapid capture things. Um, but let's go ahead and get a missile turret here. All right, and we can do that like a little bit deep set. And now we're getting more influence. You can see we're up to six influence, which is pretty respectable. Definitely gonna need some airfields down here, and um, probably an airfield in this region would be good too. We got more executioners, so we have decent army now. In case somebody tries to attack us, we're not gonna be like a complete potato. All right, so it's, it's lands rat in time. So my influence is becoming more impactful. Um, yeah, and my lands rat standing is also going up. Good, because I have a allegiance with the Fremen, so that's helping. Uh, all right, gear regulations. Ooh, Carino, Carino, I do not have the worst votes. Some, somehow, Hadri's has like a ton of influence, which is funny. I'm gonna vote Carino for gear regulations. Although no, I want infrastructure control for myself. That's so greedy though. It's only 20% power. To change this, all factions. Okay, Carino changed the scope of this. So we don't need to worry about that. So we're just going to go for the infrastructure control. Granted, Hadris will probably take it because he's got what appears to be 200 plus influence. And yeah, I'm going to fill up my harvesters now too. I was waiting for harvester works to be finished um, in this region because I always build it in the single slot. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. So we're going to build that next and then I'll fill it up. It saves you a ton of manpower. I hear a huge update for a company of Heroes 3 is coming. Yeah. Oh, my attention's in today. All right, let's, uh, let's go for it. All right, so we're going to try that. Charter priority is increased with Solari of Influence. So I can support this, the Water Sellers Union. You can see I can put Influence into it, which will prioritize it. But personally, I don't really care about that. All right, so we're going to try and get that, see if it works out. Will they add tanks to the game? Um, the, the There are some vehicles, like the... Um, okay, so water deficit right now because of what? Gear regulations on me. Uh, it's because of the rebellions. Okay, yeah, it should subside here in a second. So I got gear regulated, which is okay. It's not the worst. Did I win the other one? I did win infrastructure control, which is super good. So now I can just spam out main base buildings and just cackle like the heathen kings of old. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get this. We will get the harvester works here, which is going to give us a cheaper fill out. And then I fill out all my harvesters. That's usually how I play it. But I did get gear regulation. So I just have to be on the watch for getting attacked basically, because I could for sure get um, swung in on here. All right, let's do this. Buildings are cheaper. We'll get an airfield. That's gonna allow me to kind of... The hell is this? Why can I not put that down? Oh, it's because of water. It was weird. Is there a rebellion there? Okay, there is. Yeah, we need the insulated valleys. You can see water is actually starting to become a pretty pretty substantial variable here. Okay, so it should be back up now. We can get an airfield and good. We're at 0.1 water. Jeez, that's super shady. Um, I guess we're gonna need water down here too. We're just gonna have to spam dew collectors. So we don't run into the pits and can we raid these regions we can we could even capture it but i'm just going to raid it make it cheaper for later i don't want to jump up and hedge too hard right i don't want to be that guy so carthag is on the way i bet you they'll eventually add like some sort of vehicle for each house yeah we're gonna go here on counter intel to make sure i don't get cheesed um definitely don't want that and uh yeah all's good man all's calm not too much drama so far it's been peaceful Let's get our villages nice and sauced out while everything is cheaper here. Um, what do we want to build there? Yeah, like the major buildings are going to be cheaper. Um, let's go ahead and pillage that again. Water supply. Yeah, we're very, very 
shady on water because rebellions pop up intermittently and will screw us on the water. <laughs> it's very troll. We're pretty wealthy though, so these guys are gonna pull back. Harvester Works is about to finish, and do we want to save up for something big here? Like, um, Research Hub, that will get us, like, skyrocket us in research, or we can, yeah, probably getting a research station first is going to be smart. That will allow us to get a lot of tech. So what are we missing here? Um, currently, we're missing water, so we're going to plop that down, and we're going to get some water here. And Insulated Villages had just, just finished, so that just gave us a bunch of water, which is great. So now we're not going to suffer quite as much. All right. Let's see here. Um, any nearby stuff we want to grab? We can't get this. We can do that to reveal a siege. How are we looking here on the border? We are getting a little bit of influence there. Um, main base building will be ready to build in a second. We're going to get Harvester Works, so then we can just dump manpower like crazy. No aggression yet, which is nice. Um, the Moondu Valley is cool. Currently, Hadrius is ahead of me on Hedge, which is good. It's what we want. We want you, you never want to be the first nail that sticks up, you know? You want to be the nail that sticks up when, like, the guy doing the hammering is tired. You don't want to be it when he's fresh and he's just got that hammer ready, right? That's That analogy is, like, super apt for this. So, yeah. People are going pretty hard on the shares. Even the Fremen are buying a little bit, which is cool. All right. So, now we got that. So, we can start developing the... Um, well, Intel Center is really good. This one's, like, really, really good. So, we'll get that first. And the main base buildings um, is going. That's good. So, now we can fill up all our harvesters. So, one, two, three... And one, two, three. And cool. So all, all of our spice harvesting is going to be more efficient now. And now we can start buying chome. So we're going to start buying our way into the chome. We're just going to grab this region for now. Just so we don't bankrupt, like, stick too much, uh, too many resources there. Do we want to build a military factory? I don't think so. Everything's still cheaper right now. So we could go back here. Yeah, let's maximize that base. And get a um, the spacing guild branch. Because obviously we're going to want our mothership. Yeah, I think if you raid it 10 times, it eventually becomes, like, basically free. I'm not sure exactly. I've never pushed it to the limit. I don't know if there's, like, a cap on that. But that infrastructure control is so good. We just got a bunch of, like, high-quality buildings for, like, nothing. That normally would have taken us much longer. All right, so there's a siege nearby. It's in our territory. It gives you the extra agents. So we can trade... Oh, that's actually not good. You know what? Cancel. Let's, let's cancel that. Because Harkonnens get a benefit for killing sieges, so we might actually just do that. All right. So, Trump support, and then from here we can do the uh, countermeasures to make sure things don't get too crazy. Let's get some water in this region. We'll get a dew collector, and we can just get basic militia since it's not like a super important base. It's pretty well insulated. Looks like they were able to handle that. Could get a military base on the border there with Homeboy. Wouldn't be a bad idea. What is the village traits? Experience gained and intel if it has one building of each type, which currently we are getting. Intel Center is great though. This one gives you whenever you kill a unit, you get um, you get intel. So this like when rebellions pop up and you're like farming them, you're getting intel too. All right. So our knowledge is 27 now because of this building, which is awesome. Our income not quite as good. Uh, the Chome is there's a lot of people going hard in Chome. Yeah, <laughs> filth Harkonnens. You're right, Sean. You know I, I won't. The Harkonnens are definitely pretty awful. Um, there's there's no arguing that. Okay, water's a little bit low. I know you don't need to tell me twice. How are we doing on hedge? We're doing okay. Um, gotta get that counter intel so I don't get assassinated. And are the rates still really high? They are. Okay. So let's slap you down on Landsrad. Uh, yeah, a little Landsrad influence wouldn't be bad. So the Harkonnen's starting to build up some influence here. Um, let's preserve the runes, take that knowledge out from the nose of the Emperor. And we can grab this special region over here now. I'm down for it. Let's, let's party. Main base building is coming, and we still have infrastructure control for a little bit longer, so we're going to save that and try and get one more main base building. Hopefully it will work out. Hmm. Yeah, the Emperor can adjust the Landsrad to, like, affect, uh, affect everyone or just him. It's, a, it's an Imperial Edict is what it's called. It's, it's quite good. Okay, so we just need a little bit more of this so we can get the old... Uh, we want to get the Embassy and just finish that off. I think we need to start getting the Manpower stuff, so we'll get the uh, Research Center here. All right. So we managed to finish that one while it was still on the cheap, which is great. We have an airfield here, so we can fly there. Um, airfield, do we need one there? Not really. Not really. Okay, Landsrad is popping. Let's buy some shares while we're chilling. So we bought some shares while the prices were okay. Um, the boys are going to hustle and get this. Landsrad's going to pop up, and we'll see. I, I have some influence now. And uh, yeah, we're all good. Maybe another airfield here wouldn't be bad. 
All right, so nothing important here. War of Assassins is cute. It's kind of fun if you're planning on assassinating someone. Um, economy development's complete. Speed is decreased by... This would actually be a good one to do, since we have really good economies right now, but also labor rights is good. Um, although, I don't want to suffer that. Let's actually just vote down labor rights. So we're going to vote for economic investment and labor rights to be canceled. The elected faction suffers it. Wow. Um, Carino has 184 influence, so they could definitely vote me for that if they want to. Which wouldn't be bad. I could also slow down the economic investments of these players. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. All right, so how are we looking here? Um, what was I building? So I think I was going to build an airfield here so I could like fly over more effectively. All right, so debates debates are in progress. So you can see there's debates being being uh, being you know had here. So do I want to take the assassins just to make it so if somebody aggresses on me, I can like insta kill two elite units? Um, every command point used increases that. So Carino's probably yeah. Ecas has a ton of votes too. I'm gonna support the economic development hindrance and then try and get some assassins for myself with the remainder of my votes. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. No, you don't even need to quell the rebellions as Harkonnens. It does it for you. If you have the martial economy, the rebellions, the, the villagers, or your militia will take down the rebellions on their own. All right, so how did that pass? So we got economic investigations, or no, we got that off, which is good. Um, fuel cell deficit, all right. So we need to get the um, second fuel cell region up here. So we're gonna go grab that as soon as we uh, capture this. That's gonna put us pretty far up on hedge, which at that point, I'm just gonna stop expanding like completely, basically. Um, yeah, so we need to get that. Rebellions are being squashed here, I believe. Yep, rebellions are being squashed. And uh, we're gonna get this special region here, which does have some okay water. Bases and bases. Border defenses could be pretty prudent. Cruel reputation gives us the political treaty agreement. All right, so let's head up top and uh, let's gear this out. Let's see, so this is a Fremen Rebellion. Fremen Rebellions are different. Um, your militia will not fight back against Fremen Rebellions. So you have to deal with those the good old fashioned way. So we're gonna keep buying chum chairs. Now that we have the, uh, we have all the tech here already, so we don't really care. We're just like, all right, now we can vote. That's why we voted to um, make it hard. Baron, Be Baron Bezos. <laughs> yeah, I kind of am, right? All right, let's get a spice harvester, uh, spice augment here. Let's go clear that out. Good old Fremen Rebellions. And um, we're going to raid this siege once we have a bigger army. So let's get some gunners. And uh, we should be able to get another gunner soon. How much are they? What are we missing? Okay, fuel cells are going to be back. And then we'll go north and grab this fuel cell region. So we're at 15 heads right now, which isn't good. I, I need to calm down a little bit. I need to calm down. Maybe we don't grab that, but I do want the fuel cells. Um, Space and Guild Branch, do we want to trade anything? We could trade influence for ship parts, which feels bad, but we'll do it for now since we're not really playing politics too hard. And we're going to go get that fuel cell region. Although, do we want to get it? No, let's actually chill. I don't want to be the first one to 20k. I'm telling you guys, it is a death sentence. Yeah, Carino with the Shady Assassin vote for sure. I mean, but I am getting the counter intel tech, so I should be very difficult to uh, assassinate. All things considered. This is a very peaceful game, though. Nobody, like, I don't think anybody wants to be the first one to aggress. All right, chum shares are on a discount now, so I'm going to buy. Once we get to 10% chum shares, too, it will, um, oh. All right, so let's deploy that. Looks like one of my spice harvesters got eaten. And we will continue on the barracks here. So let's get the barracks. And what, do I have mechanization yet? I do not. Okay. Yeah, part of me wants to hit Carino. Um, Hadries and I, let's, like, further solidify our friendship by doing a knowledge pact. I'm gonna offer it to him because it'll slow my authority down, which will keep me from grabbing more territories like an idiot. And it will further strengthen my bond with the Fremen. Did you take it? Yep, yeah, cause yeah, it's great. That's great. So now I, I think I'm gonna start maybe thinking about going after Carino a little bit. Once I can get the uh, countermeasures and start getting some military tech like ironed out here, I think it's time for a little bit of uh, aggression, right? So we never got this main base building here. Um, let's get the spice augment. So that will help the nearby spice region. This looks fine. This looks fine. Let's go ahead and get a turret here to be nice and safe. Military tech is finished. What does this region do per statecraft building? So we can do a listening post here, actually. And that will help us get more uh, influence to counter our lack of influence at the moment. Okay, another agent. Let's throw him on Landsrad. All right. Yeah, the Baron doesn't, you know, he doesn't feel like he's he's has to has to, you know, stay with any of these. So let's get the ornithopters on our spice harvesters. And um, we will get an ornithopter on you also. And then we can put them in safe mode once the ornithopters arrive, so then they won't die. Yeah. 
it'll it'll be more consistent probably than you know the downtime. So our water sucks. So invading is actually going to be kind of hard. This region would be really good um, if we can get that. But we need to get countermeasures up to make sure we're secret and safe. Don't want to be getting my bread buttered. And we're now starting to get some military attack too, which is good. Brainwashed agents. Uh, toxic vapors would probably be a good one. So we're going to start researching that. We really, really want the toxic vapors. Where did the Karina put down their second base? They haven't put down a second base yet. Holy shit, that's wild. Maybe they changed the way Karina works? That's very strange. Um, you would always see like a second base. So per statecraft building. So we'll get an intel center there too. See what we can do. Now the Baron is like, he's pretty intelligent. I mean, obviously, you know, he's a villain, so he's going to lose. But, um, you know, in general, he he's pretty cautious in the story and everything. Um, do we need more manpower? Our manpower is okay. I think we just can get more knowledge so we can speed along there. Although it does hurt our economy a little bit. Currently, we don't have enough to buy. I want to get 10%, but Carino's buying a lot. So can we, if I kill Carino, that means a bunch of shares are going to open up, right? Which is, which is really nice. Um, so we're about to get the um, countermeasures. So that will let us put another agent into the uh, counterintelligence, which is good. So that's going to make it very, very hard to assassinate us, like very difficult. All right, so we see the Imperial Army. It looks pretty good, honestly. It looks better than mine. My, my haggard Harkonnen rabble, as it were. And um, in the main base, what is this? So fuel cells, mechanical units. Our mechanical units aren't very good, so we're just going to save up for those other slots here. And we don't care about the embassy, so we're not going to worry about that either. So we're just going to wait till we can get the command post and a couple more buildings before we think about attacking. We'll hit the siege too eventually. Um, we do have a special region here ready to grab, which is awesome. So let's just keep developing our, our old empire here and see what we can do. So water in this region is okay. It's not awesome, but it's still worth doing. Let's fully augment this region. So we have the upkeep production. Rebellion up there is under control. Um, what do we want to get here? I believe we already built the spice building here. Yeah, so it affects the neighboring region. Um, maintenance center, we could get a missile turret. Let's actually get an airfield. This could be an area that gets attacked, like this region. That, and then we could fly over and, and crash down on them here too. Although it'd probably just be better to build the airfield elsewhere. Hmm. All right, so we're chilling. All's calm. Income's not that great right now, but let's buy a little bit of chum. We want to get to 10%. At 10%, you can buy mercenaries, which are awesome, awesome, awesome. And Harkonnens make a lot of money, even if their economy sucks, because they kill so many rebels that they're um, they're getting gold every time they take one of those. Carino has the best mechs, hands down. Yeah, they do. They are mechs are a nasty, nasty, nasty. All right, so this region is it getting it's uh, it's getting spice silos, but it's not under the influence of maintenance center. So let's get maintenance center to help this region. And now we are here, so we can get this and go down towards the uh, yeah towards all that. Lands are out in progress. Okay, so our influence sucks because we're saving up for spaceship parts. So we're having to uh, extend influence. Yeah, the ECAS mechs are really good too. They're nuts. They're very powerful. So Chome shares. Authority. I don't want authority right now. I don't want to power expand and become the number one villain. The Baron, you know, in the in the books, the Atreides kind of are the first ones to get 20k hegemony. You know, all the, all the great houses and minor houses are like, oh, we, we love Leto Atreides, and look what happens to him. So we want to be the one creeping up from, from the shadows, you know? Exactly. So the elected faction gains plus 50 new Shome shares. Um, Lands Radguard. Honestly, I'm just going to try and get the Chome contracts, and if we don't get it, whatever, it's fine. Karina might be able to vote, vote their way. We'll see. Yeah, I'm going to be spamming machine guns. Yeah, heavy militia are very strong. Uh, all right, so we're just going to try and get this. I don't care about anything else, so we're just going to confirm that. And uh, no, no, like, offices have been up for vote yet. That hasn't happened. Um, so base is going to be fully developed here. Let's get another militia there. It's cool that you can, like, queue things up while the Landsrad's going. So you can go, like, while other people are voting, you can go and, and like, do business around the map, which I think is really nice. Uh, military factory is cool, but it's a lot of fuel cells, so we don't have enough for that at this point. And I feel like we probably have some of the best knowledge in the game. Maybe Carino is better. Um, Hadri's probably, hopefully he doesn't backstab us. I mean, it could very well happen. I've, I've made some deals with him overall. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and get this and get the money in that region. Excellent, excellent. Water is tight, but we're not in the negative. And now we are zipping down the training tree. Where Where is his, um, where's, where's the second base of this player, though? Let's see. Carino, no second base. 
What is what is this witchcraft here? I have to I have to comment on this. All right, let's go to a little bit of raiding. Let's hit these neighboring territories here, and we'll build the airfield down here. Um, <laughs> they said I made a mistake. They probably forgot about it. Okay, I was like, I was like, hold up, something. There's some funny business here. So we're gonna do safe mode, and we will do safe mode. Safe mode you can do if you have a ornithopter watching them. Yeah, we're chomen. Did we get the chome? Okay, we're at eight percent. We're gonna keep buying. Um, the, exchange, the spice rate is pretty good. We have a huge stockpile, so we're just gonna sell like just hard sell right now and just get like a ton of money. Yes, perfect. I'm gonna. I'll be fighting Carino soon. Ekaz, up to you. All right, so I'm communicating with my Fremen ally. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how strong our alliance is. You know, once once it really comes down to uh, comes down to it. But we're gonna we're gonna try. I'm just letting him know so he doesn't like uh, panic or anything. Think I'm trying to betray him. The chome is going up. We're at 10%, so now we're getting plus two influence, which is great. And um, once we get our overlord, our big ship, we can chill out, basically. Um, all right, let's grab this. Um, is there any way to any spaceship parts laying around? I don't think so. All right, so we can shuttle down. And yeah, we can like literally shuttle right into the emperor's base lands, which would be pretty funny if we wanted to. So that region is fully developed. Um, just kind of ironing out our base infrastructure now. And let's go ahead and get the command post. That's really good. It makes your military units 30% cheaper. Look how much money we're getting right now. 900. Oh, 900 a day. That's so savage. So we're going to start catching people in Chome now. Yeah, buddy. That is what the hell I'm talking about. Because we have so much spice stockpiled that we can just wait for the rates to go up and just go bananas. All right, so we can now get the important upgrades. So what do we need here? Oh, they changed it. Adrenaline addiction. So you can't get your tier two military units, uh, tier two upgrades until you're really deep down the tree. That is a massive, massive change, ladies and gentlemen. That is a massive change. So let's check our shuttle network. Okay, we have pretty good shuttles here. We definitely need some so we can fly over here. And uh, yeah, uh, I think so. Perfect. This base needs to be developed a little bit more. We're maxed out on manpower, which it's it's okay to have a lot of manpower, you know. Hey, yes. So we have Duke Leto Atreides in chat. Is he hanging out? Middle is being taken by a renegade base, I think. Is that a renegade base? I'm not sure. No. Ekaz have the middle. Ekaz sitting at 13. I have the highest um, right now, so I'm I'm not gonna try and go any higher than that. Yeah, we don't want to be the first one to just be like, look, he has 20k, because then the Baron, not the Baron, but the um, the Emperor is going to start building hedge buildings and just racing me. And then everyone will kill me. Hey, new chum chairs, keep buying. The Baron is is buying despite fierce resistance from, uh, from the competing markets. Currently, the rate's not amazing, so let's start stockpiling a little bit. Spice Harvester is under control over there. Kind of thinking about oppressing this region too. Um, we have the maintenance center here. We're a little bit hard on knowledge. So let's cut that down and get an office of the order here. I think that's going to be pretty good because it'll just give us more money, create rebellions, and also augment our water too. Um, we got spice here. Yeah, we never really fully developed the spice field. I believe we have a spice silo next to it. We do, so we don't need to do much more than that. Um, uh, knowledge is at back to 28. We can actually put the knowledge building here. Yeah, the fuel cells are shady. We have a fuel cell region up here, but I'm really nervous about taking it because I'm closing in on 20k hedge. And if I'm the first one to get 20k, you immediately become a target. Even if you're not really a threat, everybody is always like, kill him, he's too strong. You know, it, it's just, it's a psychological thing. You become a big threat, you know? So I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'd rather get a little bit crunk, get aggressive, you know, um, and see. I mean, Carino might just smash us. They very well could just annihilate us. I, I don't know how many siege drones they have. Hey, Amco, thank you for the donation. The Barantine Empire will control the Olive Spice, I know. We're basically playing the Byzantines here in this game, aren't we? Thank you so much, Amco. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. And um, we're waiting for the Adrenaline Addiction. Once this pops off, we can get um, we can get our... Har Harkonnen Machine Gunners are like the business. So let's get the Executioner upgrade for the damage. And now we're doing this, main base. Uh, this one gives us more fuel cells. But let's go ahead and take the military academy, and that's going to be everything, basically. Thank you so much. Oh, just drop something. Old man sounds as I bend over to pick it up. How many of you guys, like, when you hit your mid-30s, started making, like, old man sounds when you do things? Like, getting up off the couch, picking something up off the ground? <laughs> it's not just me, is it? All right, so we got the oppression going here, the Office of the Order. Good. 
The adrenaline addiction is almost ready. Uh, up top, we're we're chilling out, and uh, yep, let's keep buying. We're getting them stonks, and 17% um, for Carino. If Carino dies, we suddenly can just buy like buy a ton, right? Oh, by the way, you also don't need to um, you don't need to uh, what's it called? Your harvesters will automatically go back out. Wait till your 40s. Oh, I'm not. Ex I'm 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 part of me. You know, definitely. No, no. I'm, like, like retirement is a, is a fun prospect, but, you know, having just ailments in your 40s doesn't sound quite as fun. But, you know, we're getting there. I'm, I'm 35. Making those noises since your mid-20s, yeah. I, th I think if you play sports, you also get them a little bit earlier. So uh, this is with a faction that we're in conflict with. So we're going to get another listening post here. I believe ECAS doesn't have any alliances with us, so we can just drop down a listening post here. Okay, Lens Chad coming up in a couple days. Just got to wait for a listening post here. Like, despite the fact that we're basically giving all of our influence to the guild to get an overlord, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, all right, so Lance Chad's coming up. We have some influence. Um, all right, so this is the last one, obviously. So Water Sellers Union, who's eligible for that? Um, it looks like, um, all right, so let's see. Decline Water Sellers. Everybody needs to decline water sellers who can't win it, because that's in a super strong one. If you're like, especially if if the Fremen could get water sellers, holy shit, they'd be so strong. Yeah. In your 40s, you'll wake up and things get injured, you don't know how. Yeah, I already have that sometimes. It always wake up, my shoulder hurts, or yeah. I find alcohol suspends old, hand, old man noises. Um, can you not decline it? Can you not decline it? Wait. Can you not decline it? I don't know if you can decline it anymore. Oh my god, I don't think you can. There's no option to decline, so we're just going to vote ourselves, obviously, but there's there's no option to decline it. I would normally decline this. Yeah, and ECAS crushes us. Holy shit. You can't decline those anymore. That's a huge... That's huge! Wow. That is huge. Okay, so you legitimately cannot decline um, things anymore. Okay. If there's enough support, you can. If there's enough support, so... Okay, that's pretty big. Okay, that's gonna make governorship way stronger. I, I wasn't able to decline that. Okay, so Carino um, might need to pay the troll toll here. We best start soon. I'm going in about two minutes. Two core. Best start soon. Start start is a curse is cursed out. It's blocked out. Wow, that's weird. All right. So how are we looking around here? I have almost 500. Um, nobody. Everybody's holding back on resources, which is hilarious. And um, adrenaline addiction is about to finish, which means we're going to get our goodies and let's get a stealth probe. I believe that's going to take the last of our fuel cells here, and we get a listening post there. We get a free Fremen warrior, so he's gonna go chill out. Carino's army is pretty damn good. They're probably gonna set up siege drones, but at the very least, we could just pillage the base and just, you know, try and get a little bit going there. All right, so we have 600 manpower, and adrenaline addiction is about to finish, and then we can get siege incentives, which will let us, um, well, maybe it's better to get spying mastery, actually. Yeah, they only have one base. All right, so what got hit on us? Statecraft developments? Okay, that's our statecraft is 50% longer, so we need to go down and, and get these now. All right, so yeah, we are at war with Ekaz, so, or excuse me, with Carino. So now we can get the brutal combo here. Yeah, we'll get that. We'll get the double swords on those guys. And for the troopers, let's just make them a little bit tankier if we can. Cool. All right, so we're going to shuttle down. It is time. Let the Nurglings feast. Our income's not amazing right now because of our massive, massive erect army. Um, but, you know, hopefully, hopefully it'll try its best. We're literally dropping into their lands with a big Baron force. I never built a military base. Oh, God. A decoy thumper. Okay, now they're going to know. How did they know that was coming? That was like instant. How did you know that was coming? How? I would literally flew down from my base and then there's just like a decoy thumper. That, uh, that was the quickest reaction I've ever seen. I can't, how do they do that so quick, dude? There's no way they saw that coming. Oh my god. What's Nanny Ori saying? 
Nanny Yori, you're fine. You got, Hadris hasn't crippled you. What are you talking about? You look fine. I was in tactical view? Dude, that's insane. It's like a pro gamer reaction right there. All right, let's keep buying. All right, so we're going to move up soon. Um, Rebels are going down, but we should be able to fight them off. Our water supply is in the pits at the moment. And, um, dude, Faker, I know. We got some, some MLG Pro Micro here. All right, so our water should be back in a second once we clear those out. Now we can move in. But clearly, uh, they're going to be ready for us because they saw it coming. So let's get this going. And if we lose some fights, it's all good. You know, it's part of the fun. So we're going to we're gonna nuke this down, and we're just going to destroy what we can. Oh, wow, look how quickly Harkonnen kill villages now. That's nuts. Okay, that's pretty serious. So uh, can I click the pillage icon? Yes. And now let's destroy all these buildings here. It's going to hurt their economy pretty hard. We're not trying to, like, win a war against them right now. We're just trying to, like, hold them down. But that's a good usage of the tactical rocket. Um, let's get all of these guys, move them out here, try and get them away because they're squishy. And we just pillage this base and kill all the infrastructure there. All right, perfect, perfect. The base has been dealt with. Now we can run over here. Um, let's leave you and do this. And the crew is going to go and just bash this down. Although it looks like they're maybe coming now. I'm going to try and get the Spice Harvester, see if I can get lucky here. Yeah, all right, so we're going for a Spice Harvester. If we can kill that, that's going to hurt their economy pretty bad. Oh, the rocket. Come on, finish the pillage. Okay, we finished the pillage. And we killed the Spice Harvester, too. That's a pretty big win for us. Let's do this and this, and then we pull back. We can see the army coming now, so let's go ahead and drop this here. So we're going to drop a Worm Call to make it harder for them to push us, but um, that was that was huge. We just took down a massive eco-building of theirs. We also killed the Spice Harvester, so... Wait, I put a decoy, decoy Thumper here, but usually there's one here, too, I guess. Hmm, strange. All right. So let's get more Executioners, and um, we got the Missile Turret. <laughs> Be gone, Rat. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with that raid, though. Um, currently, we are still the highest in Hedge, which I don't like, so I'm not going to take any bases. Isn't it funny how, like, political that gets? Like, everybody's, like, too afraid. The desire to nuke Rising? I know it is. It really is. I want to get that 30% Chome, but if I grab any more regions now, we're going to hurt. So we have these Savage Cleansing, so if we kill Sieges now, we get a big reward for it. Um, this base is being rebuilt, but that was overall very good. Do we have any um, agents to sacrifice at this point? Scavenger team, combat drugs is on the table. Let's do this. We don't have any um, extra agent space, which definitely sucks. Let's grab that. And yeah, overall that was good. We can come back in. You ready for round two? There's no militia in the base yet, so we can just pop out and... Oh, no, but there, there are siege drones hanging nearby. Okay, they're not going to have that. They are not going to have that. All right, let's get some Cerberus. Usually just the big boys. Um, yeah, the chum market is just anarchy. There's too many people inve investing in it. There's too many people investing in it right now. We need to just keep being aggressive and keep trying to give the business to these guys. Symbols of authority is nice. Impressed special regions get one, grant you plus one authority, but like, I do not want any authority right now. Okay, Fremen have almost passed me, which is good. I need them to pass me. Apparently this one still got eaten, even with a uh, ornithopter watching it, which is wild. Uh, do I get more aggressive is the question. I think I can. So we can do this. And we can do this. The thing is, Carino is a very static faction. They're not good at moving around because of the siege drones. So if we can just kind of like take advantage of that, then I think we should be in good shape. So we're going to fly over here real quick. Do a little bit of raiding. And uh, in the middle, it looks like there is a renegade army. Okay, let's go down here. Landsrad is going. Uh, Diplomatic Congress. So Carino's going to try and get this, for sure. Although I actually have good votes. Shit, I can... Can I win something? Can I be the Eye of the Council? It's the Eye of the Council. It's... Dun, 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 dun. Can we get it? Are we going to get the... Spend 10 influence. The Charter will get higher priority in the agenda. Okay. So, interesting. Interesting. And in Diplomatic Congress. I do like this new system, though. Evil Harkonnen raids. Use supply drops. We have supply drops. We do. Attacking Harkonnens is also one of the most miserable things in the game because of their uh, their nastiness. Okay, I think I can win this unless Hadri's... Yeah, the fact that people can't deny, that's going to be really useful if I get that. So I just put all my votes... I, what I like about this is there's no more bullshit like where people get one more vote in at the last second of the council when it's coming down. Like what your votes are when the Landsrad starts is what you got. I think that's a really nice change. Um, so you can't decline people either. Minor, minor houses of venture chat, I know. 
Uh, I got the Eye of the Council. Great. Look at that. I got I got a board position. How cool is that? Okay. Oh, but Carino got the elected Congress. Oh, no. You, you dirty dog. You did it. All right. So that's pretty troll for sure. Um, as far as hedge goes, I mean, we're all pretty close in hedge. I haven't built anything in ages. Um, so I need to wait like seven days to break that. Oh, my God. It's a journey, dude. All right, shuttle and have you guys go help that village which is under siege now I have this like huge expensive army with nothing to do for it um for how long make it worth my time. uh how long till I can break this I think it's eight days left okay okay so we got some dudes coming down they're gonna go uh defend that should give us our spaceship parts and then we can from there um we can get our uh chronos yeah that should be good all right so let's follow you guys down here have you guys go help out. And then we're going to hit the siege. But I should capture territories, man. It's it's hard. I don't want to be the first one to 20k. That's why I'm sitting on uh, sitting on all this. Alright, so we have enough for Kronos now. So we're going to cancel this. And we're going to build our Kronos. Oh, but I need 10 fuel cells. Okay, so I have to capture that fuel cell region for that to work. Or else it ain't going to happen. No, the truce, I can break it. I think. No, can I? All right, looks fine. And we get that region, so we just need to get our big ship soon. All right, get the jacked militia going here, and symbols of authority is nice, certainly. We have this territory here, which we can go pillage again. Probably not a bad idea. We could just do a little bit of income farming. Uh, exchange rate is not bad. We'll keep buying. I'm at 16%. I have the, I probably have the strongest economy right now, I would say. Even with this huge, thick army, I'm still in good shape, but I need to, I need to be using them. Yeah, taking this region puts me up to 20k hedge, which is not good. I don't want to be that guy. It's getting attacked on multiple fronts is dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Um, I think at the very least I'm going to take the fuel cell region, though, because that won't put me quite up to 20k. What do you need? Yeah, we're going to pillage this. Uh, Hadris is battling against Ekaz. We get the pillage. More chome shares. If we can get that 30%, it's going to be very, very solid. And that gives us access to the special uh, special buildings. And yeah, we can do energy efficiency too. Um, and then mechanical units require one less. Okay. Baron. Baron. Okay, we're sitting in the base. What regions are not fully developed? I think there's a couple that I haven't fully ironed out yet. Um, you're good. You're good. Oh, I don't. I want to expand. My my chome is is pretty thick. It is. As far as this goes, um, that is going to be 1.5 days. Okay, and then how much influence do I need to get out of that? I should have enough. It's 150, so I'm gonna have to spend a ton of influence to to break those uh, break the grips of my opponent here. But I think it's worth. All right, let's go ahead and get Intel building there, and you. Let's put you on autopilot so you can go look around for goodies. And yeah, like the Fremen, we want the Fremen to be the first ones to get there, for sure, not us. Okay, and this is looking good. Can we break this yet? Oh my god, zero days left. All right, finally. Like, we, we want to be at war right now. We want to be getting crunk, you know what I'm saying? Okay, this base looks like it's just asking asking to be hunted down here. Here we go. All right, my six, six water Harkonnen certainly can't travel very far from home. AoE, AoE is down. I'm glad I didn't try and stream it today. Holy shit, look at that. Dude, the MLG Pro reactions. It's okay. We can just do this. It's fine. It's the same difference. Uh, all's good. All's good. <laughs> Thank you for asking. <laughs> and he's like trying to politic with me. And I'm like, oh, I'm doing good. You know, it's like when someone gives you a really obvious hint. Like, I need, you know, and you're just like, oh, yeah. Yeah, everything's good. Grunt, grunt, grunt. Yeah, we could just like switch to the spice field here. You better recall that spice harvester. That thing's gonna get gooned. Kill them all! Evil! Alright. So the spice harvester gets mulch, so that's gonna hurt the economy here. Uh, Alright, so then we'll get spying mastery next. Go down here, and I suspect there's gonna be some army flying over. They do have an airfield here and a military base, so the army should be stronger than mine, actually. Um, but not if I can kill that quickly. Where's the airfield here? Oh, here they are. Okay, I'm going to lose this fight probably, but we're going to try it. Oh, that's not as big of an army, actually. All right, so we'll do combat drugs, and we'll do scavenger team. 
And we'll see if we can win this. Probably not, but it's it's good. I, I want to, like, trade troops right now. We'll remake some, and it's actually going pretty well. Holy shit. Holy shit. You really underestimate Harkonnen DPS, and then you're like, shit like this happens, and you're just like, oh, that's how that goes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just melted that army. Let's go ahead and pillage this. I don't want to take it, because I don't want to get to 20k hedge. Oh, but Kronos is definitely having its way, so let's destroy all this. It's fine, it's fine, all's good. Yeah, and who's gonna shoot up to 20k first? It's gonna be probably Hadri's. Hadri's has passive hedge. Yeah, you can see Hadri's has passive hedge. Um, everybody's kinda going for it now a little bit, so. All right, so that's gonna weaken Carino pretty heavily here. And I'm gonna get a bunch of money, so let's keep chumming it. Chumming, chumming, chumming. <laughs> keep those evil, <laughs> those Arconans chumming. Yeah, we can see that. That's fun. And um, we can't get the Overlord at this point. I'm going to go get the special uh, space field up here. Man, Harkonnen army is definitely... They, they, they do Hulk smash. Okay, uh, do I make a run for it yet? No, not quite. Not till the, the worm drop is done. Hadrius is going to pass. He's passed me in hedge. Good. All right, so now I think I, I have the time to go and grab this. So I've basically flattened two of their economic regions. I could go flatten their other one, and they're just going to feel really bad. But I need to go get that. I have a couple special regions of my own I can grab. The Lance Chad is going to start soon. Um, what's up in the next Lance Chad? We're going to find out soon. At least I got the Eye of the Council. So I have these free agents. Oh, oh I don't have anyone in Space and Guild. Okay. It, it really sucks banking all this, um, all this, these resources, but I, I, need, uh, I, I don't want to be the first one to get 20k hedge, which probably should be Hadri's here in a second. Gear regulations. Uh, I actually, man, I have really good influence. Now that I uh, am collecting it, yeah, my influence is plus 17. That's savage. That's really good, actually. So I, I could even go for a political victory here. I do have the highest chum. I have the biggest chum also. Let's buy some more. Oh, 22%. Yes. Give it to me. Okay, ECAS is leveraging its reputation. Very fun. So we've, we've definitely done some brutal damage to them. They're like, if we go and hit this... This other, their economy is going to be in shambles. Like, if we move here and then hit the other spice field, they're going to have no active spice. And then, you know, it's going to be pretty ugly. So what we probably do... Oh, shit. The votes. Um, all right. So we want to do the gear regulations on the Carino. Do that. Oh, all factions gain. Oh, never mind. Hold on. How much time do I have left? 15 seconds? ECAS has leveraged, leveraged its reputation here. Uh, decline. And for some reason, I'm, I'm, like, stuck. I can't click this. It's, like, bugged. See this? Okay, here we are. So how much time do I have left? Three seconds? Okay. Pose with all my votes. Yes, please. And confirm. Okay, so it looks like it got supported? It only... Oh, okay. Wait, what the hell is this? Oh, that was super buggy, dude. That was really bullshit. Unfortunately, now my chum shares are limited. Um, yeah, that was really dumb. That was really, really stupid. But it's okay. Yeah, so I was trying to click that, but it was like frozen and it wouldn't let me. There was like some weird UI there. So that was some really, really weird stuff. Okay, so Fremen are going to shoot ahead of me. I don't have any passive hedge, so they're going to pop up. God, yeah, now buying chum shares is like off the table. Granted, we can just bank and buy them in the next political cycle, so it's not a huge deal, but it's still, it's still very annoying because we want to be working on that. Oh, hello. What's going on here? Is this Fremen? Dread Fremen. Uh, I'm fighting Imp. Alright, so that looks fine. He floats forth. Yeah, we are floating forth for sure. Alright, let's take this down. We need to start grabbing stuff. He's about to reach 20k hedge, which is good. So he'll he'll jump ahead of me a little bit here. And then we can start just power grabbing regions and uh, hope for the best. So the victory condition is about to pop up for the Fremen here. Um, eventually, I'm going to have to fight Hadris probably. Eventually. If he if he keeps jumping up. And he's about to hit 20k. Yeah, he's very, very close to it. So let's fly here. Um, and I have this special region I've been kind of saving in my base for a rainy day. And do I have any, like, way of flying up there? Not really, geez. Okay, so let's take... Let's have you guys go here and grab that. The rest of the troopers can kind of chill out in the base. We seem to be fine. Yeah, buying chum is very expensive right now. That was weird. That was... Yeah, there, there's some bugginess with the voting for sure. Oh, ECAS. I like that. ECAS getting up on the hedge. That's like... Talk about a perfect distraction, right? Is there anything in the middle I can take? I definitely want to take some of their territory soon. Like, go take some uh, Imperial territory. 
We have two freebies up here, though. These are though they're small bases, they're still going to be worth. Okay. So you guys go capture that. That's going to give us our our big mothership. Spying mastery will give us more agents, which is very important for us. And um, yeah, all's good. We're saving a ton of money. Saving a ton of money right now. So let's do that. We can have our troopers go grab random things around the lands, and make sure to grab this and grab this, and then you can grab this. All right, so this base is going to get taken. Finally, we're going to have enough fuel cells. Ecaz lost their champion, so they dropped behind on that. And now the Fremen are close enough to me that I'm, I'm kind of happy. All right. So we're going to take that special region. And um, we can also get passive hedge going ourselves if we want to. So let's start um, deleting some manpower buildings. We probably have enough here. Although, do we have fe uh, a field over here? Um, probably better than a missile turret would be an airfield here. And then we can do this and start getting the special production here. Okay, so that's going to be ours. So now that the Fremen are well ahead of us, we can start like pushing it. Because it's not going to be like as shady, right? So we'll do this and we will get this. All right, outstanding. And uh, we can get more fuel cells going here. So fuel cells, let's get all of you guys popping off here. And we can grab this region too. All right, so other special regions that need to be oppressed. Um, this one has a missile turret, which again, we can, we're not, I don't think the Karina army is threatening us too much. So we need to get the passive hedge and try and creep up and basically race the Fremen and hedge at this point, which we'll have this special region in the back pocket. You know, that's the game plan. In Chome shares, we can also try and go for a Chome victory if the game gets like protracted and drawn out. Yeah, should be fine. Yes, we have a lot of spice. We're making 700. Um, and we're going to start definitely, you know, catching up here on hegemony once we um, get this region here. I don't think we need to worry about supply drops here. Good. So we got a couple special regions. And, um, okay. Yeah, that one is being trolled. Do we have any airships over there? We do have some. So let's fly these guys over to go have them do it. Point of interest has been, uh, are they not being supervised? They are. Yeah, we actually don't even need this. He's going for the main base kill now. Wow. Okay. I, I'm very grateful for all this free information I'm getting, although it's not going to change my game plan too much because I'm just kind of cackling in the shadows here. All right, so we got four water here, so let's get this water going in this region. Outstanding. I do wish I was Atreides in some ways because they can, like, speed build all their buildings. Okay. Looks good. And uh, this is also a good water region, so let's get the do collector. <laughs> the do it collector. And let's get our overlord, our big ship. Little, little bugginess there. It's okay. And click that. Okay, so the water is on the way. Definitely need to get an airfield here next. Um, heading back to the main base with my Dread Legion. And I believe, did I get the double daggers? Yeah, my troops that I want to be upgraded are upgraded. Usually I just go with the demolishers and the executioners. So you don't really need too much else. Like, that's a very, very good army comp. Okay, so we have good passive hedge now. I think we have it in all of our special regions. Hadrius is about to kill Ekaz, it looks like. Which means I could snatch up the center. I could go for Carino. But Carino, um, I think at this point, Carino isn't like that huge of a threat to us. They're still rebuilding a lot of their bases. I'm going to go down and maybe try and Hulk smash them one more time. If they if they get me with the worm call here again, I'm going to be very impressed. That's going to be like the MLG rapid micro team. Okay, so the passive hedge is going. Hadrius is killing, wow, he's killing the base here. Let's throw some toxic vapors on that for good measure. <laughs> just, just anarchy. Oh, and scavenger teams too. All right, so I just threw Toxic Vapors down there on that base. And we're going to go down here and do a little raiding and try and take some territory. So I'm going to try and take this one, actually. Okay. The Worm Call wasn't quite as quick that time, thankfully, so we're, we're going to get it. Dude, but the fact that Harkonnens kill Militia quicker now with that Arrakis' Butchers is so crazy strong. All right, so I'm probably not going to win this fight, but I'm going to try and take this base. We do see the big Chungus uh, ship coming over, which is going to be hard. But I don't think Carino is going to be able to do too much in the way of like pushing us back here. Okay, so some Tartakar are on their way in. Should be able to blast them. Landsrad coming, and we do have a trade uh, request here. Non-aggression pact. I don't need that. That's for sure. And now we just kind of sit and capture this. So we hold position. I think uh, the fact that we like hammered their economy so hard earlier is really just paying dividends now. You can tell they're suffering, and uh, I got the toxic vapors on the Ekaz base. I'm like one from uh, his main base attack. <laughs> yeah. All right, Landsrat is in session. Speaker of the Council, who's up for that one? Ooh, 
Is the, is the chubby baron, does he have the most authority right now? All right. Oh, yeah, the Baron is, like, just a pure awful person. There's no gray area to him in the books. He's just, like, literally the worst, like, in every way. Every possible, like, villainous <laughs> characteristic you can think of, he probably has it, you know. So that's good. So we're taking a couple territories here, um, which is outstanding. We're going to take this one, and then our next call would be this, which is 110. Because uh, we pillaged it so many times, it's actually going to be 50% cheaper than it normally would be at this point. Your attention is needed, so let's do this. All right, so House Harkonnen's going for Speaker of the Council. I used toxic gas to push him off. All I can do at the moment. Let me know when he's there. Yeah, Nanny's wondering why he left, yeah. So, oh, that's right. Hey, I'm the Speaker of the Council, dude. Hell yeah, can I become the governor now? Not quite, I think we need a lot more. This damn worm call is so troll. Um, I think I'm being shot. I think it's just the big ship that's shooting me here. Ready for destruction. Right, come back here. Do another supply drop. Once that worm call's gone, I can get all my machine gunners and go shoot Kronos. And they'll kill it very quickly, see? Yeah, I guess I could have shot it already. So Kronos is getting dunked on. You can see its HP rapidly going down here. Um, yeah, it's going to die if they don't move it. So that's good. We can do combat drugs, but I don't think we need to. Turn to speaker. Will win Gov if he comes. It's true. It is true. Ekaz has basically been crippled, though. And Kronos is going to die to my machine gunners. I don't know if they've noticed it yet, but I think it's going to go down. Um, we have the special region here. Our authority is okay. And are we going to get Kronos? Kronos has fallen. That's pretty big. All right. So let's go get this. Keep you back there. And we need more machine gunners. The Harkonnen, like, devastators, those, like, shooting units are crazy, crazy powerful, actually. So I just need to cripple these guys. So the only person who could stop me would be the... Uh, would be the, what's it called? Perfect. All right, so we're heading back. Oh, did I move off that? What a potato I am, dude. What a potato I am. You know what? It's probably best to actually cancel that. And uh, let's just pillage it again. And then we can just grab this this region here instead. And we can do this, buy that. And now we can start buying chome shares too. We can buy up to 30%, no problem. All right, so we're gonna pillage this, just get some money. And we're going to grab that nearby region. Hadrius is definitely going to be racing us in terms of the hedge. But we've basically crippled the Emperor. He's he's hurting pretty bad now. All right, let's keep buying. We're at 23%. And the Baron is going to be creeping up here with the Mothership. Uh, do we want any space in Guild Favor? Not really. But we do have a ton of Plascrete, so let's just take that. It's going to be worth. And uh, let's get you guys. Good. Take the special region. Outstanding. Yeah, that was a better call, actually, than, than the alternative... So now we can fly over and take down their other Harvester, and then Carino is basically just dead at that point. They're not going to be able to do a whole bunch. Uh, all right, so we're getting a special region. That's going to put us ahead of them. Let's keep buying Chome. With Harkonnens, you get um, a nice benefit from Chome, too. You get the um, Spice Exchange Rate augmented based on the Chome. Ooh, main base damage. Architectural Surveys is up. Oh, we could totally kill somebody's main base here real quick. Absolutely. Holy shit. Okay. Let's do this, get you going. And also, oppressing special regions does give, a, give you more authority as Harkonnens. So I think that is pretty big. OK, so that's good. Um, we can go ahead and grab the base defenses now. I think that is the play. That's coming into full effect here. All right. We're having a good time, man. More Chome shares? Hell yeah, let's get up to 30%. We're at 25% right now. The Harkonnens are starting to look really evil right now, like real evil. Um, yeah, they're hurt and bad. There's like some... <laughs> they're using the random missile strikes on me. It only affects one territory, thankfully, so... All right, so that's good. And he's still captured. Uh, let's go ahead and do the... Um, put you in just, you know, Arrakis for now. And we have that for the free development. And you, let's go ahead and get a missile turret here to help out. And now we do have good passive hedge. And we can go, oh, this is uh, one of my favorite things about Harkonnens too, check this out. So you can you can get a ton of hegemony by destroying sieges. Not hedge, but um, what's it called? Frickin' uh, authority. So that will just give us like tons of authority and we can cackle pretty hard with that. So we kept our special region in check here. Um, Carino is pretty beat up. I think I'm gonna swing in on them one more time just to be you know kind of safe here. We're gonna attack the siege. So let's pull these guys back. Come on, boys, all right. Oh my god, we're giving the business to that siege right there. And that's going to be quite a bit of authority. 
Let's pull you down. And um, Fremen are definitely going to be racing us. Uh, as far as this goes, we could oppress it because that will give us more authority. I think I'm going to do that. And now we pillage this, and you can see we get authority, we get spice, we get like everything. Yeah, 26% on the chome shares. Once we get 30%, that gives us 15% military power too, which is fat. We don't have a military factory, but military factories do nuke your economy pretty hard, so. All right, let's see if we can not get our army eaten here. That would be great. So we run along the cliffs. We're at 27% right now. The chome for the chub god, yeah. <laughs> truly, truly an apt statement, as I've ever heard. Okay. Never got that going, unfortunate. Um, so we got wind in this region. Let's go ahead and get, what do we even need? I believe we could benefit from Spice Harvester augments here. So I'm probably going to get wormed by the Fremen soon. I got to watch out. They could go for like a main base snipe or something. While Architectural Surveys is active, I don't want to be aggressive. I should be sitting in my base. Because, um, yeah, I could, I could really, really get wrecked if that happens. So we're going to sit back at our main base and make sure no worms fly in. Because they could land right here and probably goon my main base. Hadris, oh, okay, never mind. Hadris is getting assassinated, so that means I can pretty much just go bananas here. All right, that is a big piece of information. He says, I can't find the last cell. I'm so I'm so bad. He's definitely not bad. Hadris is not bad at any video game. He just says that. But if Hadris goes down, then I think I'm good. Uh, all right, so special region here. What does this one actually do? It gives you data center hegemony. Yeah, data center, sure. We'll build a data center there. That ain't bad. And let's go ahead and shuttle... Um, we have the big armies here. Okay. I don't want to land in the mouth of a worm. That's for damn sure. But I do need to take some regions to try and like speed the game along. So let's fly like so. And um, we have a lot of good agent actions. Okay. Here we go. Anything we want to choose here? We'll take the manpower. Sure, why not? Let's get more militia maxed out here. Uh, this region is still being developed. And now it's, it's, it's Harkonnen in time. Oh, this is going to be Gotham's Reckoning. I am Gotham's Reckoning. All right, so the machine gunners are here, scavenger teams. And um, yeah, this is going to be probably a slaughter. You can see uh, it's a little bit too laggy. To my I mean, I could be chasing, but it's too laggy. I'm just going to I'm just gonna let Jesus take the wheel here. My opponent might growing well actually trying to snipe my gunner teams, but holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was brutal. All right, so let's go here and take the spice field. And uh, we can just have the Overlord use the uh, use the business here. Oops, I accidentally pressed that village. Okay. So we're just going to go for this village here. The Lanzarad Council is in session. Loss of rights? Okay, we have to... Is increased. Uh, all factions get. A remove resolution from the agenda. Okay, I'm going to obstruct that. Oh, that's cool. You can, like, obstruct certain things. That's fun. Okay, so I'm obstructing that. I don't know how that works, if a lot of people have to do it. But we could go main base hunting while architectural surveys is... No, it's going to be over, actually, as soon as this is uh, this is done. So I only have one gunner left. My opponent killed most of my um, my ground. So we're going to build more of those. <laughs> Let's buy some more chum shares. We're at 28%. Um, we have good passive hedge, too. We're getting plus 37. It's not as good as, like, Carino, but it's, um, it's still nice. I think taking this base over here would probably be better, actually, or maybe going for that special region back there. Carino's actually hedge racing us, but they're, they're very behind. Very, very behind here. Uh, let's pull back. This is good. It's giving me time to think. Um, judge of the council. Do I have the most votes? Yes, the Chungus has the most votes. Yes, good. Loss of rights got taken down. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Harkonnen's going to be the judge of the council. Uh, let's see. If you're going to do an updated beginner's guide, maybe I will Zephyr for age, maybe. All right, so let's get out of here, actually. I don't want to lose my armies, so let's pull back uh, to the main base. We can use a supply drop on the way. Um, do we have any brainwashed agents? We don't, so combat drugs, scavenger team, and we can also do um, defense breaches in case we want to take down somebody's base. So, All right, how's our, uh, our Protoss carrier doing here? Looks like it's doing good. It's killing stuff. That should set Karino back pretty damn hard, though. Holy shit, there's like... Harkonnens is just pure anarchy, dude. There's just always bad shit happening. Things are on fire. Yeah, we, let's go stabilize our base before we get too crazy here. All right, so we're pulling back here. You guys need to do this. Deal with that. And um, yeah, Fremen might be able to chase us on the hedge game because we don't really have anywhere to expand or territories to grab, which kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, our ship is pulling back. Should be able to get that. That was Fremen descent there that kind of wrecked us. Let's get this and get an airfield. Um, we definitely need one up here. All right, so the airfield is there. 
And we have a rebellion back here too. All right, so let's go deal with that rebellion and try and get our eco back online here. Um, we have plenty going. Let's go ahead and sacrifice you or just kind of keep you for sacrifice for later. And maybe they're going to push here. I don't know. Dealing with a little rebellion. I see Kronos hunting us down. They're, they're getting a little bit crazy. Okay, Space and Guild and Space and Guild. Sure, why not? That's going to be fine for now. And we have we have done our our, uh, our requisite bullying. So that, that that should be done there in a minute, and then we can fly up there. Go forth, minions. Go forth and prosper. All right, Chome shares. Let's get to that 30%. Um, currently, yeah, we need to deal with the economy. Uh, we're getting a little bit tight on paying our taxes, actually. Do all of our spice harvesters, are they all maxed out? They are. Okay. We could do greed mode, but I think I think it's better to be safe here. Airfield's about to finish. Uh, you guys have done that. Yeah, these damn storms, they just come in and like tank your economy randomly. You're just like, oh. Hadrius is taking all the special reasons, though. He might actually be able to win um, if he's able to keep doing that. Looks like somebody's trying to assassinate him, though, so that's good. And um, we need to get some territory off Carino. I'm going to go try and snipe their special region, I think. All right. Let's fly up there. Go deal with that. The Fremen descent is really good the, when it like causes rebellions in all your lands. Yeah, don't worry, Zephyr. We'll have all the stuff you enjoy, my friend. Okay, so we currently have Speaker, Judge, and Governorship, but we're not eligible for Governorship because our lands chat isn't high enough. Yeah, we, did, we didn't build the political... I didn't think I'd be even in contention for politics here, to be completely honest. Um, all right, so where... Is there any territory I can grab? I mean, I could, like, run through the ECAS lands. You want to see a truly villainous play. Um, that would be running through the Ekaz lands and then stealing the territories behind their base. So making an alliance with them and then just grabbing like free territory. All right, so let's grab you, put you on Chome for now. Looks good. That's going to be dealt with. Rebellions everywhere. Rebellions everywhere. It might be time to betray Hadris too. It might be time for that. Because he's, he's like, I could just go take this, right? And then he's going to have probably a hard time getting up there to take it from me. That might actually be the play as much as villainous it is as it is. Oh, you know, Carino, though, might attack me here. They might attack me, so maybe I don't do that. Okay, almost 30%. Just need to buy one more. Be able to do that in just a second. And is Carino going to come for me? They are. Okay, so that changes that plan then. Uh, so what we're going to do is pop Toxic Vapors here when they eventually get the city. They might struggle to take down the militia. We'll see. Okay, so everybody's going to be ready to fly. I guess I just have to keep fighting Carino. And let's uh, shuttle right here. Alrighty. So they killed the militia. They're going to start taking over the territory. We're hustling. My opponent sees it. This player, I have to say, is very good at like reacting to the dropships. They're like probably playing from space. Okay, so the Harkonnens have returned in greater numbers. And um, we need to get some territory here, man. Krino can just build like infinite Kronos because of the fact that they get free spaceship parts. So that's a little bit tricky. Um, we have a couple agents. Water's tight. Kronos is dying here. Maybe we get it. I don't know. We need to just get territory. Like, it doesn't matter what. All right. So let's get you guys on this. Keep the machine gunners going after Kronos. Although it looks like it's going to get away. So let's just focus on that. Um, we don't have good water. Unassigned agent. Yeah, let's just go to Lands Rad. Sure, why not? And take the space here if we can. The lag. It's real. All right, so we're taking this base. Let's go here, fight, and use the combat drugs and use the uh, scavenger teams. And then we want to use the worm call here because those damn drones are going to wreck us. Yeah, he's got a ni nice, nice home field advantage here. Those those turrets are doing a lot of work. Okay, so I just need to fight to the best of my abilities. I do kill a fair amount. Worms might pop up and eat those drones too, but we're not going to get that base, that's for sure. All right, let's finish off this fi uh, fighter here. Wow, that was actually a very attrition heavy fight. We both took some heavy L's. Kronos is beat up. I do have my one my one dude. Probably going to have to make some... Uh... Yeah. How's Hadri's doing down here? Is anything being captured? No, it looks like it's just Mortal Kombat. Oh, no, actually, Ekaz is fighting back. Okay, that's good. So Ekaz is actually fighting back, which is great for us. We didn't capture that, but both of us wiped the other's armies. Pretty epic little duel there, huh? All right, so let's use some brainwashed agents and throw them into the... Um, throw them into the... The goods here. So Toxic Vapors is ready. Sleep Agent's a good one, too. Uh, scavenger Team, sure. Why not? And uh, 
Aside from that, let's get the supply drop, make it nice and cheap, and we'll just spam out mercenaries from here. Do we get 30%? We do. Finally, we're at 30% chome, which means we get, um, uh, let's take a look. So we get 15% and 100%, 100 max influence, which is pretty nuts. All right, so we're going to build some mercenaries because they're not bad and they build super quickly. See how quick the mercs pop out? You can get huge armies when you have uh, the chome, when you're the lord of chome. Okay, water is a bit of a problem as usual. Land thread starting in a couple days. Governor requires a lot of, uh, what do I need? 450 lands rad standing? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Return to the Shogun two days? That would be something. I haven't, I haven't played that game in ages. All right. So we actually have the border defenses now, um, which is good. We want to obstruct the hell out of that. Um, selling chum shares grants two authority per share. That's actually kind of an interesting one. That would be really good for the Fremen. As long as the Fremen are losing land, I think my position to win is pretty good. Carino is keeping me from expanding. Um, I could, this is also a last desperate option. If I go over here and try and stop Hadri's, um, but I don't think that's gonna be in my, my playbook here. Right, let's get three Harpies. Um, and then we can go ahead and get some more Executioners. Carino is doing their political stuff. Yeah, probably need to switch on to explosion damage resistance against the drone spam. The drones are brutal. Um, EMP blast is really good against them too. I could go for a main base snipe. Oh, mouse is going crazy. Um, yeah, like how would I do that? Would I come down here and just do, do a main base snipe like so? The Chome victory is possible, but there's still a lot of, there's not too many shares available. So we're gonna have to keep buying those. Let's just buy another batch. We want the Chome victory in the back pocket. There's another siege here, which I could take down. 10 Solari production is pretty good. Shit, I would have, if I had noticed that earlier, I would have gotten that. My attention is needed. Um, Diplomatic Congress. The elected faction gets, oh, this is actually really funny. So you guys want to see some big power plays? Um, hmm. Okay, so let's put this on Carino to just tank their economy. And then we're going to put this on the Fremen. So if that goes off, then the Fremen are going to get raised truce with every other faction. That's going to force the Fremen into a truce. So now the Fremen can't like fight, fight the, uh, the ECAS to get more land, right? I don't know if that's a good play, but it's very funny. And now we do have the uh, punishment there on the other side. Okay. So we're flying with this army. We're going to go over here and try and grab this. The Fremen can't get out of the non-aggression pact like very easily. And Carino got voted for the um, labor rights. So Carino's like economy is going to be just in the pits of hell, basically. All right. So this army is pretty small, but we're going to see what we can do. We have some Landsrad judges and stuff, so we're going to head down to that corner and try and grab it. Um, obviously, they're going to be shuttling over. So when they shuttle over, what we do is we pull back out of vision. And um, we can have you go hit this. We have a lot of units about to pop out. So now the Fremen... Oh, the Fremen got the traitor. Okay, they're going for the middle. So ooh, that's really shady. I can't let that happen. Okay. So we're going to do Toxic Vapors here. Are we, we, oh, we have a non-aggression pack, but I can still, <laughs> I can still do the Toxic Vapors. Yeah, you see, that might have actually screwed me because I might need to get the trader on them now. Oh, yeah, yeah, Fremen are going to get that. Rushing to take head sites. I see that. I do see that. Um, he's going to get the Polar Ice Cap, but the Toxic Vapors will force him back. Okay. So our income is just abysmal at the mo this moment. I think these guys have a super high upkeep cost. Let's see. Can't tell. All right, mercenary unit, it's fine. Um, hopefully ECAS can move up and stop that, but maybe not. I don't know, I might need to get the trader against them, which would suck, but yeah, I'm gonna have to get the trader against Fremen. So that, that I thought ECAS was gonna benefit from that somehow, but that was a, that was a misplay for sure. But it's all good. We'll, uh, we'll knock him off and, you know, take the penalty. Can't let him get that. And they can't use their worm call here either, so. Yeah, we gotta chase him off. Hey, look, our army coming alone. Maybe just make some run. Good, perfect. I didn't have to even get the traitor. I just ran up. Oh, that was the MLG play right there. Okay, what do I lose? Five influence production? Oh, who cares? We have 20. Okay, he's going to make me do it. 
It's fine. Okay, you ready for this? I think I can hold position here. Is he gonna keep getting it? He is. What do you need? The Fremen army is scary. Um, our overlord is, is way out of position here. So we're gonna have to do this. Unfortunately, that's gonna give the traitor, and then he's gonna worm in. So his army has attack uh, benefits for uh, a couple seconds, which we just pull back and wait for it to wear off. Do we have our full army? No, we don't. Okay, let's get the harpies down here. Water is a problem here, so let's get this and get sleeper agents. And the worm bonus is gone now, so what do we lose? We lose a lot. That's actually pretty bad. Um, I don't know. I think we can let him get it for now and then break the pact soon. So let's see how long soon so we can break the pact. How long is that going to be? Okay, we were able to break the non-aggression pact and without the uh, Punisher. Great. Okay, we waited just long enough. So he does have the big scary Fremen uh, army buff thing. So we're going to probably lose this fight because he's got a great surround on us, but we'll see. All right, let's get more executioners, get some more Cerberus boys. Um, I'm going to need some help probably. He does have the 50% army strength, but my man, Harkonnen armies are just foul, dude. Holy shit, we steamrolled his army. Oh my god, even with his 50%, it didn't matter. It, it did not matter. Oh, damn. All right. So they've been kept in check there. That's pretty big for us. Um, do we have the supply drop? We do. So let's go back up here and heal. Okay, I got partially eaten by a worm. You gotta love it. All right, so crisis averted. Um, we need to find a way to get some goodies ourselves. The new water building? Yeah. Oh, I don't know why I did that. I'm at max authority. Damn it. It was just habit. I just always click those things when I see them. Um, all right. So that's going to keep them from doing it. It's funny. I should I should take the water now. Um, there's no other regions to take. Carino doesn't look like they're pushing us at all. Uh, we have some agents to sacrifice, I think. Do we? No, we don't. Okay. So let's do combat drugs, scavenger team, and we can do toxic papers. Those are Those are all good ones. Those boys, they, they got in there and they crushed that Fremen army. I don't know if he's going to be able to rebuild, but... Economy is, is back up. We paid our spice taxes. We're at 28k. So it's kind of kind of in the danger zone now. We have a big army about to pop out. We really need them. Is there any Fremen descent going on? I don't think so. Um, let's just get you on Arrakis. So we can make sure to keep all those sweet actions that we have. And I kind of want to take this for ourselves now. I, I don't know how well that's going to go with Ekaz. Carino is probably still recovering in many ways. We're very close to winning. We have the passive hedge. So we just need a territory, honestly. It doesn't even need to be... And Ekaz, do they have any defenders there? They don't. So we could just go grab that, I think. Yeah, we could just start annexing that and hopefully we can hold it. Okay. And um, yeah, so we're just going to fly in and annex that and try and win the game. Because if we get it, we just win. All right, the Baron Feast, he does. Okay, so let's get our Demolishers, get them back here. And uh, yeah, we're just going to try and grab this. Uh, GG, maybe. Let's see. <laughs> Nanny's like, I'm not going to tell him. Nanny's got, had been in a blood feud down here. Fremen are coming, but um, hopefully we can get the... Um, we have Sleeper Agent. I mean, the army of the Fremen is pretty respectable. But if we win it, allied units using supply. Okay, you need to get on top of this so we don't lose supply here. Let's get some mercs down here because we should have a filled out army for this final duel. All right, let's uh, shuttle. You guys hustle down to the ice caps. With all of our combi combat buffs, okay. Loss of rights, we're gonna obstruct that. Oh, I love that we can obstruct these things, dude. We have judge, speaker, and eye. We got all the victory conditions going. We got chome popping off. Uh, Carino has been just getting hammered all game, so I don't think they're going to be too much of a threat. Granted, they could force our actions. Um, all right, so yeah, we obstructed that. And um, the middle is being captured. Man, this is this game's so fun, dude. I love the politics of this game. All right, what do we got here? War of Assassins. Um, 
We'll definitely take the Lancer ad. Ooh, the upkeep production. We'll definitely take that. Yeah. That's, that's like everything. So that'll just make us rich and we can potentially push for a chum victory. All right. So what do we got here? So let's take the, um, although the assassins one, do I have enough to just get several of these? We're going to go 300 on this. No, not 580. That's everything. And wait, see how it gets stuck when you like go all the way? You have to like reopen the window. Yeah, very, very clunky. 350 and then we're going to try and get the assassins and confirm. All right, so yeah, it looks like it went off. Nice, we got we got all of them. We got the lands, Chad. So we have a huge army now. Army is colossal. With the assassins mixed in, we can use them on the Fidekin to just crush them. All right, so we got everybody here ready to party. We're at 29. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Carino's coming. The dread Carino. All right. So they're trying some sweaty scoot and shoot, but we should be able to hunt them down. Look at our look at our air force just chasing off the gremlins. Okay, did we take one down? We did. We got one of the ships down. Good. Oh god, we just need to hold. They're coming to try and stop us here. The Fremen are probably on their way too. They're gonna worm call. Likely it's gonna be some wormin. All right. Let's get this and get scavenger teams and sleeper agent. Holy shit, I have no idea what's happening. This is so laggy. Oh, it gets so like, they need to definitely optimize that. But it looks like we're crushing them. I think we are. All right, let's get some of these guys, mercs, and just fly them down here. Oh, we're being sandwiched on two sides. We're definitely killing one army, but the other one might be able to clean us up. Let's see. All right, reinforcements. And um, are we going to be able to hold? Come on, Harkonnen chads. Oh, uh, there's only a couple executioners left. Being hammered on both sides. Okay, the executioners did it. They held. All right, mercs. Mercs are fast and they're they're free, basically. I mean, 500 gold to pop ain't free, but you guys get the idea. Okay, move down there, move down there. And you guys need to go. Shuttle's on cooldown here. Oh, uh, we held them both off? Hell yeah, dude, let's go. Let's get it. All right, shuttle's on cooldown. Nope, looks like they're coming. Good. Mercenary spam for the win. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. They, they moved off. Oh, no. Okay, we're back on now. And uh, let's get you guys blasting here. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we might have just screwed up by moving off there. But, you know, in the heat of the moment, anything can happen, right? Okay. Uh, do we want to buy any chum shares? Sure, let's just keep buying chum. And the executioner is trying to fight here. We need to get some uh, combat buffs up. And uh, Toxic Vapors is always good. Worm Call is good. I don't think we're going to get it. Yeah. We mm, we maybe would have gotten it, but I think we went on Passive Hedge anyways. Because we're about to get it. And as long as nobody else is capturing a territory, I think we're golden. Because we have good Passive Hedge. Damn. Yeah, we almost had that. That was close. That was really close. Damn. But yeah, sometimes when units chase off the middle like that, you can you can pay the troll toll pretty hard. All right. Let's get this. Let's get this. Um, let's get some Gunners. Yeah, we have the, a pretty massive hedge lead, so I think we're fine. Fremen might come in and try and grab that again, but I don't think they'll have enough time for it. Um, we still have 500, man. If I could, like, sneak some units down and grab one of these, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Okay, Fremen just dropped down. They just dropped. They must have lost the territory or something. Oh, my God. Carino's starting on a nuclear silo. The pure evil. All right, so we're going to have toxic vapors here, so we're going to drop that on these bad boys. Fremen trying to take mid. I respect that. And um, we will have all of our big boys here soon. Should be able to fly there in due time. Let's use the toxic gas. So we're going to use the fart gas on them here. And uh, yeah. Oh, you got wormed! The executioners can come down and they won't have any support, but I think they'll be okay. Let's buy some more chome chairs. We're at 33% chome. We just need to hold a little bit longer here. All right, so the middle is being captured by the Freeman. Get you guys going, and we can get some um, mercenaries as well. Looks fine, and um, let's get our big, big boys down there. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, ECAS coming too. Oh, okay. ECAS blood feuding, maybe. I'm not sure. They're going to beat up the Fremen. They're also not going to let me get it, so I'm just going to get back and let them fight. 
Because Ekaz isn't in range to win. The only way Ekaz could win if, is if they got like a big army wipe with champs or something. All right, agents escaped. Let's get you on spacing guild. Um, Karina isn't trying to push anywhere. Doesn't look like it. All right, so now we got a big scary army. We might be able to win 2v1. Do I just go try and take like a random Karino base over here? Like, because that's kind of far for these guys, right? So let's get Toxic Vapors back in the pool. All right, outstanding. This is, uh, yeah, the Fremen, the Fremen got wormed. They did. They usually do get wormed. All right, so can we shuttle over here? We can. Let's go, let's go say hello to our old friends. It's kind of hard to micro during the fight, so I just kind of like let Jesus take the wheel. I'm like... Just, just let it happen. Oh, we're gonna land right on top of his army and just crush him. Oh, oh no, that's gonna be brutal. It's gonna be brutal. All right, let's do this and let's do the uh, that. The supply drones. Oh my god, those those like siege drones though do so much damage. Holy shit, the splash damage on them. Okay, so we're gonna dive those. We're gonna dive all these. The missiles are going down. The emperor's like kill everything. It's like Thanos in the, the end game there. All right, so we did end up killing the army. Let's get the big tanks back. Those things are so nasty. That Karino army is really good, actually. Like, if you fight them on their terms and their base, like, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have a hard time. All right, so we just need to hold on. It's only 400 more heads, so a couple of days, and we get that right. Geothermal, and yeah, let's get assembly lines. Let's rebuild our army here. Dude, those siege drones. The splash damage is bananas. I need to get the damage reduction on those. Yep. Ukaz is probably lagging a little bit indeed. Alright, so that region is oppressed. Let's get a missile turret. Should have built that up. I've been so hyper focused on the other conflicts that I never developed these regions here. Which is okay. It happens to the best of us. Let's get a listening post here so we can get more knowledge or more uh, influence from the Fremen. And um, here, what do we got? The Fremen are raiding us. It's fine. We have a special trick for that that every Fremen loves called Toxic Vapors. Which is going to um, nuke their entire army, and then I can move down there and just clean them up afterwards. So, should be okay. Let's get that, let's get that, and the Fremen look to be moving up. We're going to have a big army here soon, and we're just going to get a bunch of uh, bunch of the, uh, what's it called, the mercs. Yeah, because they'll pop out really quickly, and then we can just get a fat army, basically. Alright. So, ECAS is coming. Uh, loss of rights, so we are going to obstruct that. Ekaz is killing the Fremen. I mean, I could handle them, no problem. The Fremen army is really haggard right now, but um, yeah, that's an interesting choice. Okay, let's come this way. Uh, Karino's using its imperial prerogative. We're gonna put gear regulations on Fremen to uh, punish their military. Yeah, this, I'm gonna win as soon as this ends. The spice is gonna pay and I'm just gonna get the hedge and win, so. I'm pretty sure as soon as the land rides over, it just ends the game. Yeah, AoE damage reduction. I should have gotten that versus Karino. I love the DPS Harkonnen, though, when you just have the dual weapons on the uh, Executioners. It's uh, it's 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 bad, badass for sure. Uh, so, yeah, Ekaz king-making in a way here, but this doesn't matter at all. I could clean up that Fremen army before they do any damage. 100%. Um, so that it doesn't really matter. Uh, so we're just going to put this on the Fremen. Dude, I have 600 influence. All right, we're going to do this and then put the controlled markets on the Fremen also. Yeah, we're just going to punish him here with political influence. Yes, good. Good, Anakin, good. Let their economy feast. So we got a big uh, big army coming here. And um, we got the Chome at 33. Carino is, is looking to pop off over there. Landsride Council's over, so the attack should go through and that should just be it, right? Um, yeah, that's just game, so... GG! Lags rad! Let's go! The Chonky Baron getting the dub! The big military might. Big military, big eco. Definitely my favorite way to play this. GG, well played, Hatries. Fremen, Fremen definitely uh, seems scary. I couldn't, I could not break through Carino either. I mean, there was moments we punished them very hard, killing their eco over and over, so they were definitely behind, but I couldn't, like, break them. Yeah, it was hard. Chome Chad. I know, dude. We're the we're Choman, baby. The big floating baron. Alright. <laughs> the lag was kind of savage. Yeah, it's all good. Hopefully they'll optimize it. So let's look at this. The Baron. The Baron can do hedge though, for sure. You can. You can do some rapid expansion later. Our economy was pretty pretty steep. You can see how far ahead we were. We kind of tanked down towards the end because we had big armies, but it went back up at the very end too. Alright. 
GG. So we're going to do another game. Uh, four new players in there. Uh, so if you played in the first game, please please don't rejoin this one. We're going to do a second game for tonight, and we're going to do private game. Um, so if, in order to join, you just need to be in our Discord, because I do pings in there. Um, so let me go ping the Discord here with the code. All right. So now I'm going to put it to a vote as to what you guys want to see. I'm, Smugglers got nerfed really hard, so I'm thinking maybe a Smuggler game could be fun. All right, so um, are you playing? Let me see if old Pwn Dog's online. Pwn does not appear to be... Oh, he's playing Magic tonight. I think Pwn plays Magic on Wednesday nights. Pwn is not here today. Uh, Sardaukar, three spots. All right. Hey, Max Ben Jim, nice. Yeah, perfect. Max Ben Jim getting in here. Doghead and who's going to be the last player? Helio mains. Several tournament players. Doghead and Helio mains tournament players. I play against them all the time. Max Ben Jim, very solid also. So, um, yeah, Harks always kill the most because they kill the Rebels. So it counts in the kill count. Yes. Anyone you want. Pick anyone. You know, I'm going to go Emperor. Let's, let's, be the, let's be the villainous Emperor this game. I want to be the villain here. You know, let's, let's do it. Yes. Yes. Evil Emperor. All right. So we got ECAS Smugglers. Carino and Max Ben Jim has not picked the faction yet, so. Oh, it's time, dude. The Emperor cometh. <laughs> the Dread Kronos. The Emperor, hands down, has the best soundtrack. Dude, the soundtrack for Carino in this game is so good. It's so, so good. Isn't that what you wanted? You guys are fine. Carino didn't even win last game. All right. Yeah, I don't think Carino dropped the second base that game. Dude, you guys know how strong Atreides is going to be now? With the fact that you can't deny people council vote. If they have the most votes, they win that shit. That is crazy big. Ready up. Unless you guys wanted to see something else. But, yeah, I, I just want to use some Sardaukar. They're just the coolest shit. They're so cool. Already in Kronos time? Yeah, buddy. Mandalorian knows. <laughs> the degenerate artillery blobs come. And my favorite way to play this game in general is like strong eco. Like I love Chome. So for me, Carino is like my dream faction because they start with 10% Chome and they have one of the best economies. I think Harkonnens probably have the raw strongest Hark economy in the game. Like you can't keep up with their double spice production if you're trying to compete with them that way. But um yeah. No, Fremen feel good, for sure. By the time you fought me, Hadris, I already had, like, everything, like, upgraded, 30% Chome. Like, if we had fought earlier, could have been tough. But again, Ekaz is probably stronger than Harkonnen overall, is like a faction. So I think it was wise for you and I to focus them. And you almost won, Hadris, too. If you had capped that middle, you win the game, dude. Like, you were, like, a razor's edge away from winning that. So I think everyone played pretty well. All right, so the Emperor's here. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, Carino's Choman's at 5% now? Oh, that makes me sad. The the 9% was really good. We got nerfed to 5. That's good. They deserve a nerf. They deserve some nerfs, so. though. All right. Already. In. Max Ben Jim. Who's it going to be? Well, Carino does have tanks. Carino has tanks. They have the Siege Drones, which are basically like artillery tanks. Arena Emperor says I was in the Pits all game. Yeah. Weren't we all? One, two, three, and then we're just missing Max Ben Jim and Helio Main, so we just need Doghead. Did Doghead say something? All right. Yes. Good luck, have fun. Oh, a nice corner position. We're like very, very, it looks like far away from the middle. The further away from the middle, the better. Okay, so we got Wensica, which lets us double build, which is obviously very strong, and let's go ahead and get a Conscript Rifleman. And you can go on auto from here on out. Let's see what village traits we get. Um, experience and economy building production. Eh, it could be worse. The economy building production one. We want rare mineral nodes. That's um, that's really, really what we're looking for here. So we're going to take our time. I don't really know what the optimal build order is with these guys, but I don't know. We just kind of do our own thing. Okay. Looking good. Uh, no nothing OP here, so no good village traits. We're a little bit sad. Okay, full back so we don't lose that guy. And uh, we just need the good village traits. We need the OP village traits. 
So we could do that. I don't think that's what I want to spend my first one on, earning the oh, trust of that. Although it does give us a quick, uh, yeah, it's only seven days. It yes, gives us a free Majesty. unit, which we can use to you know, pillage more aggressively and stuff. Oh, the Carino soundtrack is so good. It's so metal. This is a nice one. I'm getting double village traits over there is going to be helpful. I'm um, 30% agent recruit speed. For the Imperium. All right, solid materials. Blast Creep production is always good. Megapolis. Um, and then absolute power. Very rarely do people actually take that, I think. Or like take your non-aggression packs as Carino. It's kind of foolish too, in my opinion. Oh, you hear that soundtrack? It's so good. So we got free tech here. We need to be doing that, you know, so I'm just gonna cancel this and get the free tech here. Because my counselor, uh, Hasmir, he gives you, oh, double fuel cells and economy building production and water. That's a pretty good one. Definitely can get the double fuel cell tech very quickly. This is a Plastrate special region, so I think we grabbed that. I think we gotta grab it. Oh, shit. Forgot to build that. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That wasn't good. EA killed all things, it's true. There's so many great game studios that got gobbled up by EA and just we pay the pay the price. Oh, we have the shield wall. It's just like in the uh, in the books. Now we just need Paul Atreides or Maudib to uh, drop some family atomics on it and we're good. Five water and Plaskery here. This is a nice region. This is going to be very good. All right, so a little bit late on the spice party. I did screw that up, but hopefully we will not miss it. Yeah, it does give me Terran vibes a little bit. But the Carino soundtrack is like very menacing. I, I really, it's so, it's so good. All right, so village traits, um, we'll keep looking. We have finished solid materials, Megapolis is coming. Yeah, then we get the integrated cost, which is really good, I think. Did they change any of the tech tree for these guys? Maybe they did, I don't know. All right, so Plascrete building. Carino can build two buildings in, uh, in the regions, which is great, let's get another trooper. Really, you only need one heavy militia out of the gates to like hold the region down for you, and you're gonna be fine. So maybe we go Megapolis, um, double village traits. Yeah, and then we can get the, um, from here we can go ahead and get the integrated costs. Yeah, and go down and get these techs, because we are gonna have double fuel cells here, so that should be pretty nice for us. All right, deploy. So hopefully we don't miss our first by stacks. And what else do we want to get in this region? Um, for now, we're just going to chill. With Carino, you want to be very conservative with like dropping down buildings early. Um, this region ain't bad, though. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and grab it. Can we? We can actually pillage this region. This region sucks. So we're going to just nail this one, and we'll grab it later on. Carino can do some raiding. Who does Carino pay the spicing tax to? So in the Dune universe, um, the guild is kind of like, in some ways, more power has like power over the Emperor. Like the, the navigate, um, the guild, the spacing guild. So I believe the taxes are paid to the spacing guild. Because they like are the ones who have monopoly over like space travel and like a bunch of other things. So like if you've read the first Dune book, there's like at the end of the book, you there's a very stark um, display of how like the guild, you know, kind of has its advantages over the emperor, or has its leverages, I should say. All right. So we'll get that one later. In the meantime, we'll go up here. Let's do this, and we've finished that, so now we're going to get a second one here. It's really nice being able to build those. Then we'll get double water there, and we should be cackling. All right, so we'll grab that. Um, yes. We need to get the knowledge. Administrative consolidation is going to be giving us double village traits, which has some nice perks. Not that the traits are amazing here, but 20% eco efficiency is, is not bad by any stretch. We could even get double wholesale market here, and that's going to be even better. So that might actually not be a bad idea to just get those little markets there. Could add up. Yeah, you do start with more lands rad standing too as the Emperor. Correct, correct. All right, let's choose that. Get the free military check with Hasimir. Grab those. And what are the village traits here? So water. So we're going to get six water from this and um, quite a bit of an eco boost. Yeah. Water has been massively re reworked. They got rid of the wind traps. So wind traps um, does not exist anymore. Rather, there's they updated the water buildings to just uh, be more fit, like efficient. Fremen are the only one who have wind traps still. Yeah, so they have like a really nice, unique advantage over everybody that they have like a big water um, water lead, right? Which I, I think is a really solid change. Yes, Majesty. Yeah, alrighty. So here, what do we want to do? So we do have a bonus. Let's go ahead and get some more Plascrete here since we're going to make money from the Plascrete. We're going to build water down in this region for sure because we have the um, good water here. So it gives you, I think, like one 
water level per wind strength, so it'll give us like five water, whereas a wind trap would give you fifteen. So, yeah, that's that's uh, that's how that would go down. Let's go do a little bit more raiding. I should have built another ornithopter. You should always have uh, a couple of those. They're very good. Uh, do I want to raid this Plastrate Special Region? It does give us hedge. We have a nice little deep desert down here, and we have good water, so we could go grab these. Yeah, let's go grab this. And then the other one, we can talk to the locals and get a siege too. So land shad going to be starting in a couple days. Uh, Chow Market has not opened yet. Our economy isn't particularly amazing, sadly. But we try our best. So we're going to grab a couple of those. We have the double Plascrete. These guys can fight this guy off. With with these guys, as long as you get like two spice fields, you're going to be okay. Ooh, all factions gain one Benny Jezzeret. That's new. Um, so if I change this edict, I'm not going to have enough to win it, is the problem, right? So smugglers appear to have the most influence. So all factions getting that is good. All factions in the next council gain Plast Creep for Chome Share. That's fine. Um, yeah, nothing worth using our edict on. Oh, shit. I, I literally went to click to pass that, and, it, and then I wasted my votes here. It's fine. I don't really care how any of that goes. So that was definitely a misclick, though. Yes. What do we got here? So that lands ride is over. Looks like it all went. Everyone gets a Benny Gesserit, I think. Or did it get declined, really? Huh. Oh, the minor houses declined that. That's pretty funny. Okay, well, whatever. We don't really care. As long as nobody else gets it, it doesn't really have, like, a huge impact on us. Um, economy building production here is going. Yes. Another fuel cell. Fuel cells are very important for uh, Carino because of your drones, your machines. So you want to make sure you have those uh, in uh, copious numbers. Let's start selling some spice. You grab the dough here, and you guys can head back to the base, and then we'll do a little bit of raiding here. So let's get one more Plascrete there. So our economy is tanking because we have four Plascrete buildings, um, which probably was a mistake, but it's okay. We will be fine. Next up, okay, we see a spice field down here. This is like a great spot for an Imperial base right here. Um, it'll hit all these regions. That's a really, really good spot, actually. But I believe we need 5k hedge to get the Imperial base. So we're going to go do some raiding up in the north for now. All right. Let's get the authority. And uh, head across. We have the double. So we're going to be able to build a shitload because our Plascrete is already very strong. Main base development will unlock at 2.5. So we need to get one more territory here. Okay, that's being explored. We have the free military tech. Hasimir needs to look for other freebies. Looks like we did not fully finish talking to the locals here. So let's do that and grab that free tech here. So you can see we already have like several eco techs and we haven't really even been in there too deep. Um, let's go ahead and get integrated costs and then geothermal condensers. Yes, good. The Baron really played up the politics last game. I was surprised about that. But those listening posts do a ton of work. Um, all right, so let's get another water here so we're not suffering. Good, good. And oh, that's one of the best bases in the game. Oh, the space wreck. But for Carino, it doesn't matter because you get free spaceship parts anyways. But um, all right, so we want to go with Eco probably here. So let's go ahead and get the Solari building. Good. And yeah, we're going to be able to rapidly develop because of that. Um, yeah, so let's get fuel cells. And we need to get some knowledge building soon. I'm probably going to capture this region next if I can, but it's kind of far away. It's kind of a tricksy hobbit. All right, so we have a siege revealed. Let's pull back. See what that siege is. Is it worth trading for manpower? Nope, definitely not. Water is more precious to us right now. So this is a basic region with no special traits, so we definitely hammer that. Advanced engineering and integrated cost is going to give us quite a bit. Although geothermal condensers might be better. That's what, 10 per fuel cell? And then we can do integrated costs, yeah. Because we're going to have two fuel cells right away. And um, yeah, so this is where our, our other base is going to go, I think. I think that's going to be the plan. It's like nice and secret and like tucked away. So we need a pillage to compensate for our crappy economy right now. Oh, it's a Labithopter. Oh, I keep forgetting about that damn mission. All right. So special region, um, special region, special region. And then we just need to fly around and just hope we fly over special regions. Yeah, let's hope that works out. I don't know. We'll see. The Sardaukar are not here yet. They will arrive eventually on the planet of Arrakis. Uh, we don't need manpower for any particular reason. I don't think... I think that's Ekaz over there, so it's going to be Helio mains. Uh, Chom market is open, but we only have 5% now after the nerfs, so we are not the overlords of Chom as we would like to be. All right, let's do a little bit of pillaging, and we can take the free military check over there. Then this region gives us research hub limit. That's pretty good, actually. I think we take that, but it's 153. Yikes. Oh, that's tough. Mount Idaho. 
Okay, 153 authority for that. That's really good, though. The fact that it gives us a double on that is pretty money, my friends. Pretty money. All right, so this Plaskery, we just need to keep raiding. Um, we can go raid this area. And how's our how's our little uh, lab ornithopter doing? Yeah, it's, it's getting there. It's taking its time. Oh, we get some spaceship parts here. We could take those. All right. So moving up to this region, we're going to raid that. Hopefully it'll be okay. We'll keep you back. We're having to run over some desert. Mount Idaho is a nice one, though, because of the uh, research hub. So we can get four research hubs there, and we'll get just a ton of production. Ooh, and rare minerals, too. Oh, man, which direction do we expand? They're both so lucrative, you know? Oh, I was, I was getting too excited reading all the tooltips, guys, and I didn't notice I was losing units. Oh, well, it is what it is. Um, hopefully this guy will at least find a way to live. Is he? Is he getting beaten up here? The early military of Krino is not the best. It tries. Um, okay, let's keep going here. Take you down and do this. And then we can pull you around. Go after that. And hopefully, hopefully those guys will find a way to live. All right. Yeah, we did lose one guy. All good. We can make another one. They're conscripts after all, you know. They are conscripts. All right, so in the main base, we could build the Mason's Guild. Um, that is in fully built villages, so it's not super useful for us. And do we get the pillage off? We do. This is actually a spice field, but yeah, it's kind of far away, so... It's not in my plan of how I want to develop at the moment. All right, so let's get this, get another one of these. Looking good, we get a nice pillage there. Let's pull back to the main base. We have 125, and now we're retreating. I still think this way is, ah, oh, but man, that rare mineral is so good too for that region. Let's look at village traits. I, I really like the idea of dropping a main base down here. 3K, so we need 3K resources, which is gonna take a while to get to. We have another one of these. Let's get, get you in the spacing guild for now. That's uh, still auto-deploying, so we are paying our taxes. We really need to get a second spice field, like, really bad. But Mount Idaho is good, but it's also going to tank our economy a little bit. Okay, so that's looking fine. We got everything steady. Um, we've done some ample pillaging up here. We see fuel cell factory action. We're about to finish the geothermal condensers. Maybe I just go for this, huh? Then where do I drop my base? There's two special regions here. I could drop my base right next to my other one. That's so haggard, though. Um, that is a special fuel region. Not special, but a fuel region, which we need. Geothermal condensers is about to kick in, so that's going to give us some nice money. We have 150. I really want to get Mount Idaho, I think. I just think that research is going to be so nice for speeding us along, so we're going to go grab it. Yeah. I mean, the research hub limit is such a powerful trait, and also has Plascrete, so... Not that we really need Plascrete, but... Yeah, I suppose we go up this way and see what happens. We could drop our uh, our second main base right here. That's actually a very safe spot, and it does secure us a spice field, which unfortunately is going to be offline for 85 days because of my pillaging. So poor planning, poor planning on my part. I'm going to save up for the main base. Uh, my attention is needed. Imperial Edict. Uh, all factions gain. So let's have it be all factions lose 20 lands red standing. So, hmm. I can, I'm actually down for that. And all factions gain water. Okay. Honestly, I'm, I'm good with that. I don't care about any of those. So the emperor gets the vote first. So I need to make sure to use my votes this time. So all factions lose Landsrad standing. Yes, because we have a ton. And some other factions will actually go low because of that. So we're going to support that just with the basics and just go for everything else. Yeah, it's an RTS, but it has like, it, this has RTS elements as well as like, you know, is there more fuel cells up here? There are more fuel cells. This region is very tempting, but ECAS is inhibiting the expansion here. This is where I want to drop the main base. It is 3K, so it's still a ways off. Okay, so that's finished. We don't have the drops yet. I think we're going to take this because we need the knowledge. And then we just have to hope, hope we can pillage to keep our economy like afloat. Let's get a concept rifleman, so we have a decent little early army. Uh, every base does have at least one heavy militia. We're going to take that special region and get the research hubs. Um, here, we probably want a maintenance center, which we would get from the Imperial administration. But integrated costs and then maintenance center is probably going to be the way. We the We're spending a lot ahead here to get this. This is pretty dicey, but it is going to give us a quad yes. research center, which is going to be pretty fat. I think that's going to give us what? Yeah, let's get the, the, the upkeep production first. I think that's better. All right. So now we just start spamming these. And um, as far as this goes, we do get the free research tech. Hasimir is so nice. Being able to just grab these little tech things from all over the battlefield is like massive, massive power. We have 63 water right now. No, I do not feel like attacking a siege. Thank you. 
All right. So that's good. We're going to get a militia in there as soon as we can. We have a second range militia. And now let's just go start raiding up in the middle region. So we're going to run over here. Definitely, I think I'm going to take this corner. It's away from, like, the smugglers. It's away, it's like away from the Atreides. I don't want my second base to be in, like, a vulnerable, compromised position, right? So I think that's the right call. Could be absolutely wrong. Could just get wrecked. Um, all right, so the main base, we have some buildings, but we need to save up for our second main base drop, which is going to be happening soon. Uh, the special region costs 214, so there's not going to be, we're not going to be annexing that anytime soon, so I say screw it. Let's go get it. Let's go do some raiding, and with 64 water, our troops can literally waddle across the map. But it's odd that no fuel cell heart game you can use. Yeah, I know that it's different. Um, you can use spaceship buildings to convert spice or influence. Yeah, no, I know that. Yeah. Um, in that one game, to me, it wasn't worth it because I wanted to keep my spice like strong. Um, okay, I should be fully developing my villages, by the way. This is very newbie that I'm not. Um, all right. All right, so that's all set. So unfortunately, these things are like uber expensive, but we need research and we're going to keep up with it by just pillaging everything. Down here, what do we have? We have agent recruit speed and yeah, siege, siege funny business. So here, is there anything we want to do? Let's just get these little money buildings. Just kind of keep it simple. And the middle is going to be hard to raid, hard to raid, about same difficulty. All right, let's go hit the middle. The middle is actually free. Oh, that's right. The middle is free right now because of that. I'm just going to go grab the middle. Screw it. It's free. I'm going to get that shit. Yeah. That's funny. I forgot because that, that thing passed that made the middle free uh, temporarily, which is really funny, actually. All right, let's keep taking these free checks. Um, oh, sloppy, sloppy. What I get for reading chat? I'm going to pay the, pay the ultimate price. Um, all right, so that's good. We will get this ironed out, and that seems fine here. Our economy low-key sucks. How's our ornithopter doing? It's still flying around, I think, so we need to just keep hustling over all these regions and do this and come to the middle. Yeah, like, why not take the middle? It's free right now because of that regulation thing. So we're, we're just going to grab it, slap the water extractor down on that bad boy, and call it a, call it a day, you know? Um, yeah, that's awesome, dude. Hell yeah. That's like a nice territory, too. It's very nice. Okay, so did we finish the maintenance center yet? It's going to be popping off here in a second, so we'll drop it right there. And the middle is going to be ours. Um, I need to get some manpower buildings, but I'm spending a lot on expensive buildings at this point. Okay, let's get you, and let's go ahead and get uh, the double missile turret there. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I just grabbed that. Yeah, because of that. that uh, people, I don't think, are used to that yet. The fact that that exists, that free, that free thing. It's pretty bonkers. Um, all right, let's drop this. Fuel cells are in full effect. Maintenance center needs to drop soon to uh, cost reduce all this stuff. All right, so maintenance center here. Dude, free free middle. T sign me up for that all day, dude. All right, so ecotech is done. Let's keep looking for research uh, adv advancement. And yeah, we've got geothermal condensers. Integrated cost is coming up. And let's hit this base as well. Dude, this is great. We just got the middle. I mean, we're gonna lose it, but for now, it's gonna give us some nice benefits in the regards to water. And then if we can get Water Sellers Union, dude, we're just gonna be the Dark Lords. Okay, ECAS is expanding towards us, which I don't like. This was this was supposed to be my little Shangri-La down here. Um, so I need to get money ASAP so I can uh, go ahead and get my second base drops. And then I'm gonna drop it right here um, on this, this region. And it's gonna like grab me that spice field and you know other stuff. I think he's just pillaging there, I suspect. Yeah, we have enough, so I just need to get some, uh, what's it called? I could sh sell some of my shares, too, to bump up and get that. Maybe that's a good idea at this point. Heavy militia holding it down in the middle. All right, all right. I could also go main base right here on this. Hey, you know what? Yeah, screw, screw this area. We're going to go main base right here because um, it will get me two spice fields. So, yeah, we're just going to do that. Um, I believe the spice field is almost doable. Middle looks like it's hanging in there, looking good. And let's get another uh, research hub. Wait, I thought I was going to be able to get... Oh no, okay, the upkeep is still good. It's not expensive on those. Yeah, expanding down that way feels dangerous. Is there anything else here? Let's go ahead and grab this. Main base is hanging in there. We're getting a missile turret. Should be safe now. Alright, so we're going to be the lords of water. Nobody's going to want to mess with double missile turrets early. Um, how many shares can I sell? I'd have to sell 20 shares, and I have a handful. Hmm. Whoa! Did my army just get eight? Oh my god, I look away for a second, dude. 
God, I need to pay better attention. Smuggler's pushing me already? Jeez. Okay, well. Uh, my army just got shy haluted, so. Hey, on the bright side, that was that was actually um, planned because I wanted to I wanted to um, make my economy a little bit better. It was it was part of the plan. In case you guys might be a little bit, you know, newer, so you might not see the advanced strategies here, but it was it was clearly part of the game. Dude, I can't believe we just got wrecked so hard. That feels so bad. Where the hell is where where are my troopers even? Uh, yeah, no, these are all fine. So let's see how we're gonna vote here. Uh, building costs for sure. Infrastructure control all day. This is like what we put all of our votes into, and we just we just try and get that for ourselves. That's it. Dude, I I can't believe that dread worm. Greed mode doesn't pull the harvesters back as early. Correct. Yeah, no, none of that other stuff matters. All right. So we drop that. Where was he even? He was just kind of... Was there even a worm over there? Huh. Isn't that a beard? It sure is. Alright, let's do this. And then we can get another money building here. Better than nothing. And cool. So we do get the uh, infrastructure control. So everything... I don't think it affects our main base. Let's see. No, it doesn't, sadly. So we're going to sell some of our shares probably to get that in a second. Because, yeah, we're, we're hurting bad. We're hurting bad. We don't have a lot of manpower here, but this region's looking pretty good. Um, we do get the upkeep production on all these, so these only cost 13 now. And aside from that, we could make Plascrete here if we want to. Um, what are the village traits? Yeah, it's basically just, just hanging out. All right. So we have our two Haggard units. We can go and pillage again. Um, expanding down here was a was a power fantasy, but that, that ain't gonna happen. Worms doing what they do best. Dude, I got wormed so hard. I'm probably just gonna be a, a potato this game. I can already feel it in the air. And I'm not even taking advantage of infrastructure control, which is bothering me. Um, all right, let's get the um, the Masons Guilds. Yeah, we might as well. And we're going to get another trooper here in a second. Um, this region, we are getting a lot of knowledge. Our knowledge is respectable. It's at eight, I suppose, which isn't like the best, but it could be worse. Let's fully build this village out. We're just going to get a little bit of this. Although we could build the uh, special building here while it's on cost reduction. So not research station, but let's get the spacing guild so we can get Kronos early. And absolute power is finished. So spying logistics could come in. Yeah, spying logistics is always pretty good. Just gives you faster agent recruit speed. And yeah, we're we're all right. We're hanging in there. Is there anything cheap we can make? We need to get another spice field and get our main base up, but I'm obviously developing this, so we're slightly delayed. Um, we're making 42 at this point. Certainly doesn't feel as smooth as last game, that's for damn sure. It does not feel as smooth as last game. But again, um, you know, new patch day. So let's get the water extractor in the middle. That's gonna give us quite a bit of water. I wish I could like I wish I could like barter the water around and be like, what will you guys pay me for? Spice field here, we can go raid that. And hopefully not lose uh, to the dreadworm. And get another militia probably would be a good idea to do that and this region um we can get the research station here but man that's going to really tax our eco but it will give us a lot more knowledge we'll be at like 16 or something this is 460 um let's head up here we can actually just go hit this blast street because it's so far away our guys have a ton of water so it should be fine all right we could do Plascrete here, but the problem is it's gonna i don't need it and it's gonna tank my economy Plascrete buildings have insane upkeep all right so let's buy some more uh, look for some more stuff on the map. Yeah, not expanding super well here. Looking for free tech around. Uh, I don't know. I don't think we finished that knowledge quest. I think we failed it. So that's very potato. But there's a lot going on in this game. It's it's a lot. We'll see if we can still pull out the dub. We'll try our best. Okay. So going on a long raid up to the north. Smugglers might think we're attacking, but I can assure you we are not. Okay. So that. Fine, pull you back, and then you can loop around and jump on this guy. Why are these militias so jacked, by the way? They're just like linebackers, man. All right, so do I have a supply drop here? I do. Am I going to need it even? I mean, I should have really, really good water supply. Nope, no. Let's get you, you, and you. All right, so I think we're going to get the pillage off. It's going to be a little bit tight, but I think we just barely get it. Plus, we also have our main base developing, too, so it's not the end of the world. Okay, so spying logistics is done, and next up, valuable trinkets doesn't really help us. We'll get some chome integration, and cool. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Why are you this way? We're gonna have our little duel between our sniper characters while I get this pillage off. 
Okay. I'm literally just coming and, and just grabbing some stuff and leaving. I'll, I'll take my bags and leave. So we do have infrastructure control for a bit longer, but the second base is a huge priority in my opinion. Um, these guys are hustling back. Unfortunately, the sniper is cheesing me here. Who is this? Who is this? I'm going to remember this, doghead. I'm going to remember this. The Emperor will be back with our, our shit armies that we can like barely, barely keep mustered. Okay, so we're going to go down here. Let's get you on the chome. Try and get a little bit of dough. Um, selling shares. So how many shares are we sitting on right now? Let's see. Yeah, let's sell. And one more sell and we should be able to get our second base down, which we will drop uh, right here. And then that's going to give us these three regions uh, with pretty good efficiency. And let's sell some shares. Cool. So main base, we're going to drop it and boom. There we go. Now we can start expanding a little bit better. You don't want to make the mistake of not getting the second main base because it not only gives you the double uh, trait benefit, but yeah, it, it, it lets you expand further because this faction takes a penalty for uh, expansion distance from the mains. 196 for that one. This one should be more doable. 149. So great. So we're going to head over there. And unfortunately, we're expanding into the smugglers, which isn't great, but you know, somebody's got to do it. And the water extractor in the middle does have a big upkeep. A cool thing is we can build two of those. So this going to have to start getting some manpower soon. But now we're going to go down the eco tree a little bit. Yeah, your early military units definitely suck as, as Greeno. No crazy good traits here. Um, definitely want to get this. We're going to just grab that real quick, although it does have four troops. Although I think I can lurk, uh, lure them to the main town center. Uh, space and guild parts? Yes. We have our space and guild branch. ECAS is creeping. We're going to try and jack that. Uh, smugglers were aggressive early against our neighbors up top. You don't want to be the last in chum? Yeah, it's, we'll, buy our, we'll buy our way back. I needed to get the second base. I needed to buy the second base, but we'll see if we live to regret it. We are listening, Majesty. We are can we pull you back to the base turret? Let's see if we can. Come on, base turret. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. All right. There we go. That's going to make that a lot easier. Now they're all bunched up, and they're all going to get wrecked by that turret. 69 water? I know. It's only going to get bigger, too. That's what she said. The blessed number. All right. So we're going to grab the fuel cells um, because they're very good for us and our various cheese. Um, we can get this, and we can go ahead and get the Harvester Gather. Do we want to do that? Uh, I think we can get, just slap down the Emperor's Monument here. Uh, where is that? Emperor's Monument is right there. Great. While we while we have access to that, that freebie there. So let's take this. And, um, yeah, we just keep developing. All right, so Landrad's going down. So Carino got infrastructure control, which allowed us to build some main base buildings very cheap. Um... Do we want to apply our edict? Honestly, none none of these matter. Let's just make that so that's everyone, and then we just we just roll from there. So now like everyone gets the upkeep production. So it won't be like just my opponents. I'm gonna get it. Hmm. Yeah, trying to sell my early chum shares. We'll buy them back though. We'll we'll get there. Our eco just sucks pretty bad, so we need to we need to get some milk here. But two spice fields here is gonna be nice for like our eco transition. Um, I'm gonna send Doghead a, uh, my attention is needed. Okay, I really don't care about these votes. Um, all factions gain, sure. I'll take some Lands Guard, actually. I'll try and make sure that that one goes through. Hey, Pwn! How's it going, man? You missed a really fun first game. We had some good times. All right. Did the Lands really get denied? Oh, to the next base, they'll be lost? Okay, there they are. I was gonna say, where the hell did those guys go? So we're going to go pillage this so nobody can grab that easy. So we're going to have you guys go do some raiding. Uh, 166 and 230 there. So let's get some fuel cells. We need to find a way to start getting some um, So statecraft building. Yeah, so we'll get some... Uh, we need manpower. So do we have any regions that have any like military perks or anything like that? Um, no, no. I think we're okay here. Hey, Don, what's up? Yeah, no, sounds good. Uh, one sec, guys. Just get keys out. Hey. All right, so back up in the north, we're getting the glorious, glorious goodness. Heavy militia, cost increased. Pillage down here, gonna be nice. Yeah, Chum is very good. Chum is very good. Yeah. It's a big, important variable in this game. All right, so another agent. Let's just slap you on Chum. Let's grab this free military tech. Let's pillage this. And then um, we want to pillage all the territories that we're going to be expanding away from, essentially. 
That's uh, that's the play. So then we'll go pillage this next, so Ekaz will stop expanding towards us potentially. Um, we can grab that for some free plasteel if we want to. Imperial base developments are on the table, but we are building in one. We could build in the other one, um, which is where we're going to go military likely. Yeah, the new Landsrad building is interesting too. I have to I have to read these. So lands 200 max influence. Okay. So that's good if you're just going to be trying to bank like a million votes for governor or something, right? Yeah, we really need to get some uh, freaking... What does this region have? It's research hub and it has one building of each type. All right, so we'll get some manpower there. Got to start going hard on that because we could get aggressed and we would be extremely vulnerable. Ready. At your service. These guys doing some nice raiding. Yeah, it's good, man. It's good. I have so much water. Yeah, it's well, it's because I got the middle for free because of the Landsrad thing. It's hilarious. Um, let's slap another militia down there, right? Or maybe, maybe an airfield or something. So I can like fly there if it gets attacked. I don't really care if I lose it. Like I feel as if I didn't deserve it in the first place. So it, it is what it is. All right. Oh shit, I wasn't microing this. I was not looking. Uh, yeah, we're probably just gonna pull back here. Come on, buddy, you can do it. You can make it. We might actually still be able to get this. Depends on how this trooper does in this fight here. Looks like those other guys aren't like attacking properly. Man, Carino's early military units are so shitty compared to the Harkonnens. All right. And then we just tag both of these guys, and I think we can win that grind there. Okay. Pull you guys back. Uh, main base buildings are up. Construction's possible. So let's get the Chome Branch. It's one of my favorite ones. Looks like we're winning that fight. And then at the other base, we can start developing this too. Yeah, we have good development now and power production. Like the fact that we can just spam main base buildings is pretty good. Carino really does just come into its own like that, doesn't it? Oh, hello. Okay. So we need to get our Lance Shad Guard up here to deal with this, this damn annexing. Oh my god, did a storm come and finish my guys off? Jesus, I'm so such a potato today, dude. Oh, okay. Hopefully my, my land shad guard can make it up there and stop that. If I lose that region, dude, that's going to suck so incredibly bad. All right, so they're hustling. Um, manpower sucks. And um, yeah, that's that's that, man. We got to get there. Let's take that free tech. The land shad guard are going to make it. I don't know if the storm killed me or something did, but... Yeah, there was some there was some serious bronze odia going on there, one way or the other. Okay, I think we're gonna make it. The Landsrad Guard should be able to stop that. So crisis somewhat averted. Get a manpower building, and for you, we can get an upkeep production building for the last one. Okay, looking great. And uh, good, the Landsrad will make it. Oh, I'm so lucky I got those guys. <laughs> Dude, the middle is just just jacked. It's just hanging hanging super thick. All right, so let's tag the range units. I actually should pay attention to what I'm doing here. And then get these spice fields too. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so smugglers, oh, they're just raiding, okay. So let's get some air fort. Do I want to get some ships just to keep them honest? They have a lot of snipers though. They do have a lot of snipers. I would be very vulnerable to raiding here. So I probably should get some missile turrets here as soon as I deal with this. Come on guys, finish them off. Let's go here and here. And we got the troopers, let's move this way. Thankfully, the main base, I think, can almost protect this region. Almost. It's it's tight. And it looks like they're going to grab that. Okay. So it's taken a while for that one to decap here. Uh, manpower region is is on its way. And now it's time for some missile turrets for sure. I think he's just pillaging that region. I think it's just a pillage. So let's get militia and start getting some turrets here. He's very, very bronze, but it has to happen. Oh, this isn't the main base. I was like, why are my guys taking so long to get here? Like, what the hell is, what is this? Okay, let's pull back. Um, we have good economy from it. Smugglers are there. Did they take the non-aggression pact with me? I don't think so. Oh, he's taking that. Okay, that's not good. Smugglers expanding towards me. And I just feel so weak right now in terms of army. That's for sure. Um, so after this, we need to get some military tech or else we're just going to die, basically. So let's jump onto the range units this time and not just throw our armies away like we've been doing in perpetuity this entire game. Another heavy militia. We'll get another turret there to protect it against the aggression. And we really, really need to get this vice field. Okay, so that one's fully geared out. Let's get the barracks. Start transitioning into military a little bit. And uh, yeah, let's hope let's hope it works out. The Fremen, the Fremen definitely get some work in there, man. Okay, they're leaving. What is that? That's the fuel cell region. Okay, I don't. I just want a turtle. I don't. As the emperor, you don't want to be dragged into a bunch of conflicts, right? It's it's not it's not what you want. Oh, can't wait till I can get some starter car and some good units. I mean, I could get some, but they're so expensive. They're upkeep, so. 
All right, so that region is, oh, it hold up. Oh, man, really, is this one still under the 100% authority to annex? Ready for instruction. Okay. Yes. All right, at least we got some experience for our troopers, right? All right, so let's grab another trooper, let's heal up, and then we can go grab this other one over here. You can see how like our eco is still pretty respectable even on just like one base though, it's pretty nuts. Okay, uh, lands rat is up. Uh, so we're gonna make it so every faction suffers that. So if they wanna vote for bad spice, it's gonna hit everybody. Yeah. Which I think I'm actually gonna vote for since I only have one spice field. I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? My economy isn't really spice dependent. So you can see it's coming mostly from villages and different things like that. So I'm gonna put votes into the sp controlled markets and we'll see if anybody wants to downvote it. I basically have two Skaven Slaves. It's true. My army sucks so bad. Oh, it's so potato. But our manpower is going to be coming up soon, too. All right. Let's do that. Um, we put all our votes into it. Confirm. I want everybody to suffer now. I want everybody to just, just pay the, the, spice, the spice trolling tax here. All right. Cool. So we lose our lands, Chad. Controlled markets and military regulations. So we need to cancel our... Um, cancel our military advancement now because it's super slow. And we can go down to the Emperor's Eyes, which is going to give us um, the guys that keep us from getting sniped. See, we don't really care about the controlled markets, right? We're just like, whatever. We're good. We're hanging. We obey. Okay, so no Kronos for a while, but we will have the OP Siege Drones, which will make our enemies shudder and tremble. This is the game plan. Quite the opposite. We don't want the spice to flow right now, as a matter of fact. We want it to suffer and um, stagnate. That is what we want from the spice. All right, so 50 down there, 74 here, 14 here. What could we possibly throw down here? Research station is not a bad idea. We get a ton of fuel cells, and we still have the middle, which is so funny. I, I hope we can get water cellars at some point in this yes, game, just to really just like roll in the money. We are listening. What do we have here? Reward is intel. Did anybody want a non-aggression with me? Let's see if ECAS will take it. Yes, Majesty. Because we get a free non-aggression pact, we can send it. Maybe the Atreides will take it for sure. If if ECAS doesn't. Reporting for duty. Okay, we let's shuttle ready. you up here. Did they take it? Yep, ECAS took it. Sweet. So ECAS is our homie now. Right, they're our best pals. And we can go ahead and get an incinerator. Let's start getting like a decent quality army so I can take bases efficiently. But we're about to get double spice fields. We'll get this one and this one, and we're kind of riding under the radar right now, too, which is exactly what you want to be doing as Carino. Um, although we only have one special region, which kind of sucks. So hopefully we can nail one more. Maybe maybe this uh, shield wall will be possible here. All right, let's shuttle up. Grab you guys. Incinerator's on the way, but he's going to be there for a hot minute. Oh, we get a Sardaukar. Hell yeah, dude. It's time for the bad, the, the bad boys. They're, they've arrived. All right, so in this region, we're probably going to get... Let's get Knowledge and Hedge Gains at the Research Center. It's obviously a very important one to get early. Yeah, I have the double fuel cell, so I'm cackling pretty hard. This is a really annoying spot, because um, smugglers can just sit above me and snipe me and stuff, so we need to get like double missile turret there 100%. So we're going to grab this base, and smugs are going to be stealing spice from us, probably, using their fancy, fancy buildings. Did smugglers lose, like, village numbers? Oh, it's just not showing me everything. Okay. Okay, so we tag all the range units. Tag the range units here. Perfect. All right, so that fight should be pretty straightforward for us. Let's go ahead and get our flamethrower man. He can come up here too. And uh, there's a lot of people guarding that spice field. It's pretty bananas. Okay. Yeah, still hanging out. Did I not build something on the bottom one? I did. Okay, good. So we have the, uh, the knowledge one on the way. OTW. All right, so let's take that. Hopefully the smugglers don't roll up with a bunch of snipers and start picking me off. I still think smugglers are just so annoying. Like, look at this. Oh, God, he's going to just come here and just troll me right now. Okay, we just got to run. Yeah, there's no way we're fighting that. We do have the double turret, but we should escape without any losses. Um, uh, maybe not, actually. Maybe we'll lose a couple troopers. I, I thought he would want the, uh, the business here, but we do have that turret. Hopefully our Sardaukar lives. Let's see if he does. That is a good smuggler army, though. Oh, he lives. Yes, run to the double missile turret. He's coming coming hard in the paint for that. He might even lose a unit on the retreat. Which would be worth. You got my free Sardaukar. Extra villainous, but I think we're going to pick off a unit on the run as well, maybe. Double missile turret doing good. Let's pull back. Oh, snipers are so annoying, dude. Oh, they're so annoying. The range, it's absurd. 
Let's wait till we get some drones, though. The drones will hopefully equalize that. So we got to go for this other spice field then, which hopefully will be off soon. We're just banking so much right now. So much. Okay, so that will go down. We're definitely going to have to siege drone that later, but at the very least, we can get two spice fields maybe. Ooh, this special region also calls to us a little bit, but we're very trapped in right now. Let's choose this. Main base. Do we have any military tech? Oh, did we start researching military tech during the punishment period? We did. That's very newbie. All right, so let's get the, um, yeah, the eyes of the emperor. That's what we should have been going for here. Okay, so military bases, yes. We're definitely going to want those there because we're going to have to do it. We can't really fight that until we get siege drones. Drones will change that conflict super hard. Um, we could move up here and start on this. It does have four. We could probably lure some of them, but yeah, we need to need to find a way to stabilize here. Okay, can we get the spice augment? We can, so let's get the spice silo to look good. Smugglers are definitely strong, but the problem is the tradies aren't going to help. So we're basically all in on fighting the uh, smugglers here. Yeah, we'll get two spice fields, um, and we'll get this rare mineral field, and I, I, hopefully that will be enough economy for us. All right, so down here, what do we want to get? Landsrad, influence. Yeah, we're going to get that. Great. So that'll give us a ton of influence, but we're very, very haggard in the military department right now. Very, very haggard. Smugglers were just like waiting for me to run down there and get that. But we'll definitely raid and harry that with drones. It's not going to be a good base for him. Um, he currently has three spice fields. We're going to be getting one right now. Um, it's going to take a second. All right, looking good. Max Ben Jim says he's going to help with the smugglers. All right, a little bit of business there. Yeah, you kind of have to. Smugglers are still very strong, I think. We could see, though. I'm still kind of in the mindset of the previous patch, so I don't know truly how uh, devastating smugglers can be. But we are getting AoE attacks here. Let's pull you back. A little bit of lag there. And running back to the base to heal. We grab this. We are being spied on, but we have that. Good. So let's get the spice field. Hopefully we can actually secure this. And um, once the next lens rad comes around, we can we can try some other funny business. Yeah, I don't necessarily know what tech I want to go for here. We could just throw this in here to get the Harvester Works. To get the cheaper Harvester Crews, which would probably be good. I definitely need more manpower before I'm looking to fight anybody. And um, manpower regions, where can we start developing it? Our bases are kind of like, kind of set in their ways. Military development and spice exchange rate. Yeah, still not great. Let's get some heavy militia. Chill out near the main base. We have the flamethrowers, which are just going to get wrecked by the snipers. Uh, and yeah, we still have the punishment on these for a little bit longer. Land's route is starting here. All right, so smugglers have the most influence. So they usually dictate how that goes. Um, all factions will suffer chone buying price. Let's make it so all factions get this. It just forces everybody into a big happy family. Although, do I really want that? Hmm, no. I don't think so, because th there might be a time when I want to attack here. So yeah, I think we're not going to do that. Yeah, Ekaz is creeping up on me, dude. I'm getting sandwiched. This is going to be a hard game. It's going to be a very difficult game, I think. But that's good. We all like a challenge here. So we got one spice field, and then we'll try and get these rare minerals. We do have the middle, which is cute. It and it's going to be hard to take with double turrets, for sure. But um, no attention's needed, so Diplomatic Congress. So let's do that and try and get this for ourselves. Hey, cool. So now we're in a diplomatic congress, so nobody can attack us right now. So this will give us some breathing room to tech, because we we've been getting owned pretty hard. Like, the smuggler early military is no joke. It's it's very scary. So this is going to be better in 17 days. We'll be able to annex that. Okay. This region we don't really care for on the bottom. Spice is going, and we could get another military base here if we want to. I think just getting a listening post is going to be better. And let's actually cut this and get double listening posts. I don't think he's going to be attacking anytime soon. Yeah, I am not having a good a good start. But it's what's cool about this game is, you know, due to all the politics and everything, it can go like any given direction. It's very fun. So we're about to get Emperor's Eyes, and then we get military tech, and we can probably spam like five, five siege tanks and just blast his spice harvesters nonstop here. And the snipers will have trouble getting it to it, probably. Um, I... I got that non-aggro pack, sadly. Yeah, we'll see if uh, he can fight the smugglers off. We'll be sieging him soon once I get drones. Yeah, the drones are what makes Carino very OP. The Sardaukar are, are cool and all, but they're not like terribly strong. 
They're like as good as any other kind of like unit of that tier, right? All right, so what traits do we have in this village? Uh, per economy building, and buildings are cheaper here too. Oh, that's nice. We could just go nuclear too. If we're gonna just be a haggard potato this game, we could be the nuclear potato. That's also an option. But I definitely need some manpower, so we're gonna do that. How come this main base isn't helping, by the way? Shouldn't I be shooting these guys? These raiders from the old siege? All right, so you're good. Um, we wanna get those guys being watched. We have a harvester now. And we can get a harvester down here too. Yes, get the mannequin. Good. Okay, so we need to get. Yeah, this guy's just gonna try and tank that. Hopefully, he'll survive. Uh, manpower buildings are on the way, and we got a worm call. Lovely. Let's get let's get eaten by some worms. Listening posts. Outstanding. So now we can get our harvesters all geared out. One, two, three, four, and the other one should be there soon. Should be there very very soon. All right, free tech. Main base building. Um, trying to think how we want to lay this out. We do have our new buildings. We don't really need water. That's pretty much out of the picture. Um, we're going to need military. Unassigned agents. Yes. So we have the eyes of the emperor. So assassinating us now would be just an unholy nightmare. It would not be fun. So I'm not too worried about that at this point. Um, let's go ahead and get a harvester watching that one and that one. So both of our harvesters are being watched. Let's put them in safe mode and safe mode so we don't get munched on. Let's load you up and load you up. 15% spice production. It's a lot, you know, and then, then that's enough. If we had gotten that other spice field, that'd be great. If we can get this, though, I'll feel like our economy is going to be respectable. Sadly, our we had to share, sell our shares earlier, so uh, we weren't able to get the sweet sweetness on the um, the chome market. But I'm going to start buying some chome shares here in a minute. Um, but first, I want to get my main bases all saturated out, and then we'll be good. So ECAS has an on aggression with us. Which is good. I can't afford to be fighting ECAS too. Smugglers are not making friends at all. So I think they're going to get teamed up on at some point. It sounds like they're basically just attacking everybody. Which is always fun. And uh, our army is chilling. We could do some raiding. This will be ready in seven days for us to grab. Alright. So Sardaukar. Let's just keep blobbing units. Free tech. And where else can we get? We get this. That's going to be some influence. I want the free technology, so I'm looking around to see who has some laying in their base. It looks like here. Yep, free eco tech. Give me that all day, baby. We'll be maxed out on eco. Can we get another military base in here? Another military unit? I think now we can. Not quite. Mechanization is, yeah, it's on the way. All right. So the money is banking up. We're doing okay economy-wise. I don't expect us to be the richest. Smuggler at 4.7k. Um, let's start laying some foundation. Smugglers, super rich, bullying both of us, by the way. Just a heads up. Not sure if you care. I'm just giving some intel to the, uh, to the ECAS, you know, that could help out. Maybe they'll vote against them in some ways. Losing the middle would suck pretty bad at this point, since I don't really have a whole lot of real estate on the board. Um, let's move up here and get ready to take that rare mineral and the spice field there too is an opportunity We could grab that actually. Maybe we will grab that spice field. Although the rare mineral what village traits do we have? Yeah, nothing terribly useful the rare mineral one will be nice because we can get two of those So it's just like a huge raw amount of money Which doesn't really care about other variables. All right So you guys are hanging out. We probably want to get the worm call and the orbital strike Which will help us deal with any trolling that we may encounter we're going to need to calm down to the Plasteel soon. And um, as much as I don't want to make turrets here, I kind of feel like we need to. Let's get a Spice Factory. All right. So heading up to the north, we'll grab this. It's going to be uh, annexable in 1.7 days. And perfect. Yeah, Hedge Victory is going to be hard for us. I mean, the middle is cute, but the middle is so hard to protect. It's so incredibly hard to protect. Okay, we have no militia down there, so we need to deal with these raiders. Good thing I noticed that. Because we did not adequately respond there. Raiders coming that way, so there's clearly a siege in there, but we have the double missile turret, so I think we're safe. And can we build a double spice field? Oh, we can. We can actually build two of those. Cool. Yeah, nice. So we can get like a lot of spice from our limited refineries, which is very neat. Okay, so dealing with that, we get another one of those here. Smugglers tend to be a menace. Yeah, they are. They like I don't know why they get so much influence. I mean, they do con control, sure, a fair amount of the. Uh, spice but that's pretty wild that they have that okay so fuel cells makes mechanical units train faster is it training time uh that's all right 
I think I don't mind the wait time on that. Hammer these guys down, and then that should be the end of those artificers. Landsrad starting up in a couple days. We do have plus 12 influence. Our influence is pretty respectable, actually. Our, our Landsrad situation is, um, is on the up and up. All right, let's get you. Getting a lot of money in our various regions. Probably, man, Chome is so expensive right now. A lot, I guess there's a lot of people playing Chome, huh? Okay, Landsrad in session. My attention is needed. Yeah, authority is okay. We don't need it that much. Let's go ahead and do nothing here. I think we're fine. Although we'll do all factions get that because I'm not going to win it. So I'm going to make it so that if we do, then... Yeah, the ECAS influence is nuts. They currently have 600. So ECAS could could go for a political victory, which is very, very likely. But you know, then everybody will attack them and, and I can bounce back after hopefully and maybe loot some of their territories. That's got to be my game plan right now. Okay, my attention is needed. Um, we're going to do the votes on the manpower recruitment costs. Or, hmm, how long do we have? 21 seconds? Okay, let's actually just put some light votes onto this. And call it a day. Any free desert freebies? Yeah, I just grabbed one. I just grabbed this one down here. The crash spaceship. Um, I need to start getting ship parts, though. Because my I only get the free uh, gifts if, I believe, let's see. Yeah, if I'm a little bit higher up. Okay, so we have some authority we can grab over there. Let's start buying our way back into the chome. So we just need to yes, get rolling on that. Let's do this. Ignore the criminal and his lies. Is there some politics going on I'm missing out on? Maybe. All right, let's start spying on the smugglers. We might need to like try an assassination on them. I don't know, could be the play. See, now that we don't have the lowest, I should have done that earlier, but I didn't really have the money. Um, I'm gonna start getting free ship parts. So Kronos is on the way now, which is great. Okay, so that looks good. Let's get the double spice uh, business there. And we are producing spice pretty efficiently. Middle is nice and secure. Definitely a good spot for a um, maintenance center, I think. Although first we gotta get that. Uh-oh, smugglers being evil over here. So hopefully we can get this before they decide to come down here. Aye, aye, aye. I need to get the artillery drones stat. Those things are just super nasty. So if I can get those, maybe we can start fending them off. Uh, yeah, we don't care about the fusion plant. Looks like he's coming down this way, so let's just retreat. We can just come back for that. It doesn't matter. He's going to pillage it, maybe? Maybe, we'll see. I could use the rocket strikes on his army here. Um, maybe he just pillages that? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, he's just going to pillage it. It's fine. So those are going to be a while before we can get them, but it's better, better to be safe here than to die. That has finished, so now we can go ahead and get the uh, command post and start spamming out drones, which will let us start beating his armies in combat, I think. Um, this base we could take. I'm just going to go grab it because, you know, why the hell not? It's kind of scary that so much of our water is tied up in the middle, too. Um, it's a little bit scary. Okay. So we have the spice silos, but we do not have the maintenance down there. Let's head down to the bottom, grab this, just so we don't bank any excess. But yeah, we might be able to get our paws on that. Um, ECAS in the middle. So if I lose this, I lose, what, 50 water, and I'll still have 30 or so. Okay. Yeah, smugglers are, are just disgusting. They're, they're, their armies are so strong early game. A late game, I feel I can fight them, but early game, it's, it's very difficult. Um, all right, maintenance center. And uh, let's keep buying our way back up in the chome. Because we have plenty of dough. Um, listening post here. I don't think we're in conflict with either of these guys. Maybe. We'll have to see. Yeah, we'll grab this. It's still uh, close to our main base, and the village traits are not that good, sadly. Nothing useful here, but we can still get some income buildings and, yeah, at least do something productive. Uh, this one, upkeep, all building upkeep reduced by 20%. That's really good, so we're going to start uh, dropping the base on that, actually. Let's get another drone and get a starter car, and for the starter car, we want to just make them really tanky is, I think, the best way to build them. So we're going to just make them linebackers, and then your drones and other things do most of the damage, and they, like, finish off the targets with the executes. All right, so we'll take that. Um, smugglers, definitely we gotta start giving them some some annoying business. We can't just let them troll us like this without any reprise, but we're not quite ready. Very soon we'll be ready. Um, we're gonna have the tier three mil military, which is good. ECAS could get some big political dubs. I don't think anybody owns a single office yet, which is good. So no offices are owned and the middle is, is very vulnerable. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to get that. So we're up to 7% shares. We're starting to catch everybody now. Our income isn't Harkonnen levels, but also the spice exchange is really bad right now. 
All right, so down here, what do we want to make? Um, we could make a military factory, but I think I want my economy to stay afloat. So we're going to kind of not do that. Just build some basic buildings, get some militia in case somebody randomly backstabs my base there. And anything around the map I want to grab. Yeah, I think, I think I'm currently investigating something, so. All right, so old Carino's going. And uh, let's max this out. We got it in safe mode, so it's likely not going to get eaten. This will be available in 12 days, and this one is available in 10 days. Those guys are doing their thing. Um, let's go ahead and get another Sardaukar. Military base is developing well, and we can now go ahead, and since there's two new military buildings, we can actually get them both here. So we can get the uh, that plus also the armored all units, which is going to be badass. Yeah, we're going to be swimming, floating, flying, whatever great analogy you want to use. It should be, should be good for us. Okay, free tax, free tax, free tax. Give me all the free technology. Where is it? Looks like everybody's kind of starting to snatch them up as they pop up. There's free authority there, which we don't need. And here's a free technology. Yes, good, good, Anakin. Probably should have gotten this, uh, that Chome chair. So we'll get parallel training, um, and then we will get the Chome manipulation after that. I think that's good. Assassinating us is going to be hard. We have two like heavy influence factions here, so that's going to be a, um, a tough one to deal with in terms of politics. Yeah, let's just grab you, get some light income buildings down there to help out. Um, if I can get to 10% chum, that'd be pretty sweet. That's that's the good spot. That's what we want. We can get one more drone and one more Sardaukar. And then we're going to have a very good quality army. That's going to be incredibly annoying to fight, hopefully. Um, I don't know what upgrades are best for this thing. That gives it range, but makes it squishier too, which I don't want because snipers can pick it off. Damage against non-mechanical units. That's what we want because we want it to wreck the, um, the, the sniper blobs. All right, parallel training is up, so we can get that in here once we're done, and we're going to be having a really, really good military. Hopefully, Ekaz um, doesn't attack us, because eh, if I pick a fight with the smugglers, it's going to be a hard fight, you know? It's going to be a very difficult fight. And we can just get some more concrete riflemen, just some chaff units, basically, and get ready to party. So Kronos will be here eventually. It's it's on the horizon. Um, Ekaz is our friend, so we don't have any sort of uh, political issues with them. Let's look at that. We got the free technology. Is there any more laying around the map? There's the spaceship parts. Let's take that before anybody does. And um, all right. So when the other siege drone finishes is when we start trolling here. Ekaz at 20k hedge though already. Jeez. Oh, that totally changes my game plan. How are they getting so much hedge? I think they're just killing units with their champions. Um, Landsrad's about to start. Man, because now the smugglers are just going to cackle behind me while I fight Ekaz, potentially. That's really tough. I only have one special region, too. So, well, I have two. I have one in the middle, also, but. Okay, so I have 300 influence. Um, currently, we want all factions to suffer this. Yeah, so then I don't get targeted with that. This is tough, man. Ekaz might just sweep a quick win. We might have to start going after him. He capped this back region from me, so he's putting airfields down here and everything. Um, I could use this time to get the smugglers in a peace treaty. I really need to get these bases. Four days left and four days left. Okay, we're going to have to play this carefully here. So all factions suffer. Yes, yes. My votes are needed. I have the council. Um, I can't win that. I cannot win that. But we can't also can't deny Carino that either. So I'm just going to put my 100 votes in, and I, I can't deny it. Um, I could vote Atreides, since they're not like winning on hedge. I could vote Atreides. That's actually not a bad idea. And then maybe they'll be able to win against uh, Ekaz. No, Atreides has like no votes. Holy shit. Okay. No, we're just gonna we're just gonna not do anything. Ekaz and Govrange. I know. As our commands, we'll they are in governor range. It's true. It ain't gonna be easy. Ekaz getting real spooky here. A couple days till this is capped here. All right. Yeah, I do have this middle spot. The smugglers can they can they can find ways across. They're clever folk. All right, let's get the parallel training slots. Uh, of course, I play to win. All right. So, but he if he wants to, but uh, you'll. Need to send non aggro pact to pass safely. Alright. 
I don't know why it thinks pass is a bad word, but apparently it is. It's pretty it's pretty funny, right? When we get an army that can beat the smugglers, some other some other force drags us away. No, these are all players, dude. Yeah, these are all players. Um, all right. So we got the non-aggression with the smugglers, which is something. Um, and yeah, we need to grab these regions and get that sweet, sweet spice going. So we're going to move up there and hopefully get this before he does. If he gets that, I'm going to be pretty sad. Uh, let's buy some chome shares. Trying to get to 10%. And the middle is good. I This is honestly time for me to start creeping hedge buildings in um, while everybody goes after ECAS. Let me grab the region to be able to fly closer. I need the spice. Uh, it's fine. He can. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, you know, we'll go down and get this one. He's right. He he does. We do need him to have that to help us. So we're gonna just yield that that space there and call it a day. He does have the mortis engine shit. Uh, ship no p. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Okay. So we're gonna do that. Outstanding. Collect our army. Get this. Do we have the siege here? The siege would give us uh, military power. Wow, that's a really good one. Holy shit. We yes. gotta get that. Ekaz creeping on the borders. And um, yeah. We're we're okay. We're okay. We're still alive. We have good military power. Kronos should be here soonish. Um, gear regulations is on everybody, so you know everybody's gonna be paying the troll toll a little bit. Scavenger teams and consolidation. And outstanding. Alright. So unfortunately my hedge trolling will be very visible here in the middle. Like, very, very, very visible. All right. So our knowledge is okay. It's at 17. Uh, we need to go ahead and get Cho Manipulation, then get Imperial Researchers. That'll give us, like, five or six more knowledge. It should be good. Um, we're going to go ahead and take this down and this down. Yes. And we're going to start getting some hedge buildings. Is haggard as that might be. Although we don't have the tech for it. Yeah, we need to get val valuable trinkets. Okay, that's fine. So in the meantime, let's rebuild that. That was a mistake. So the army's coming down this way. They're going to be attacking. Um, we will get Imperial Researchers, and then we'll get Valuable Trinkets, which will allow us to get the um, Hegemony Buildings. All right. So it looks like they're going after Ekaz. And I'm down because I'm going to get some territory out of this, right? Although this one is 500. So Ekaz, unfortunately, is going to have to be our enemy now. They've put a bunch of Masterpieces here, which is super obnoxious. There should, there should be like a hotkey for deploying these things. All right, let's uh, deploy them. And now we can move in. Get that. And uh, yeah, the masterpieces there are really obnoxious. But everybody's getting crunk. Everybody's attacking. Ekaz is getting swarmed pretty hard because they have a lot of influence. So um, let's go ahead and liberate that. Let's move you up. So we're going to liberate that base. And then we can go down here. Um, and we can try and liberate two bases at once. All right, hold position. Move the drones into the mountains. Can they get on that cliff and shoot both sides? That would be really savage if they could. All right, so we're holding here. Ekaz army is on its way, I would wager. Um, yeah, Imperial Researchers is going. We do have some nice techs. There's some big fighting up here, so we're going to do scavenger teams? Is he just pillaging? Not sure. Oh, I can get on the cliffs! How troll is that? Oh, I have siege drones just camping both these bases here. Wow, that's really good. Okay, now we run. You guys ready for this? Oh god, there's no escape. Shoot my siege drones! Fight! Okay, can these guys actually win this fight here? He's gonna get a lot of resources from us here, but look at the drones on the cliff. That's my favorite. Okay, we're gonna lose this because our armies are scattered. We're doing a ton of damage with those drones. <laughs> the dreaded cliff drones, dude. Okay, let's get the uh, consolidation here. We are getting some nice blasting and winning part of the fight. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep shooting here. Look at the drones on the cliff. Oh man, okay, that's really funny actually. Look at these things. Yeah, we're gonna lose them to his air force. He's got a he's got a big old army. I, I'm not that developed in military, so I don't expect to win this, but we're doing our part against Ekaz. Okay, let's pull back, protect our drones if we can. We did a little bit, nothing too fancy. Um, let's keep buying a little bit to get up if we can. All right, good. The Cliff Drones did fine, but he's at 21K, which is good because now people are going to start perceiving him as more of a threat, right? Yeah, he's going to have to fly away. And the Militia, we can run down and just tag this again. I should have destroyed the airfield. Um, I was I was not, not good about that. All right, so let's get this, get you. All right, so our money is quite strong at this point. Let's go ahead and keep buying Chome. 
And we're gonna tag this base with our drones, LOL. And then we can start to take that. Can they not capture it? Cause they're mechanical units? Oh shit, I didn't know that, okay. Well, anyways, um, we're gonna need to fly some troopers down there. Yeah, we see the smugglers going hard. So, you know, shout out to the smugglers. They're actually uh, keeping true to their word here. They are keeping true to their word. All right. So start a car, let's get you over here. See if you can capture this. And uh, you guys need to finish off that plane, which hopefully will be doable. Consolidation. Main base is developed here and main base is developed. So we are chilling. All right, so we need to get that damn, um, that damn thing, the airfield, wherever the hell it is. It's always hard to tell where it is. All right, there it is. All right, so we'll tag this and we'll start taking it. And then um, that's gonna be a nice special region for us. And honestly, at this point, since I'm not even like really playing Landsrad, I would probably, um, I would probably just take the penalty there. All right, so the airfield's gonna get destroyed. Speaker of the Council, ooh, that's not good. All factions suffering authority per controlled region is actually really good um, for us. They have Eye of the Council already. Yeah, I'm happy with both those, that's fine. I'm gonna force labor rights on probably, probably force the water regulations because I'm not gonna be taking any more territory here. Yeah, I thought only, yeah, troopers can capture it, yeah. Dude, the, the hill artillery was my favorite part. Vote me speaker, can't let him have it. Um, definitely gonna vote, man, I don't wanna vote either of those guys. How much influence does he have? Put my, uh, put for minor, oh, God, I, I don't wanna give the smugglers that. Although they probably are way, way off. Yeah, oh, God, he's right though, it's, it's the best play. Cause in this case then, um, if ECAS gets that, then they're guaranteed like a governor victory basically. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, smugglers want it, but they don't, they're not eligible for governor, so it's not quite as bad. Um, Imperial Researchers is on the way. We see the uh, ECAS is winning their fights here. ECAS very, very ferocious fighters, apparently. Let's get some haggard conscripts just to fill out our army. Um, we need to get you guys, um, let's get you the shotgun tech and also the, uh, let's see, what else do you want to get? Yeah, the power for nearby conscripts, good. So we're taking this base. We're just going to kind of hang here. I believe there's no more airfields nearby, so they're going to have to run the old-fashioned way. Mangled his army. All right, so let's get you guys up here. Man, the tech is coming so slow. If, if we had had the passive hedge, this would have been like the perfect time to do it. Would have been absolutely perfect. We're going to need more manpower, I think. Or no, we got 33 manpower. We're okay. All right, this one gives us statecraft building production, so let's get some knowledge. Uh, the middle's looking cozy. We have our drones on the cliffs, so we need to get them up on the cliff head, which is so much fun. I love that. We can do that and run you guys over here. So the authority uh, did go off. He's going to come down and maybe get me soon, but Ekaz is still in good shape. Like, he could totally still win this game. But I feel like we have some creeping, sneaking tactics we can utilize here. If I can get this special region, I'll be feeling pretty good. All right. Up on the cliff, boys. Come on. Can you guys do it? Yes. This See, this drone knows how to party. We're going to install him up on the cliff. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, let's get another knowledge building down here. Um, do we have the uh, upkeep production? We do. And now we have 27 knowledge. Good. So we're, we're starting to actually be good. Okay, perfect. So that's looking fine. Ecaz is being slowed down. They're going to be pumping their brakes on hedge, which I'm happy about. We're going to get a special region out of it which is cool. So I think without speaker, destroying these, I'll lose 10 Landsrad standing, but I don't really care. I'm not going for Landsrad, so we're gonna happily destroy those masterpieces. And we're just gonna start setting up turrets and uh, you know, our defensive position here. What does this even give us? We need to cycle admin burdens on him. All right, so yeah, Ekaz is out of the picture hedge-wise. Problem is now I'm kind of creeping up on hedge. I just took bottom. Just took bot. If I can keep this conflict going where like we're teaming up on them and they're not like going after me, that's pretty great. Atreides could also be in, in play for governor. Um, could happen. So let's get you. Um, we have the uh, maintenance center here. Still hitting bot. So we're negative. Holy shit. Oh God. I'm going to get my some of my army eaten here. So 100% manpower production because we're negative on authority, which is really funny because of that Landsrad. So yeah, we better not like lose armies here. 
Like, if we lose army here, it's really bad. Um, so I can't afford to lose army. Kronos is available. I can make Kronos now. Let's pop that bad boy out. We salute our emperor. We'll go there now. Okay, so let's just park in the city and hold position. I have Neg off at the moment. Can't replenish armies well. Yeah, because my manpower is, is uh, in the negative, and it's going to be going that way for a while. Water regulation is hurting pretty bad. Um, yeah, we don't have Arrakis. Listening. Let's see how this looks in the middle. Um, I could go start slipping in my own hedge. I need ECAS to make some ground. Um, all right, so let's get a second turret. We're going to get the valuable trinkets. And then Wonders of the Desert is good. But from here, I think we would go Imperial Protocols and then all the defensive buildings. Okay, so we got the rare minerals, and this is going to be more missile turrets probably. Maybe an airfield here is also a good idea in case the fighting really, really kind of pours over there. And um, we can get a non-aggression from ECAS, which would be, I mean, is he still eligible for Gov? Uh, he is. Yeah, he's still eligible for governor. Hmm. So this is going to be a bit of a conundrum for everyone. Like, I, they might want to come kill me. Okay, he's about to throw his army into the, um, into them. Let's see what the airfield network looks like. Our airfield influence network or network sucks. Yeah, valuable trinkets is on the way. I could go try and pillage this base for a little bit of money. Let's uh, start playing Chome again. Let's try and get some Chome. In. Oh man, our authority is hurting bad. So we can't get any manpower. Although I think that's hurting everybody else too. It's not just me. Atreides are attacking him also. This is perfect, actually. This is like the most emperor situation. I don't even need to attack him more, but I can, I guess. We can pop down here. And Ekaz is just getting hammered. Absolutely hammered. Poor, I do feel bad for him a little bit, because that's like that's some, like some brutal damage that's going. He says monument gone. Okay. I don't know. Hopefully he's telling the Atreides these things too. I hope I'm not the only one getting this, this magic intel. Uh, middle's looking okay, so from here we can get a maintenance center. We're gonna take care of that rebellion there, and maintenance center here. And um, we can go ahead and destroy this. What do you need, my and we can take this machine parts region, I guess. We just totally ate those penalties like a champ. So Ekaz, yeah, we're gonna be the hedge monster here soon, which is gonna be frightening. But let's just take this region, I guess. Just for the pillage. All right, I'm down with the uh, the pillage action. All right, so from here, um, we have 36 knowledge. We don't want any heavy fighting, but we're just gonna pillage regions. What do you need, my we'll wipe them out. Just, just doing a little bit of pillaging. Because it's a lot of money that we get. God, I can't click it. There it is. Okay. No time for chit -chat. Take down that spice field. We're just doing some pillaging. Um, the authority is in the negative. Hopefully, we'll be able to rebuild that back. Um, that's why I'm sitting at as much manpower as I can possibly muster at this point. But yeah, those are just going to be some pillaging runs. And let's get Kronos to um, airfield us. So Kronos is going to go airfielding. And we'll fly out of there in a second. The Speaker of the Council is choosing the agendas. Okay. So they're... Oh, am I going to fail the tithe here? Shit. Shit. I'm going to fail the tithe. I do lose money. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, I didn't notice it. Is there any way? Hold on. Can I buy any spice? Such a potato sometimes, dude. Is there any, like, spice out here I can buy? With Fenring? Oh. Your attention is needed. I need to buy time to look. I'm looking for spice purchasing. Oh my god. Chill, you have speaker. Um, Alright. Can you trade me 400 spice? Oh god, please. Please, please, please. Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Can I help? Ask what you will. <laughs> he says vote him, Gov. Oh my god, I need to buy time. I got 28 seconds. Send it to me. Send it to me! Send that spice. I need it. Spice! <laughs> 400! 
I need it to help. Okay, I'm, I'm doing all the desperate politics now. Uh, let's decline it. Okay, obviously we don't want governor on the table. Let's get to business. Oh, that's not enough. Shit. Oh, we, <laughs> we're so haggard. Oh my god. Okay, so we we lose a little bit of Solari production, but you know. Yeah. Uh, if I had asked for 500, we would have been fine. Oh, what a potato. It's okay. That was actually really funny. Okay, so the authority is going to start going back into the positive, but we're going to need an entire cycle to get that back. Um, currently, as it stands, the exchange rates are pretty terrible. Dude, I was desperately going for that. I, I wanted it. So ECAS is ahead of me, which is perfect. That's how we want to keep it. We just pillaged a couple regions. We get out of here, and we can start building the, uh, the goodies here, too. Foliage is in trouble. Um, this region here, let's go ahead and cut the manpower buildings. One and two. And we can get the uh, good old support here. All right. And all right. So now we're going to get that passive Carino hedge. I love, I know, I love that spice is censored. It's really quite funny, actually. Uh, that's useless to us. So let's uh, hire them for a raid. Yeah. Get a bigger army. Yeah. So we don't care about anything at this point. It's really just, um, we're not going to be able to get 30% hedge. We're just going to bank our money, whatever we have, and just, and try. Smuggler ship actually being drove back. So. Good on ECAS for having some success there, but I need to defend the middle or be ready to defend the middle. So we're going to go chill. Um, I did do some good pillaging on the bottom, although I didn't kill his fuel cell, so that's pretty bad. The spacing guild's pissed. They're just like, no thanks, dude. All right, do we want to shuttle over and do our thing? Let's move our army up here and like fight on the front with them. I think that's going to be good. Um, do we want to get, what else? Intel wouldn't be bad. Um, you know what, this is actually a listening post, so we can get a listening post here. It's right next to the enemy territory. All right, so then we'll get to listening posts because we're in conflict with ECAS. Um, we're getting the hedge buildings coming up, so hopefully I can sneak under the radar and like get a hedge win. This is how this is how Carino usually plays, so um, certainly not gonna be grabbing any more territories. Let's buy, buy that to help out. Okay, so let's move up. Pillaged bot well. Got several bases. Alright, so I'm, I'm maintaining the facade. Um, it looks like that was being raided there. Let's go ahead and get this. But now I have to be really, really um, cognizant that I could get raided here hard. Yeah, because we're like really being very obvious with the villainy now. Got several bases uh, pillaged. Yeah, all right, all right. Only three special regions though. Our passive hedge isn't amazing. It's at 54. We're creeping with Carino, um, but Carino does have Gov. Atreides is pillaging too. Man, this poor Carino player. I, I feel a little bad for him, but you know, that's what you get when you're being elected governor. Good, yes, don't mind me. I am just going to keep rubbing my hands together. The evil emperor. So Chum, oh, Chum buying price is up right now. That's why that was like that, okay. I was like, God damn, why are the chum shares so expensive? Okay, uh, infiltration cells, do we want to do anything like that? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, so we got that. Border defenses, civilian defense force. Yeah, that's for sure where we go next. Uh, we don't have spying mastery. That would have been nice a long time ago, but, you know, in another life, man, in another life. So Kronos can just sit here in its deploy mode, in its airfield mode. And we're going to start getting a lot of authority from these listening posts. As a matter of fact, we're at 18 right now. Doghead is spending a lot of resources on him, which is good. Um, let's move you guys down here and move Kronos this way. Can we pillage these villages again? Looks like we can get that one, so we will. All right, Imperial Protocols is done. Let's go ahead and get, um, yeah, the defensive upgrades because that's going to be the position we're in next. My passive hedge is creeping. Uh, do I have enough to take any territory here? 500? Yeah, no, because I've been pillaging them. So this one is only 300, though, so that could be worse. Uh, siege is friendly. Outstanding. So this is a really good siege too. Let's throw you out here and then you can jump in there. Yeah, all building upkeep is reduced by 20%. That's, that's a big economic boom. Boon. That's what I meant to say. Alright, so we're going to hit this base here. Um, we could do the... Oh, check this out. We're going to give the Imperial Mandate to these guys. 
So I'm going to give both of them Sardaukar, and they can use them to fight against uh, against e the Ekaz. Oh, that's so metal, dude. That's so metal. All right. Yeah. So he he took my Sardaukar, and, and so did the uh, so did they. Oh, that's so cool, dude. All right. So let's get this. That is a Dew Collector. And we need to find the fuel cell and make sure we don't like tank our Landsrad sanding too hard. Fuel killing the fuel cells is pretty brutal. And then we can kill the Spice Harvester here too. Can we click it? Why can we not hit the Spice Harvester? That's weird. We're going to hit this base also on the bottom. It's got nothing there. So we are going to go ahead and liberate that. Looking good. We're going to keep Kronos here. We have the Rockets of Doom. Um, Ekaz will probably bring its army down on me soon. I kind of want them to get some uh, authority here, or some hedge. Okay, that got pillaged. Let's see if you can make it. Come on, buddy. Let's install the drones. Are we being attacked anywhere? Uh, it looks like raiders on the other side. I think we're fine here. I think we're fine. And we're going to be taking this away from them, which is going to be pretty big. They're going to be... Um, the problem is, if I take this away, it kind of makes me look worse. Because I'm like creeping up on hedge a little bit, you know? But they're just going to take middle from me, you know? I love that they all use my Sardaukar. They're like, hell yeah, dude, give me some of those bad boys. All right, so that's going to be taken. I suspect my army can win now over there if need be. The lands chat is coming up. Uh, Dune Governorship. Will it be up again? They're still up for Gov. And yeah, we're just, we're just doing Emperor things, man. You know, that's it. We're taking away the space field here, which I would have liked to have grabbed for myself, but I didn't have the authority. It's 390, so. The Speaker of the Council is choosing the agenda. And um, I could just go back and chain pillage these to get some money. Chome shares are still um, super, super high. The selling, the profit for selling them is great at the moment. You can sell pretty high. My attention is needed. All right, so all factions gain a water sellers union. Who's eligible for that? Yeah, nothing, nothing there, really, that's worth using influence on. I do have 300 influence. It's not a ton, but it's more than some of these guys. So, Carino, I'm going to try and get this. See if I can slip that by. You know, I doubt it, but we're going to see what happens. We are going to see what happens. They took the Imperial Mandate. Yes, they did. Um, smugglers could start chasing us in, in Hedge, too. If we can get the Water Sellers Union, though, we're going to be loaded of the middle the middle gives us a ton of water so but the problem is my whole economy is dependent on that so there's a bit of an issue did i win it uh no i didn't okay ecas won it okay now i don't feel so bad for going after ecas here <laughs> they're getting they're winning everything despite our best efforts um reveal a siege yeah sieges are good we have that siege and the other siege is here the one that gives the weapon strength so it's a shame we can't get that but yeah, I probably should rebalance my economy a little bit. Um, so we're going to take away their airfield. They're basically sitting near their main base, just being cautious. But if I take like take these, like liberate them, then later on I can maybe grab them, depending on how it all goes. Okay, so chump shares are good again, but unfortunately... Um, yeah, we're about to pay our taxes, which is good. I got a little bit greedy earlier. Come on, give us that base. So now he's going to drop down. Smugglers appear to be second in the run. Um, they have the Imperial Mandate, so the Sardaukar are with them. So it's just masterpieces here. There is an airfield here, so I'm going to go kill that airfield to keep them from uh, flying down at me. Maybe he flies down and he's going up to the north. Okay. So we're going to strip this base too and try and do as much as we can to Ekaz here. I do have the rocket launcher. Our hedge is creeping up. And you need to move in. Move in. And you guys just stay put. Let's get you back. As a matter of fact, we don't need you here. And uh, let's liberate that base. All right, I think I clicked the liberate button. Yeah, I did. Okay, good. So that is going to strip them of that. Uh, and then they're going to be losing a spice field, which is pretty massive. The eerie Carino music is playing. Um, that is not in my region, sadly. And this one is probably not worth it at this point. All right. So looking fine. We're still alive. Um, this is going to be probably the last game for tonight, but I will be doing more Dune stream soon. All right, so let's let's buy some shares. Um, is he going to go mid? I think he is. I don't know. He he might. We are we are woefully out of position to stop him though. 
Let's get our uh, siege drones and some small army up there. So we can go to the main base here and we can shuttle over. Um, the middle is actually being pillaged, which would be good if that gets pillaged, because that means that, um, yeah, shit, we're going to be negative water as soon as this goes down. Okay, so we need to redo our water. Oh, no, we already had that there. Okay, so this region is water. I don't suspect we're going to be able to hold that. Um, we can do the rocket strikes here. Just drop some rocket bombardments. Smugglers are now coming at us. Makes sense. It's only fair. And, um, yeah, screw it. We don't want to keep our army here. All right, so Kronos is going to do its thing. And we will shuttle. And shuttle over here. Let's buy some influence here. And it looks like, yeah, he, they're liberating. And it's still being pillaged here, which is really funny. If the ECAS player doesn't notice, I'm going to I'm gonna get a huge benefit from that. All right, so we have, a, we have a good army. We definitely have a decent army. I don't know how it's going to go with these guys. Let's go ahead and get the orbital strike again. And move over. And the drones need to be in control group two. All right, so let's keep it moving and a grooving. He's running out of supplies actually with a lot of his troops there. So yeah, the bombardment in the middle is doing damage. And we're gonna try and push the smugs off here. Hopefully nobody drops a worm here. And it looks like he's abandoned ship. Uh, I understand this attack. This is totally warranted. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, so then we can get some missile turrets here. Uh, get those militia back online and go and fight. He's probably going to ambush me when I go to deal with the um, this gentleman over here. It looks like a thumper has been called in in a different region. All right, come on, turret. Ay, 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 we could get pounded here. Kronos, we need you to head up this way. Yeah, because if the smugglers flank us right now, then we're in big, big danger. Come on. Okay, so the drones are moving, and let's get him to attack. So we're going to attempt to push them off, and we succeed. That's nice. So our water economy is, uh, yeah, I need to start focusing on that shit. It's not going to be easy. Uh, the still worm is still there. Okay, so let's get you guys do this. Ecaz has definitely been hurting this game pretty bad. Uh, they were ahead for a long time, though. Free military tech, yes, please. Somebody going to nuke me or something? I might just get sandwiched here. I think that's what's going to happen. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, I do have supply drop, so we need to run so I don't get sandwiched. That's the, the big fear here. So we're going to come, like, down and around here. It looks like there's some sort of an EMP storm going. I'm good, man. I don't want any of this. Yeah, they did an EMP drop to uh, try and catch my, my drones, and they're probably going to get a couple of them. But All right, so now we loop up and around. We can do the missile strikes here. One drone does get caught in the open because, you know, it had the EMP on it, so it is what it is. Let's get some more drones. Have you guys do your thing here. All right, back to the base we go. And yes, it's being liberated. Is there any other attacks on the other side? Thankfully, the Atreides are kind of like far away from us here. Let's do the bombardment there. Soften them up a little bit before we move in. And it looks like they're going to try and run away, but we can intercept them. Oh, this is perfect. They're like damaged and running with no supplies. Go, my Sardaukar! Get them. Oh, but he's got the Mortis engine. That's right. Shit. They did nerf that thing, but it's still very strong. It's okay. If I can get like a, even a decent trade here and kill most of his army, then I'm going to be very happy. All right. So let's get more Sardaukar, more artillery drones. Bash these bash these smugglers. Um, we need to get turrets here. Yes. Get them, my minions. Okay. His army's getting wiped. Let's get the drones. Move them in. Have them come over here and shoot. But now we have to deal with the ECAS. So that army did get wiped. Great. Oh, he used the fog, or these guys just bugged? Oh, it's the the Ecasia fog. Yeah, that was what it was. All right. Okay, let's get our drones. Do this. So we're gonna lose that ground there, but not before we wipe the smuggler army. And uh, we'll get our troops back. We probably can go a little bit lighter on Sardaukar. Mix in some conscripts, some flamethrowers for AOE damage will be good against Ecas blobs. And the lands rat is coming up soon too. All right, so now we're in the the green with the guild. We paid. We've been paying our our taxes this time. Let's keep buying shares. Um, probably slap down a military factory too, because we have, I think, the economy to do it. Oh boy. Smugs must have like nine water. Yeah. Oh, governorship. Okay. Ecas Ecas might get gov here, which would be really funny. Um. The elected faction suffers that. Okay, let's do all factions suffer that. 
So then we can get ECAS to have a weaker main base. So ECAS might get governor here, but so will smugglers. Oh, smugglers can reroll too. Shit, who has more influence? Oh man, the politics. All right, I'm digging this. This is getting exciting. It's going to be like a hedge race versus a governor race. Uh, Carino's still very good 3v1. You can see I'm fighting them off with some effectiveness. Um, okay, wow, holy shit. Do I have to vote? Um, I'm going to vote ECAS because they can't reroll. Okay. Um, all right. Vote ECAS. They cannot reroll. Yeah. Vote ECAS Atreides. Yeah, so we got to vote ECAS. <laughs> we have to vote ECAS in and put like a vote here too. All right. He won the governorship. Wow, even with that. Okay, so we got to kill him now. So get non aggressions. So non aggression. Uh, send, send me non aggro ECAS. And stop taking that. I need water. All right, so now we have to go all in and try and take down the smugglers, which is going to be hard, but this is going to be fun. I'm excited for this. Um, all right, defense breaches and consolidation scavenger teams. Kronos needs to start heading up there. So Kronos goes here, here, and here. And it looks like they've stopped taking that, which is outstanding. And we have a non-aggression from Helio mains. Let's do that. All right, so now this is the die is cast, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this is where we go. We go hard here. Uh, we need to get the drone upgrade that destroys armor too. And let's get the flamethrower for the uh, armor destruction, and then also we can do the uh, attacks per day. Okay. That actually was kind of not bad for me, in a way. I mean, the smugglers probably win this, but that that's, um, that's not the worst thing that could have happened. Yeah. So now we need to just gather up. Oh, hello. There's like a damn worms flying around my base. Kronos needs to go up here. Um, we have the defense breach. Okay, all attack nonstop. So we need everybody to attack. We have an allied unit losing supply here, classic. It's just a, a random sniper. I do have the good hedge situation, but it's going to be hard um, with that. Yeah, so all of you guys are here, and we can uh, stop this. I don't know if it's going to matter, um, but we want to get siege incentives. We should have had that sooner, but I didn't think it would come to this. Who actually voted? Oh my god! Oh no! Atreides didn't vote! Oh, we would have been fine. So the Atreides player did not vote for uh, ECAS, and that's why the smugglers won it. Oh man, okay. So that changes everything. Yeah, that explains a lot. Okay, let's get some mercs here. Yeah, sure, get some mercs. We have artillery drones. Let's buy some chome. And do this. He's go. Yeah, why did, why did uh, Atreides vote for him? Oh no! Oh no, not like this. Majesty. It's okay. Everyone makes mistakes. So let's do that. And do this. And then we can shuttle. We need to move a little bit closer, actually. Okay. So the Mortis ship is nearby. Ekaz needs supply drops. Can we supply drop Ekaz? Oh, he's going for the villages. Okay, it's probably a mistake. So the Mortis Engine ship's going over there. We're going to do this. And then shuttle. Here it goes, baby. Here goes nothing. Hopefully he goes to fight Ekaz and I can get his main base. That'd be really funny. So Ekaz. Yes, he's fighting Ekaz. Holy shit. Ekaz. Chase him. Ah, oh, shit. That, now he's going to be able to defend here, probably. Okay. Here we go, baby! Here we go! Defense breaches! All in! Alright, now we need to go. Hell yeah. We're on the main base! Yeah! <laughs> Am on main base. Get him! <laughs> Get him! Alright. So let's do the supply drop here. Oh man, he's in trouble, dude. Scavenger teams for the money. Oh yeah, the sneaky sneaky. Let's go. Look, the chat of tradies have arrived. I did not think it was gonna go that well, dude. I did not think we were gonna get even close, but Kronos allows you to like sneak and get airfields anywhere so you can like cheese their main bases. 
GG, man. Holy shit. Oh my god. The final battle? Yeah. Good luck with the Emperor, they say. Yes, yes, good. Ekaz's army is dead now, so this is like super prime because I can start taking these regions back here eventually and just like hopefully get a hedge win that way. And they, I think they're both in non-aggressions with me right now. Yeah, perfect, perfect. All right. Well, that's one way to deal with the smugglers. <laughs> and now we can shuttle our whole army back to the base. How cool is that? All right. So this should be a missile turret here, probably. Um, yes. We want to get the double missile turret and get that. Outstanding. And we have the middle here, but we have no airfield, so we're going to have to just fly over there. And this region can't be taken quite yet. Um, it can be taken in eight days. So that's when we can get that. All right. So let's go. Now we just got to we just gotta Helm's Deep it, baby. Oh, finally, the troll snipers are gone. That was a good team effort, though, man. We, we got them real quick. Real, real quick. I do have that sweet passive hedge, too. And I'm going to buy Chome up to 30%. Now that he's gone, there's more Chome shares available. Dude, I, I honestly cannot believe that that went that well. Okay, let's keep buying Chome shares. We have a shit ton of money. Um, siege incentives. Um, we could probably cancel that since we're not going to be doing that and finish the border defenses. And look, we can pick off some of the ECAS stuff, although I think we're still in a pact with them. So let's make them break the pact and spend the influence to do it. Okay, so you guys are good. Let's get, um, how many days till this is free? It's going to be six days. And then we can just grab a couple territories and cackle pretty hard. The Atreides are going to have to run across to us. Can we get the Spice Field? It's 313. Yeah, these were all territories. The sneaky fly-in was very funny. All right, let's get that and get scavenger teams. And um, yeah, we just need to grab those special regions, basically. So these buildings are basically dead weight now because there's no more uh, opponents over there. So let's go ahead and just get you, get some money buildings, because why the hell not? Kronos can fly over here. We could win on hedge against Gov now with the current rate at which it's chilling. So um, I'm not too stressing about it. Yeah, we're going to fly over here. We need an airfield here, probably. Um, as much as haggard as that is, probably need an airfield. And let's get a military base here, too. That's going to be prime time. Let's keep buying. Okay. So, Speaker of the Council. Loss of rights is good. We definitely want that. Um, I don't know why the Atreides' influence is so low. Usually, they're, like, super, super good now. Let's get some, some of that. All right. So, Speaker of the Council. Um, can I win that? No. You guys is going to crush me. So, I'm just going to vote loss of rights. Let's put everything into loss of rights, and hopefully, he'll lose these two. That's the plan. That's the plan, man. Kronos is flying over. Um, let's plan this a little bit. So we're going to send some Sardaukar. Okay, perfect. So I just got the Landsrad unit. So they can go over and um, actually prepare to cap these uh, these special territories, which will be free very, very soon. Um, yeah, how long? Three days? Three days until we can try and close the game out. We don't have the Rocket Strike, but we do have the Intel coming. Is he going to attack from the bottom? I don't think so. We got the double missile turrets there. Um, that is a... Yeah, he's actually being attacked by the uh, Renegades. They're pillaging his base. It's, it's pretty convenient Ready. for us. Ready for instruction. Received. All right. On the move. So you guys go chill on the cliff face here. Uh, we don't have enough for the rocket. We do have the EMP bomb, but we don't want to do that because that would hurt our own guys. There's going to be... They're coordinating an attack. I'm sure they're chatting with one another right now. Dude, the chum shares are so cheap right now. Holy shit. On duty. We need to get Kronos there. We don't need him over here anymore. Okay. Two days, 1.4 days left. All right. So we got border defenses. Um, we can go ahead and get the uh, mechanical upgrades here if they, we have time for that. I seriously doubt it, but we're going to try. Keep buying these sweet chum shares. We're at 24%. And they're actually down here. Interesting. So that means we probably want to send Kronos down here to deal with that. And um, I think they're going to split attack here. I think the Atreides are going to hit the middle. And uh, the other gentleman's going to hit the top. Or, you know, Atreides top and Ekaz bottom. But yeah, that could be a problem. So we need to go down there and deal with that, like, right now. Hopefully I don't get eaten by a worm or something. Military base. And um, we can get a military base over here, too. Okay. So now we can take that base. The Lance Chad Punisher should get it. Let's keep buying. We're at 26%, so very close to getting the military power buff. It's like he's trying to get some of these bases back instead of attacking. They really need to hit me. Like, the fact that they're not hitting me right now is um, 
I can kind of chill here and see where, where to react. Yeah, no airfields there, but these lands Chad guard are kind of struggling here, actually. So let's push up. Have this one lands Chad fight there. Ooh, am I going to need more guys over there, actually? Shit. Okay. Is there any shuttling? Come on, lands Chad. You guys should be able to win this. Okay, finish that guy off. Can we kill that guy? They attacking him? Okay. I think they should be able to edge that one out. Uh, do I have the missile launcher? I do not have the missile tech, so I'm not going to be able to launch missiles here. Um, more militia slots. Let's keep buying lands, Chad, or Chome. Ready. We're just the lords of Chome, dude. We just can't help ourselves. We're about to get a whole bunch, though. This is going to be nice. Oh, yes. And then Kronos can fly over here, and then we can shuttle some units over. That airfield is 238, so we're going to be able to get that, too. That probably just wins us the game. Um, I don't think they're going to be able to even decap in time. Uh, they're being way too cautious. Maybe they're more destroyed from the fighting than I thought. I, I feel like they might be more damaged than we, we suspected. Um, uh, we would like to get an airfield here, but I need the water extractors. Man, if that early middle gave me so much... The fact that I was able to sit on that was, was huge. Alright, so let's do that. Get the authority here. You guys, unfortunately, can't heal. Do we have an airfield here? We do not. We do have Imperial base nearby. They need to attack, dude. I just got another special region. And I'm getting, you know, 72 passive hedge a day. And I'm just going to grab this now, too. Which is going to be, I think, another couple hundred. The lands chat, I know. They barely, they barely held. Maybe there's an attack here? Maybe. Um, I could get rid of the Space and Guild branch. The listening posts are cute, but we don't really need them anymore. So let's get military bases. I think that's going to be better. As a matter of fact, probably let's just get the factory because that's going to give us um, the military strength to our whole faction. Okay. I was wondering when the hammer would fall. But it's going to fall over here. Ready. And we got the passive hedge building finishing. Ready for instruction. On duty. I thought he was going to go to my main base, but thankfully he did not. So now we got the orbital strike. The lands Chad going to be getting ready to do battle here. We have most of our army. It's not all of it, but... He's taking a lot of damage just fighting our chaff here, so I think we're going to get him. Oh, the drones. Yes. Oh, yeah, we got that. We're going to definitely hammer that army down. There's no way. Don't know what Eek has. Oh, maybe they're trying to assassinate me or something? No, it would it would take way too long. All right, so we drove them back to the shadows. Um, let's go ahead and just, yeah, keep keep driving them back here. Eek has is coming now, but definitely too late, I think. Let's go down here. We didn't lose anything in that fight. I think uh, Atreides is just a little bit weaker than I than I thought. Um, all right, let's buy. We need one more to get to 30%, and we need to shuttle over here. Get another passive head shite. Good. On duty. We have Kronos. I think I could just capture that to win. So I think that's the play. So let's drop Kronos here. And then you guys can shuttle. And yeah, we went on the tax. GG! Oh my god, I did not think we were going to win that game, dude. But that's the power of Carino, dude. Carino's, I think, top two faction in the game right now. Carino and Ekaz feel really good. But, you know, the, the thing about Ekaz is they, they flew a little close to the sun, right? Like, he was ready for governor real quick. And already had, like, several votes for gov. So everybody's going to panic when they see that. And uh, they're going to take him down. You know what I'm saying? Whereas, like, riding in second place is definitely the way to do it in this game. Um, not always. I mean, sometimes you can win 3v1, but it's like, you didn't have the speaker, so there was no reroll. All right, guys. GG's. We got it. The Emperor's plan succeeded, just barely, I know. But Karino's pretty nasty, dude. Like, their eco's good. They're, I didn't play politics, but they can play politics pretty well, too. Um, but I, I prefer to play military eco, that type of thing. Subterfuge. GG smugglers trolled me until Ekaz jumped ahead. I had to rebuild. Oh, so the smugglers gave you a lot of damage earlier, Max Ben Jim, is what you're saying. All right, that's what it was. Well, guys, if you enjoyed the Dune stream, uh, before you go, please do drop a like on the way out. Helps let the YouTube know that uh, Dune is fun. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a great game, man. It's re I highly recommend it if you have a group of like three or four pals to play with. Like, if you guys enjoy playing Commander, playing EDH, like, you know, that commander magic. It, it, this is just like it, but in gaming form. There's politics. People get salty all the time. Uh, they call things OP. You know, it's got all the classics that you're looking for. So um, before you go, can you do a quick explanation of win conditions and counterplay? Yeah, so you have... Uh, let's, let's get out of here real quick. So let's 
View summary and exit. All right. So I'll explain it real quick for you here. So let's go to single player um, or just multiplayer, whatever. I'm not playing another game, but we'll, we'll make a lobby here so I can show you. All right, so the win conditions are domination. Domination is destroy every other opponent through military force. That means killing all their main bases or, of course, if they're assassinated as well. But it, you kill all the main bases. They're all off the map. Uh, hegemony is one, every single territory you control on the map gives you a special point called hegemony, uh, which if you accrue 30,000 of it, then you're going to win. So this is basically like controlling large portions of the map, controlling legendary regions, which give you more, or having buildings that produce passive amount of this. Political victory is won via governorship. So that means you get elected governor just like the smugglers did. And had they survived for 30 days, they ought to win the game. Economic means getting 50% of the chome shares. This is probably one of the harder ones to do, but you can buy up 50% of the chome share market, which is what I was doing. And if you get 50%, you win. And lastly, you have assassinations. So you can eliminate opponents via assassins, which require you to apply agents onto their faction. Uh, and then once you get level three and have three infiltration cells, you can initiate an assassination on them. Uh, if they're unable to stop it, then you win, then they'll be destroyed. And that there's that that's very complicated. You know, you have to send more assassins into your infiltration cells. Uh, the defender has to find infiltration cells, but it's it's a good mechanic. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Take care of yourselves. And uh, you know, Shai Halud bless man. The Emperor has been blessed this day. Certainly a better outcome than the books. Cheers, my friends.